um, a lot of people think Tom is a dick. And by the way, for a couple of reasons, I thought it was outrageous that our general manager tried to hire KC to fight an ultimate fighting champion. Listen to this. He went to KC and he goes, um, would you be interested in doing a fight with an ultimate fighting champion? You train for an hour, and then you go in the ring, and for one minute, you have to stay in the ring with the guy. The guy's evidently the, the, top, the top guy in he's ultimate fighting. He's a monster. Yeah. He's a monster. He's just amazing. He says, but they train you for an hour. Then Tom got on the air and said, no, 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 no. It was just supposed to be a demonstration. Yes. And meanwhile, we found out it was a fight. So he lied. Yeah. You know what? I wasn't even going to bring this up, but I just I have to, before you go any further, I think Tom was really upset by, by what you said about him yesterday. I think he was really hurt. By he's him. a horrible person. But I think, he's, I think he doesn't think you understood it completely. He's very hurt. That I you, totally understand he's it. He's very upset you called him despicable. And he is. He's despicable. Oh, I saw him in the hall afterwards. He goes, I'm not even speaking to you. I, you know, because I was like, hey. And he goes, no, 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 no. We're not having a conversation. No. <laughs> Well, let me tell you something. But it is despicable. Casey going in the ring with an Ultimate Fighting Champion. If you watch Ultimate Fighting, which I do, in one minute, this is what happens. Three seconds, those guys knock you down, and for the next 57 seconds, they punch you in the face repeatedly until yeah, blood spurts out of until you. Until you go unconscious or say, I give. Tell the truth, Tom. It was not an exhibition. I found out. The truth is. The truth was, is, it's it, not. No, yes, it, it was. It was a real fight. No, I would never. Gary. Contradict no, I, th I think I we found know, out that it wasn't a demonstration. I didn't know much about it. I think we heard right. it wasn't a demonstration, that it was an exhibition. Oh. Not a demonstration. That's a fight. That's a fight. Right, Casey? What'd you hear? Well, I, Tell me what you heard. I said, I told Tom that I wanted to do it, that I wanted to fight the guy. I would do it. For, for a minute, I would, I would do it for You're money. You're crazy. But Tom's got to protect you. You're retarded. And Tom, and Tom was going to make sure that Casey was protected. 15000 to take a I, I had no bare idea how much punches. money he was even I hadn't, I hadn't even gotten into how much money he was getting. Well, it was fifteen grand. Okay. Yeah, but, it's, it, you know, I told him, I said, look, I'll take a beating for fifteen grand. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. I was not going to let that guy. He's, selling his, he's practically selling his blood to pay his rent. Right. Yeah, I, I, I just got a big bill. I, now I got to. If you do it, I'm going to watch. <laughs> Like, you know, but you know, I am. I'm going to watch. Are you not playing off ES Howard? And the part that drove me crazy about it was when you referred to me as a despicable yeah. person. Yes, you're that, despicable. That is absolutely... How that dare you? so beneath... They're so below the belt. It's, it's the lowest blow I've ever dealt no, you. Tom, if a no, person it's not. were no, it's to... Not. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me ask Tom off. the question. Yeah. What? If a guy takes a, a one a of his employees who's not that bright not yeah. <laughs> and throws him into the ring... With, with, with the toughest fighter in the world. The Tom, greatest one. Me let me let me why don't you go in the let ring, though? Let me turn my back to Robin so she can stick another, another <laughs> knife in it. But why don't you go in the ring with the guy for 15 grand? I wouldn't do it. Why? Because it's only an exhibition. It. I, I wouldn't do it. Of course he wouldn't. Let the record... He'd be killed. Hey, can I just say one thing? Let the record show that Tom is so annoyed by Robin, he took his headphones off. <laughs> <laughs> I did turn them back up, though. But really, that's despicable, you have to admit. I mean, for 15 grand, I, I don't know what you get out of it. Maybe 100 grand or something, but still, that's greedy. I even, I, I'm telling you, I hadn't even gotten that deep into it. That's I corporate what greed. The deal was. Oh, my God. Despicable. A disgrace. <laughs> a disgrace to the Christian religion that you profess to be a, a big fan of. Would Jesus do that? Always ask yourself, would Jesus do that? What would Jesus do? What is that? That's an F. Oh, F you. Wow. All right. Uh, would Jesus do that? Would Jesus make the F sign and say F you? Maybe, I don't know. In this case, maybe. Uh, Yo, Howard. I hear you're awfully hated around the station. This is the latest what? I heard. I'm so, awfully hated. Yeah. What I mean, does Tom do now? I, I don't know if you're hated for this or not, but i got to figure you oh, are. Probably. I heard Scott the Engineer didn't get a raise this year. <gasps> and I'm None? hated on the station. I don't know if you're hated, but no. None? i got to figure Scott must want to put a knife in your back. Zip. zip you know, he was nothing. looking for a 2% raise. Scott! And he couldn't even get that? Yeah. I guess what, Scott's the only guy left in that union. What is no, that union? Too. It's two. It's Steve and Scott. Right. <laughs> Can you imagine that picket line? <laughs> <laughs> and a big rat, a big blowout rat, Scott and Steve. Hell no, so we Tom's, won't go. Tom, Tom doesn't have a great job. I mean, he's got to sit and tell guys they're not no. getting a raise, Yeah. which kind of sucks. Yep. But uh, I give him 2%. Jesus Christ. I mean, it's Scott. Tom, he works his ass off. Find it in your heart. Find it somewhere. In that heartless, bottomless... <laughs> let Scott go wrestle that yeah. ultimate fighter. Yeah, he needs it. He, Scott told me you his know, paycheck... You know, Scott's full of yes. so much rage, he might beat that guy. I was going to bring this up. 
Scott's paycheck is, you heard this? Yes. It's smaller now than when he started here. It's, right. Yeah. He's getting smaller every year. I guess because they're taking more taxes and right. well, cause I inflation. Think it, it has to do with the fact that he, he doesn't do overtime anymore and that they start charging more for your dental and medical. Oh. So his, his salary has actually been reduced. <laughs> I heard you got rejected on the raise. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the way corporate America is. And it's, not only, it's not only this company, it's every company. I mean, you know, they just... Times are hard. It's not fair. Times are hard. Oh, please. Times are very, very hard. Be patient. You know, when I see, be when I see a financial report be from a company strong. that says we're doing well, yeah, times are hard, but the company's doing well, and then... That's why they're doing well. They're holding back your 2%. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks about it. you. It's just, it just gets me the wrong way because I don't think it's fair when somebody, and not just me, it's not just me. Everybody you and Steve. treated the same. Right. I do have but one it, question for you, Tom, and I'm not piling on you. But, and ahead. I'm not, I'm really. Is it hard for you to say no to somebody when you see, like, uh, a, a, a bus token and a subway token goes up 50 cents and, and they say cabs are going to go up 25% and you see how much gas is at? Isn't it sort of hard to... Yeah. You've got the 2%. What's the matter with you? I can't blame you. Know, I can't only blame him. How much money are we talking about? Uh, uh, please. Uh, he, not a lot. What's 2% of, what do you make, 20,000? 2% of nothing. <laughs> In the buck a week. Uh, you know, uh, Howard. It's not even, no, it's not even, it goes way beyond 2%. What's, what's, the, what's your issue? Let's hear them. Let's air it out. You know what? I'd rather not. Talk about it. Why? What are you going to talk about off the air? Is there anything else on the table? You're having having tremendous success off the air. (laughs) (laughs) You got rejected round the round across the table. Covered by a collective bargaining agreement. Uh, Okay. So it's a negotiation with the union. No. Quit the union. You'll do better. I was going to say, would Scott be better to quit the union and just come to work here? That's not my. That's not for me to say. Because you're like, yes. Your, your union hasn't been in union for like 10 years. You know that, right? <laughs> Believe me, I know. What are your union? A uh, union? Is it a union when there's only one person? <laughs> well, you guys used to have the strongest union. My, my, well, IBW is a strong union, but not here. It, it Each location has a different negotiation. It's not all one. I'll tell you, it's well. funny when the shop steward shows up or whatever their, their guy, and it literally is the three of them having a union meeting. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. <laughs> you thought the musicians I had no power on Broadway. I didn't create the problem. Where do you have the meetings? Here? What's yeah, up to It's got studio. Yeah, they rent a hall. They're, they're, they're entitled to use some space here. They are entitled to use? <laughs> Someone That's read nice. the minutes from the last meeting? <laughs> they go into Scott's smoking room. That's the ultimate emasculation. The, the company even lets you have your union yeah, meeting here. Go You're, ahead. No go threat. ahead. Have a meeting. No have a party. The meet Steve no Mead. Threat. Threat. <laughs> the minutes of the last. If you need a place to meet, go over there. They probably have the room bugged and just sit and snicker. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love a tape of that plan. meeting. All right. Who brought the cigarettes? I want, I want more than 2%. <laughs> uh, yeah. The minutes for the last meeting, Scott asked Steve for a merit cigarette. <laughs> he said he quit. Wow. Light me up. So what's going to be? You guys going to get any kind of raise? I don't know. If the union's so me. strong, why don't they get the, the... Scott's downplaying his 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 opinion of it right now. Scott, you're all angry. We're downplaying. I don't agree with it. Obviously, when when you work for a company for a long time and you bust your balls, and they they say we can't give you any raise. That's not fair. It's not fair to anybody. I mean, you should dye your beard. Oh my goodness! You're looking very Willie Loman. Can't afford it. As soon as he's gonna die, period. Trust me. I mean, it, it just it just it does it, it hits me the wrong way. You know, the, it tells me that they think I'm crap. I mean, that's that's what it says. I'm pretty sure they do think you're crap. Uh, yeah, you're getting hey, a, a clear view. Hey, Howard, just, you're not though. You're good. Can I say something funny? Uh, Oh, Viacom just came out and said this is like an incredibly profitable quarter. They made $652 million. <laughs> <laughs> so Tom said times are tough. They just had their best quarter in four Well, they should have made $800 million. Yeah. yeah, but the last eight quarters weren't good. <laughs> hey, Howard, what are we talking about? Tom, give him, give him the raise because cancer's going to kill him in a year anyway. <laughs> Did you see his finger the other day, Howard? Yeah. Yes. I, I thought there was something wrong with his finger. Really? There was a big brown stain from tobacco. Oh. He's so quit. What? I mean, I, hey, Howard, while we're talking about Scott and money, I think you should ask him a question. Will Scott take anal for two minutes for $100,000? Oh, here's a good game. This is a great game. Listen to this. <laughs> now, listen to this, Tom. Yeah. You can play, too. Oh, thanks. Casey, Casey called three people. Scott, he couldn't get on tape. <laughs> Could, didn't know how to do it. I know. He couldn't do it without you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He asked the question. He said, listen. But, but how did you word it? I said, there's this guy, Michael J. Cox, he's, do, he's writing a book about what it's like to have anal with straight men. Okay. He's offering $250,000 to have anal for two minutes with a straight man. So you asked Scott that question. Yeah. Would he do it? Because uh, you could hook him up with it. Right. And we have to guess his answer. Right. 
Jeez, I got to think. I know the ah, answer. He didn't get two uh, percent. Uh, I'm two hundred fifty thousand. He's already getting it from Tom. I've already lost money on Scott, That's but I bet he says no. <laughs> I think he would say no. Also, I would, do, I would too. I but, he, but it wouldn't be an immediate no. No, I say yes. No, I think it's immediate. You say yes, John? Yeah, no. he wouldn't do that. He says Does Scott say an immediate no? Does anybody else have to know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody knows, but it's not on videotape. Yeah, because. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's not saying anything bad, is he? It's a little ice down. Ice, no, no, it was the it was the sore? before that. Yeah. Oh, oh. you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what you're doing. You don't deserve a raise. Don't be sore. All right, let me think. Does he get to use a condom? At least? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. Use it. Safe sex. It sounds like Scott's been taking anal for years. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, you're on the air. Okay. All right, Andy, ready to play? Yep. Okay, here we go. $500 courtesy of Willard. Starring Crispin Glover, opening in theaters March 14th, from Small Things Come Great Power. Did Scott the Engineer turn down the $250,000, or did he say he'd do it? Turned it down. All right, let's find out. What did he say? Are you guys kidding me? I said yeah. No way. What, what I said did I no. say? I'm not even... He would do it in a second. See? You I yeah. knew it. Ah! 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 What a great game. You're kidding. You said you would do it? That's right. We can arrange that in Vegas. That's <laughs> legal there. Tom, I need you to get a sponsor. If you get me two hundred fifty thousand dollars, I'd do it right here on the floor. Really? That's right. <laughs> and you can turn this you know guy what? down. That is no, you won't. unbelievable. I know I won't. <laughs> no. Not well, in this floor. Right. Right. <laughs> two hundred fifty thousand, you'd go two minutes. That's right. Wow. No. That's, That's like riding a bull. You would do that? That's right. You'd take off all your clothes and do that. I've taken it for years without Luke, Scott, so I might as well just do it. Let me ask you a question. You, yeah. you get the 250 grand. Yeah. You go home. I don't believe you got to face it. your son. you got to go bowling. How What's do you the difference? <laughs> the difference? That's gay as they, can be. They Wait, say Scott Salem. You, say Scott you don't believe it? He's saying he'd do it. You're going to be... We got to get a sponsor for this, Tom. I'm putting you in charge. You're getting a sponsor. I'm telling you what to do now. And I'm telling you I will not. I am the greatest radio personality in the world. Call Trump right now. No, call uh, Bally Total Fitness. Is exercise? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. You're saying if we get two hundred fifty thousand, you will have anal sex with a man here in this studio. Yeah. I will get it. I want to see that. Howard, he's got to yeah. do it in the ring like a boxing match. <laughs> You're gay. I got to get in shape first. Not, do you believe him? I, I don't. I'm shocked. I got to practice. I mean, I know Scott really well, and Scott does not have a gay bone in his body. You know, we've just. Oh, no, no, soon he will. No, no, he will. <laughs> Guy needs money. We've talked before. I mean, Scott. Scott's just, he's just a straight guy. Sir, you don't get five hundred dollars. Uh, Howard, I got a quick question for you. Yes. Um, I was wondering, as part of the uh, divorce agreement with Allison, did uh, she agree that she could not write a book for like X amount of years because the publishers must be killing themselves to get at her? First of all, I'm not going to go into the agreement between my wife and I uh, about our divorce, but. Uh, first of all, why would I be so stupid as to give up half of my empire or more and allow people to write, any people, to write books That's about what me? I thought. That's but, what I mean, but, 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 but I wouldn't do that. First of all, she would alienate our children. Right, right. Number one. Maybe uh, she knows has nothing but nice things to say. Oh, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I'm just saying, that's a <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You want to know something, though? There really isn't anything bad to say about me. Maybe she would, but I don't know what bad she could <laughs> say about me. You have to make it up, right? All right, so I sat in the basement and was What's lethargic. What's wrong with that? My glorious life, the first four years. Yeah, but, I mean, I was such a horrible husband. That's what I but thought. You didn't beat her. You no. didn't do anything. And I, gave her a, and I made her a millionaire. Right. <laughs> What's the I, tell her, the tell I mean, what did I do? Right. I mean, you know, what's There's so bad? There's probably no book there. Here's a dude who, who take anal. I saw a man. It's got a dress, in, in, in a ring in well, Vegas. Say dress. Now, when, that when, do look yeah. at what no, a no man dress. Scott is. Scott that's, is doing that for his family. That's right. I'm gonna be. Di you said I'm gonna die soon, so I can get the money and leave it for my family, and they can. They can <laughs> you know what? I wonder. Disgraced family. I'm I wonder sorry. if you do it for a hundred thousand though. Dildo. No, I wonder if you do it for a hundred thousand. Dildo. For Don't call Tom names. <laughs> <laughs> what if what? what I'm, so, I'm wondering if thirty-five dollars wouldn't do it. Yeah, you started too high. Hey, hold on. Yeah, We're actually in an area that we could we could make work. He's saying he would use let somebody use a, a, a sex apparatus for a hundred grand. We can raise a hundred grand easy. Oh, <laughs> no, I, I'd rather see. No, I want to see him with a man yeah. for two fifty. Yeah, I'm holding out for that. We could raise two fifty. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, uh, we can we show it on uh, Showtime? We sell tickets. Showtime. Yeah. <laughs> if we could sell tickets. I'm talking about it. A a <laughs> on demand cable on demand pay per view. Oh, no. I'm wondering if we. Then there's going to be a percentage. <laughs> no. I would like to see it on the jumbotron. You're going to have two percent there. <laughs> yeah. No, it's got to be a flat fee. A jumbotron. <laughs> All right. I'll give you another chance to win the 500. Oh, great. We called. Let's see. Jeff the drunk and Gary the retard. Oh, boy. Now, I'll give you a choice. $250,000 would Gary the retard or Jeff the drunk enjoy anal? I say Gary the retard would definitely not. I agree with you. I agree. I agree. Je he will not do it. Tell you what. He doesn't know what two hundred fifty thousand yeah, dollars is. He knows Correct. what gay is. Right. It's right. not that. He's, he's always been resistant to that idea, and he doesn't know what that money means. All right. So you want to you want to go with Gary the retard and say no? I'd love to. All right. Let's find out. Tom, what do you say? No. All right. We got side bets. Hey, Casey, what's up? How you doing, my friend? I'm just waiting for you to try to call me. I hadn't heard from you in a long time. I wonder what happened. Yeah, no, we're, we're still working on the Vegas thing, but... Uh, Gary, right? Yeah, Gary, I'm calling for a different reason today. What? Okay, this this might be a, a strange reason to call, but um, I figured I'd throw it at you, okay? What? Go ahead. All right. There's a guy, um, we were talking about it in the meeting, and he's offering $250,000 to any member of the WAC pack that we choose. Right. And we figured that you always are looking for money and need some money. So we figured... Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm you need some money. for money. Yeah, so this, I mean, this is a quarter of a million dollars. Right. Okay, but the only thing is, what's happened, his name is Michael J. Cox. Right. And he's going around, he's writing a book about what it's like to have anal with straight men. Now, right. we know you're a straight guy. I'm a straight guy. <laughs> I know, I know. So what it's, what it's called is two minutes of anal. Right. What, what would happen is he would give you anal for two minutes. Anal for two minutes? Yeah, and he'd, get, he'd give you a quarter of a million dollars for it. Now, you don't have to be on videotape. I don't? No, <laughs> but you have, to, you have to accept him for two minutes. For two minutes? Yeah. With the guy? Right. I never done it with the guy before. I know, that's what he's writing the book about. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, he can, you know, what happens is um, you can stop in the middle of two minutes and you can ice down if it hurts or something. <laughs> you know, he'll wear a condom. What? So it's it's up to you. I mean, um, what what do you think you would do? I never had sex with a guy before. <laughs> I better have sex with a woman. You know what I mean? I know. See, that's that's why he's paying because he knows you're a straight guy. Right. And um, he offered two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That much? Yeah, that's a quarter of a million dollars. Ooh. Like I said, I never had sex with a guy before. Right. We know that. That's why. Right. Oh. <laughs> that that. That would that would be kind of strange. I never had fun with the guy before, you know. Right, but would you have sex with a man for two minutes for a quarter of a million dollars? I'd try it. Oh! Oh! Yes! So you would do it? Yeah. Wow. wow. That's a shocker. Jesus. That's a shocking... Money talks. What's going on in this country? <laughs> Sir, you do, again, you do not get the five hundred dollars, Curtis. That's the I can't second it. I wouldn't do it for a million dollars. Tough. Times are tough, Tom. You were right. I wouldn't do it for a million dollars. A million. I wouldn't do it for a million. A million? I wouldn't do it. Tax free? How about five million? <laughs> <laughs> you sit on a stupid American island for fifteen days. Yeah, because I don't. And, and, I couldn't look at myself or my family after that. Five million, John? No, I would never. No, do but it. you could march it in the gay pride parade. That I would do that. But you look at yourself and your family after that show. <laughs> oh, okay, Mr. Dirty Work. <laughs> I'm they're crying. I'm they're crying with Chris yeah, Judd. He's crying with Chris yeah, Judd in the bathtub, and he's worried about taking it. At least it was over women. Who's gay now? <laughs> so Scott, you would do it, and Gary, the retard, Tom. Oh, I'm shocked. We got to get money. I'm <laughs> get on the phones. Yeah, absolutely. Start beating the drum, pal. We got a show. <laughs> Howard, would you do it for uh, for for ten million? No. Yeah. See, so no way. Gary, how about, how about, Gary, how about you for a quarter million? No. How about for a million? No. 
John, you wouldn't How do it for about... ten million bucks? No, I wouldn't. Jo How about a billion dollars? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm in. A billion? I'm in. <laughs> How many minutes? For a billion. See? Two minutes. Please. Two minutes. I'm in. There's a price for everything. John, what about a billion? No, because it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll have to live right. with that for the rest right. of my life. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I agree a with John. Billion you, Tom, dollars. Tom, what about you? No. no way. Howard, Howard. You know what? I'll rely on my own device. You can get a billion dollars. Go ahead. And for a million, you can have Watch an operation this. to take out that part of your brain. Hey, Tom. <laughs> for a million dollars, would you pleasure yourself? No. <laughs> wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Tom, you're saying for a million dollars, you won't break your vow with God to have... To pleasure yourself. I ain't doing it. In front of all of us. <laughs> oh, I don't want to say No, that. no, it is privacy. Was over. You it's wouldn't not, break it. No, I'm not going to do it. Because how about five million? No. no. God you will not pleasure there's yourself. Not, there's not a number. And you haven't broken it since no. you made your deal with God. I see. <laughs> you did. You made a deal with God. Suddenly it's kind of normal. And I made myself a promise, and I'm sticking to it. For one billion dollars. Wow, you haven't touched yourself. How many years since you made the vow? Uh, five. Wow. Wow. And I'll tell you one thing about Tom, because I talk to him all the time. It's not like his sex, you know, he still finds women attractive. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Your, your oh, he's in here with the Playboy every minute. Your drive hasn't diminished. It's just you no. You just become better at not doing it. Is, it, is your sex hey, life you. better with your wife now? I have a feeling it must have been like you and your wife, maybe. You've been married a long time. And you said, wait a second. I'm spending too much time thinking about other women pleasuring myself. I am now going to concentrate on my wife and my loving relationship with her. And this is a vow for her. Can't you renegotiate with Jesus? <laughs> Wait a second. Is it am a I part of your fidelity? Am I am I right about this? Uh, you're in part right. I mean, it's just. I mean, my 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 relationship with my wife is fine. Right. Um, twenty whatever it is, twenty six, twenty seven years of marriage. God bless it's you. Fine. Right. And the relationship is fine. And, uh, but did and you we find ourselves it? as attractive now as we did? But if, when, we first when you get caught up into the world of pornography and pleasuring so yourself, I'm not caught up in the world of pornography. No, but when you were. I actually was never he? was caught up in the world of pornography. Okay, when you were pleasuring yourself, yes. and I would assume you used some sort of magazine or, or thought... <laughs> or you thought of somebody. ...that you found you were getting caught up in it, and, hey, I'll save this energy for my marriage. Or did you think it was cheating to think of others? No, I don't think he thought it was cheating. I think it, it, he started to become consumed. Really? Was he all the time doing it? Imagine one day you'll be dead, and you wasted all that... <laughs> it's so crazy. It's crazy. Run. Crazy. <laughs> but all right, hey. But I'm a crazy guy. You are. But don't you think, Tommy, you could talk to God, Tom, crazy. and you just say, God, listen, look, you just can't do it. Even if you gave it a charity. Like yeah, you you too. <laughs> well, right. John, no one needs you to, to pile on. Right. I'm sure Jesus, Master. Right. John, this is the part How where... How do you know? <laughs> what do you know about sure Jesus? Right. You don't know. He was a guy, wasn't he? Uh, all right, so anyway, let me, let me tell you what I've learned so far in this new game. Scott the engineer would have anal sex with a man for two hundred fifty thousand, and so would Gary the retard. That's unbelievable. Well, Gary's now, not sure he could do it, but go. he would try at least. <laughs> Everyone has been wrong pretty much, except for stuttering John at one time. Now, I thought uh, that Scott would do it. He did. Yeah. So you were right about that. Now this guy on the phone has not won five hundred. The only one you got left is Jeff the drunk. If you get it right, you got a fifty-fifty chance. Will Jeff the drunk have anal for two hundred fifty thousand dollars with a man? Oh. Everybody else is so. <laughs> yes. You'll say yes. It's a hundred thousand dollars to him. Yeah, it's a hundred thousand. Right. We offered a hundred thousand to Jeff. Oh, the only a hundred thousand. To him, it's still no, a million. No, no. I say no. I say, I say no. yes. I say no. Yeah, I say yes. I say, yes. I say no. I say he's all man. I say yes. Hundred thousand. How he's always crying. He would he never. Every day looking for money. He's Every broke. Day. I don't believe him. All right, you say he will, sir. I say he will. All right, let's find out. Tom, what do you think? I say no. Me too. I say, I say yes. I say yes. I say definite no. Because he's a huge homophobe. Right. Yeah, that's a good I point. Until money. Probably, <laughs> probably no. Hello. Hey, Jeff. Casey, how's it going? Good, man. How you doing? Good. Hey, I got something I want to throw by you. What's that? All right, so we were talking to me, and like, we got contacted by this guy, Michael J. Cox. Did you ever hear him? No. Well, what he's doing is he's writing a book. He goes around, and he has two minutes of anal with different straight men. All right, you follow me so far? I hear you. And he's writing a book about it. Now, I know you need money, and I know you're a straight guy. He has offered $100,000 to someone like one of our whack pack or something like that if the whack pack would do two minutes of anal with Michael J. Cox. Negatory. Oh. $100,000? Negatory. 
You don't have to be on video. Yeah, I'm negatory. Okay, you wouldn't do it. I ain't doing that. Ah. Why didn't you, maybe it should have been two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, why didn't you offer him two hundred fifty? Because we started at one. We were afraid that you were running out of money. <laughs> <laughs> we were already up a half a million dollars here. Negatory, negatory. Go away, negatory, bitch. <laughs> you take me, anal bitch. <laughs> well, you have managed not to win five hundred dollars. I have audience from Willard. From Willard. Starring Crispin Glover, opening in theaters March 14th. From Small Things Come Great Power. You have managed not to get the $500. Wow. That was tough, though. Uh, I, I have a quick game for you, uh, Howard, if you're interested. Can't be better than the game we just no, played. No, that was great. <laughs> no, I, I just uh, I give you four names, and you tell me who was married the most and who was married the least. Doesn't sound like anything I'm interested in. No. Sounds like very gay. It's tough to follow this last game with that one. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I actually kind of like that one. All right. Tom wants to play. Tom will play you. Go ahead. All right. We can call Tom in his office. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the four names. All right. Demi Moore, Madonna, Kitty Carlisle, and Phyllis Diller. Easy, Kitty Carlisle. Yeah. Was married the what? The, the most. most. Who's the married least? the most and who's married the least? Well, I think Phyllis Kitty Diller. Kitty Carlisle was married the least? I knew this game was going to suck. And oh, Phyllis Diller was married the most. Robert says Kitty Carlisle the least. Yeah, I agree. That's easy. The answer is yes. Scott Kitty Carlisle the most? <laughs> the least. The least. The most. Oh, please. Least. Am I right or am I wrong? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Uh, you're wrong. Yeah, she was married to Mars, Mars Hart, and that was it. Kitty Carlisle was once. Oh. Yeah. Who was married the most? Uh, Phyllis Diller. Right, times. I was right. Do I get the money from Willard, the movie? How many times? Three times, Phyllis Diller? Yep. Yeah. And, and who was married the least? Kitty Carlisle. Yeah. yeah. So with Madonna and Demi are twice apiece? Right. I don't care. <laughs> After the Scott? You know, yeah, I mean, you're ruining me. Yeah. All right, you know, why don't I just give you $500 anyway? What? <laughs> All right, hold on. Thank you, uh, Willard. The movie starts Friday. So, Howard, is this possible that we can get the money for Scott to do this? Let me talk to Tom off to you where I can really... <laughs> that would be right. groundbreaking. It would be unbelievable. That, that would be the best day in the history of Brady. Go, we go to Vegas, right? Oh. Yeah. Just got up to Reno, where it's legal. Right. Where it's legal. Closed circuit. It is legal. Wait, what? Hold on a second. Time out. What? Time out what? Why? Gay porn is legal. He, he no, told no, me he... it wasn't on video. No. He's saying go to Reno, but, where it's legal. But... You want to film it? No, we're going to watch you. We're going to go with you. Oh. We're going to report live live coverage. I mean, all the grunting and the noises. Oh. Does it, does it It'll be like a space launch. Oh. 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 We have to get 70 miles outside of Las Vegas, and then we can do whatever we want. Oh. Oh. It'd be great for Gangy to interview him afterwards. Oh. Oh. Yeah, where are those Tourette sound effects? <laughs> Here's the broadcast. We're here with Scott the Engineer. He's just he's about to win two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Oh, oh, oh! Music the way you want it. 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 <laughs> that is music, man. Can that money be in cash? No. No? No. <laughs> Our sponsors are not going to deal in cash. <laughs> you deal with it. Uh, Tom, you know what? I bet you there's a guy out there's, there who wants to put up that money. There's no Vivid money. Video. What if we paid Scott no. in cash and he put it on his car and drove away? Tom, what if Vivid Video, <laughs> what if Vivid video gives you a million dollars? Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. I have two words for you. What? Not happening. What? Can I ask you a question? That's why regular radio is going to die and satellite radio is going to win. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's say that. You're, you're afraid to go into anal territory. <laughs> I, have a, I have a point to make. I think I, I think. Make oh, we've given away a date with porn stars. Before. We've given away dates. a date. Right. Okay, what happens? Happen. So, it's so, date. so if Scott goes off to have a date, right? Is that why is it any different? Because Tom's a homophobe and against homosexuality because of his religion. No, I'm not a homophobe at all. Yes, you are. I'm not. What's the difference between one of our listeners having a date and Scott having and Scott having a date with a man? <laughs> <laughs> you really? What? Tell the difference. You've already you have already described the parameters of this date. Well, we gave away uh, who wants to be an anal millionaire between men but and women. Sure, but but billionaire. But billionaire. So that's what we're doing with Scott. Right. But billionaire. Scott's gonna be the butt billionaire. Seriously, you're anti-gay. No, I'm not. Come on, Tom. Don't be scared off a little ass play. You. I think gays. I think gays should protest you. Yes. Go find what? Some, because go you're find saying somebody else to take you to Tiffany, okay? You're saying gay sex is not okay. 
No, I didn't say that. Because we've done the same thing with a man and a woman. <laughs> we've. we've <laughs> no, Think about it. We've given away dates. No, but we said okay. We're giving away a date. Yeah, happens, happens. Happens. We did say butt billionaire. Yeah, we we did do that. that. And no, butt billionaire was just because it was a nice little play on words. Well, whatever. Right you up. know what went on. I no, I don't. Uh, I do. <laughs> okay, well. Howard, I say every time I shut Scott. Up you too. If we do this every time Scott's about to get it, we just yell fire! <laughs> 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 oh, Scott, just... fire! Oh, no, stop, stop! I don't want the money. Oh. Fire! <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Somebody ooh. call time, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I am shocked. It would be oh. the greatest show ever. Oh. Oh. I love that Gary the Retard oh. wanted to do it but with a woman instead. And in case he's like, oh, no, you see, that's not the deal. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We could probably just give Gary the Retard $5. I'll think it's $250,000. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try it. Okay. Never done it with a, with a man. Yeah, you could have started with fifty dollars for him, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Here he goes. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. It's funny. 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 Come on. I don't know. It is. So what are you gonna do? You gonna get some money for us or what? Why? You could sell this. It's going to be the biggest moment in radio history. Scott, the engineer, receiving anal for the first time. Beautiful. Right. It's going to be beautiful. It's a shoe in for gayest moment in the yeah. FME. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I figured if, if Cabby could do it for nothing, I... You know. i tell you what, I might take this to pay-per-view. There you go. Yeah, yeah there you go. But then, but then he'd have to be filmed. Yeah, he'd have to be filmed. But, you know, if you take... <laughs> if I could get the 250 on pay-per-view. You take it to pay-per-view, you... you... You might be able to up it a little yeah. bit to yeah. get the exactly. film yeah. right. Hey, Howdy, we're just put on the curtain, and we just hear the audio of it. It's well worth it. <laughs> well, that's what I would do. I'm offering Tom an exclusive, but he's not playing with me. You know what to do? You just have the curtain. you got to see Scott's I'll... face. Yeah. His <laughs> <laughs> head will be poking. Okay, we'll see his head. <laughs> you, you make no money, right? Can I wear one that's of those? Uh, would you pay 50 bucks to see this? Of course I would in a second. I would, too. Right. Do you realize? Me too. No problem. People oh. would take days off. It would be like the Super Bowl. <laughs> I mean, a party. <laughs> It'd be like a Scott getting it party. And we gotta Super pick. Bowl. We gotta pick. A, are we gonna get Michael J. Cox to uh, actually do him? <laughs> I think we could. gotta be a big what guy. Are, what are the measurements? That I say we get like um, like uh, what's his name? That disgusting Long guy. Silver? No, not Long Dong. So I think he's dead. Oh, like Johnny Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. Yeah. Oh, that, Ron that guy. Jeremy. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> now you're you're already going outside the. Hey, we gotta pick your boyfriend. Very, no, I think why? Is Michael J. Cox more attractive? I don't know. I don't even know what he looks like. Well, you care who's behind. I'll tell you what, Scott, I'll tell you what, tomorrow I'll bring you a Michael J. Cox movie. You can watch that. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to see who his date is. I want to know him. Yeah. See, Michael wait, wait, J. I, J. Younger I don't just baby. want a blind I'll date. tell you what I'm going to do today. <laughs> I got contacts of pay for you. Tom, you're passing? Passing. Okay, fine. I'm announcing right now the biggest pay-per-view event in the history of pay-per-view. Oh. Bigger than WWF. Bigger than New Kids on the Block. That's right. Hey, I'm a businessman. I am paying Scott, well, the engineer. We have to renegotiate. No, 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 no. no. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Over. God. Deal over. See, so they all get greedy. You said you'd do it for 250 yes. No, no, no. You said you'd do it for 250 What are you worried about what I'm going to do? No, no video, nothing. It was just do it. Private. It was just do it privately. Oh, no, forget it. You know what? I can see why Tom doesn't give you a raise. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to throw a monkey wrench into this, it's not going to happen. Scott, 250 is enough to do on video. But what if we do? We just have his head sticking out of right. a curtain. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? In the shadow. And you can see the the uh, the guy, your boyfriend's butt, you know, shaking around. Yo, how, how does he train with somebody? Is he going to, like, sit on your car? <laughs> <laughs> There's no training. You got to Rikers for a month. I don't think so. <laughs> he has a picture of Michael J. Cox, right? Here's a picture of him. And by the way, That's I, him. I don't think Michael J. Cox is gay. Wow. But, oh, but we probably won't use him. <laughs> I want to get Ron Jeremy. I don't know if Ron Jeremy does that. I think he'll do it. He'll do it for two hundred fifty dollars. He'll do it to get on the show. <laughs> I think Tom should give it to Scott. <laughs> also not happening. He has been. Scott yeah. says Tom's been doing it. How much for Tom to pleasure himself when it's happening? Oh. What is it, Dominic? All right, first of all, the station has to allow it. Number one. It's a violation of equal rights. You've done it with male and, wo and right. a woman. And secondly... Dominic, why don't you mind your own business, Dominic? And 
The station could actually be fine. Have a cannoli for, for breakfast, okay? Prejudice. I think you. the station right. could be fine for prejudice. I think you should be fine for overeating. <laughs> yeah, for consuming too much on the planet. Exactly. <laughs> I'd pay 50 bucks. You, would, Dom, you wouldn't pay 50 bucks on pay-per-view to see Scott the Engineer do this? I'll pay the $250,000. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by Dominic Barber. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what I'm going to do for you, my friend. Yeah. Here's the here's the whole setup. He said he wants to renegotiate. Hold it, I got the deal. Uh, and this is it. Take it or leave it deal. What does everybody give me a take it or leave it? I'll tell you why. Because you're a schnurr. Yeah. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars I'm offering you okay. as a talent fee. There's a curtain. Your, we have to see your head and, and your chest, at least. And uh, we get a guy, a guy of our choosing. We'll have him tested. And he's wearing a condom. He's wearing a condom. So watch that on TV. <laughs> oh, man. And, um, and you, will, you will receive. <laughs> and people will tune in to see it. That's it. Two minutes. Uh, Ultimate fighting, nothing. <laughs> it's got, a three-minute okay. show. <laughs> it's a three-minute show. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to see it, if you want to see it, it's a, I'm t I could drag it up for a half hour if that's yeah, what you need. Yeah, you could have some build-up. Yeah, I'll have, I'll have like <laughs> little <laughs> cut-in pieces. We need to have a band can, play. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, it'd be the guy, well, interview you people. It's the like guy. the tail of the tape. You would meet the two components of right. this uh, event. Right. You have to have an undercard. We'll have ACDC. But I was about to take an anal card. Yeah. <laughs> Michael J. Cox, fire! Uh, what is that thing you said the guys talk about, the 21 gun salute? Yeah. <laughs> Pick up your balls for a 21 gun salute. Yeah. Hey, Does he realize how long two minutes is going to be? Oh, my God. Two minutes, five hours. You realize it's going to be intense. Two minutes. Yeah, we got to have a big clock. Oh. I think he wants it. I do. I'll take it now. All right, so you're up for this? Sure. The way I do? Okay. <laughs> you don't want to be involved? I'm going to no. talk to Mel about it today. He probably want to be involved. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, come on, I'm serious. Great event. You know how much money this is going to generate? Oh, forget it. This is better than a fight. <laughs> it's cheaper to produce. <laughs> Tom, just picture. And we don't have any oh, commission. Shut up, you. What? I'm just, just picture his face. This is, all, this is like curtain. soft core porn. You're not going to see actual, you know, right. sex. This is showtime at Saturday at one in the morning. That's right. This is Cinemax after dark. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there Tom, a... Tom, come on, have a heart. <laughs> there is oh, nobody that's going to see that. What <laughs> <laughs> you don't Casey. let us do the negotiation. Tom doesn't mind it from me. He minds it from you. It's not a bad title, though. Yeah, All right, Tom. <laughs> Thank you. Probably it's a title we'll make it on the air. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm not going to do it here in the studio because you won't get a sponsor for us. Right. I think you're prejudiced against gay people. I'm not. Yes. I do. I okay. think that that's so not fair. You're entitled to your. Opinion. What is your objection? I already stated my objection. He's on, against gay sex. No. Smooth, go ahead, you're on the air. <laughs> hey, Alan, listen. Bump it up to half a million and make sure it's a black guy. Black guy? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Do you have, guy, Scott, man. do you have sex with blacks? <laughs> well, I never have. All right, well, here's your first. <laughs> a lot of first guys. Hey, does Scott choose a guy or do we choose a guy? We choose yeah, a guy. Choose yeah, so we oh, can yeah. choose anybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're yeah. going to have a whole audition. Just gotta, you me. know what? That's the first hour of the pay-per-view. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait. Auditioning oh, the men. I got two. Uh, <laughs> make sure like American can, Idol. How do we make sure he'll be able to... That's right. He's got to be... Uh, able to perform. Tested. I got two. I mean, this is tested. a... You know, test them. Uh, arena live, you know, you don't want to leave this to chance. Howard, I got two words for you. Mark Harris. Uh, Whoa. Uh, 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 he hey, loves the camera. At the very least, him. he can sing the national anthem. Nah, right. He, he'd be too nice. We need someone rough. <laughs> we got to get a gay guy to sing the national anthem. Well, if you well, that's some... Mark's... Uh, Do you think your wife's going to let this happen? I was thinking the same thing. No. Oh, look at Scott. Like, I don't have to ask my wife. <laughs> Forget it. Here's the opening of the actual event. We got the whole thing worked out. Every country around the world has their own oh, national yeah, song, which is their symbol of what their nation stands for. 
our Star Spangled Banner, which is the title we use for our national anthem, yes. is just like saying old glory. That means the flag of the United States of America. <laughs> Why is that? It's my patriotic privilege for me to sing our national anthem. Vinny. Hey, Howard, with one phone call, I think I can get us in 10 million homes on direct TV. Why not? I mean, I can I, do it. Just give me the green light. I'll call today. You're green lit. All right. All right, Vinny. Blue Bob, get ready. Get ready. Can is I just, it, um... Vinny, you understand commercial potential. I think this is huge. Oh, my God. You would make, you would make so much money. We could make this thing, like, at, like, four ninety nine, and you could make about $20 million. That's right. Everyone would tune in to see Scott. Is Vinny at the Indianapolis 500? Of money. You know what, Howard? You know how big this is? I would pay $50 just to be allowed to think about it. <laughs> hey, Vinny, That's how funny it is. Vinny, where are you with all those cars? Which, oh, I, um, I'm actually I'm on my way to Brooklyn. I have to go to a funeral. Oh. Who oh, died? Yeah. Scott's hey. parents, because they heard this? <laughs> hey, hey, um, we can call it, like, it's like a Super Bowl, you know? Like a Super Bowl party. <laughs> and a tailgate party. We're going to have tailgates for Scott's tail. Thank you, Vinny. Okay, bye. All right, Vinny, working overtime oh, with ideas. Oh, yeah, he's got the ideas going. Jesus Christ. Uh, Your wife's going to let you do this? <laughs> Seriously. Let's call her. Yes. You look insulted when I ask you. No, no. She, she doesn't I'm care. not insulted. Why would she care? Because you close your eyes. Like, Why, Why would she, she care? Why would she care? Why would she care? You're yeah, her husband. Why? You're going to be the laughing stock yeah. of the world. Yes. He already oh, is. Yeah. What's the difference? There's a difference. There's a difference. There's a difference. <laughs> you are tackling hey, your and By the way, you think you're going to be able to have sex with a woman after gay this? Gay guys do it every day for nothing. Yeah, so but they're what? gay. Hey, Howard, can you imagine if Scott gets aroused? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, uh, too. That'd be funny. No, it ain't happening. If he does get into it, that'd be great. <laughs> that ain't happening. I wonder if it's easy for him. What if this is how you find, what if this is how you find out you're gay? Hey, what if it's a quarter million to start your new life? There you go. Yes, Scott, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, how you doing? All right. I have nine inches of hot, steaming conga, and I would like to audition as the giver. Well, uh, hold on, and we'll take your name down, because we're going to do a whole auditioning process. It's got to be over a foot, though. Leading up to it. Thank get you. Let <laughs> yeah. me get the hell out of here. That's what we're going to be looking Wait for. No, 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 no. This guy, See, hold on. changing everything. What do you mean I'm changing everything? He never said who would be... Uh... Ron Jeremy. I'll make a deal with you. It has to measure exactly what Michael J. Cox measures. No. No. No, no deal, was... nothing. You see, he's a, he's a star. You see, you're changing everything. Now it's on television. So what? You're changing all the parameters. Well, you said so you far, you've said, right you said you said yeah, you said yeah, you do it right yeah. here in the studio. The camera's but here. <laughs> yeah, and you also said it didn't matter what guy it was. Plus, I'm going to put a blanket over you like a horse, so no one's going to really see it. Right. Take my pants off, okay? Just uh, like cut. you do whatever you want. <laughs> whatever cares. works. Whatever works for you. We're going to need judges back there to make sure everything's going oh. on, and I'll take a look and see that uh, I got to do the play-by-play. -play. <laughs> judges. <laughs> you know, I'm going to get one of these play-by-play -play guys. Yeah, get like Madden or something. Yes. Yeah, and you're there, looking wonderful. Madden. There and do the X's and the O's. <laughs> yeah. And it counts. Yeah. I can't wait. That's groundbreaking. I'm doing it. I'm Tom, shaking. I'm moving ahead without you. I'm sorry. I'm Usually we're in business together, yes, but sir. I can see you're bowing out. I am. Making a mistake. Yes. Jingleberries! <laughs> <laughs> Scott the Engineer, yes! Wow. Boy, you shocked me with this. Wow. Astonishing. We should call your wife and see if she'll let you. You know it'll be shut down tomorrow no. when he comes in. Um, I spoke to my wife, <laughs> and she doesn't want me doing it because we have a son. Who wants to take her out of bed with me right now that tomorrow morning? I say he can't. He's not allowed to do it. I, 100, I say 100. I agree with you. Absolutely. I spoke to my wife. What about a son? Probably found something Leno won't steal. <laughs> I don't think anyone's stealing this. Yes, I understand you get a thing and I take some Well, uh, tonight we have something really unusual. <laughs> <laughs> we have one of our engineers going to have an anal yeah. from a man. Hey, Kevin, listen to this. I understand one of our engineers. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little more embarrassing than walking down the street in a brown panty. You know? I think so. Yeah. 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 A little more, just a little more. But happen. honestly, your son is like, hey, I heard your father's on TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great day in school. Yeah, yeah. He's, a party. He's a good you going to tell your son you're doing this? <laughs> uh, yeah. Son, you know we've always been open with one another. <laughs> Let me teach you how to provide. 
Which one's your father? He's the guy <laughs> sticking his head out of the car. <laughs> oh, he's the receiver? Yeah, he's oh, I didn't realize he was a woman. You should be ashamed. That would be... I thought he was the man. <laughs> that would be doing like the dating game. Our first potential giver is a stock analyst. <laughs> Son, I didn't mean that kind of catcher. You're really going to do? go ahead with this? Because yeah. I'm working on yeah. it. And you're not going to ask your wife permission? No. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. It's like he's calm about it. He's like Well, Ralph now he is, but when the right. wife gets a hold of him. Yeah. Scott! No problem. No way. No effing way. It's like the honeymooners. <laughs> Alice, I don't care what you say. I'm taking anal. <laughs> Another one of your kooky ideas. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, she would benefit from this as well. I mean, it would be her money as well. I know what Scott's I mean, I talk to Scott all the time. Scott will, like, do a little addition, clean up the house, get a couple of new cars, put some money away for his kid's college. Five years' salary. Yep. I Five just... years. Every time you sit in that edition, though, it's going to hurt. Oh. Two minutes. Oh. Two minutes. Five years. Two minutes. In two minutes. Wow. That's right. You make five years' salary in two minutes. So you think and you'll 30 years of embarrassment after. If you, if you were 60, you could retire right. after a lifetime. Yeah. You're doing this for a den. Are you shocked, Tom? I'm very surprised. You represent middle of America to me. I mean, you represent the middlest of America. The middlest? The milk toast America. Are you shocked oh. by this? Yes. You are. That's what I thought. I'm with him, i got to say. I would never buy that in a second. Would you want to watch and it? I still not buy No. You won't watch? No. Well, Some things I don't want to see. But isn't that fun? I want to see well, it. I, it's, it's, well, I just don't. Just I want to see it. I, well, okay. Well, I would be honest. Does it make me a tackle. bad person? Does What's the uh, gross, gross on something like this? Give me, give me, a, <laughs> give me a guess. Apparently Vinny's the expert, so I think Vinny back. Plenty gross. <laughs> <laughs> 100,000 homes, 50 bucks a pop. What's that, 5 million? Yes. No. Um, hundred thousand homes are fifty bucks a pop. You have five million. Five million dollars. And I think you could do more than a hundred thousand homes. Yeah, oh, more I than do fifty too. Bucks. million homes, easy. A million homes. Mm. Are you kidding? Fifty million dollars. I think every home in America will. You're on it, hell yeah. I think there'll be parties. There'll be people <laughs> how? getting cable. How, how many the listeners do you have? Time. Right. Just to see this. How many listeners do you have across the country? About like twenty million. <laughs> about twenty million. You don't That's think right. at least, you know. <laughs> 10% of that. I money. don't know who would tune in to see Scott receive anal. Scott, if I were, Scott, if I were you, I'd hold out for some would back end. Is it a replay yeah. or is it just a yeah. one shot? One deal? shot event. I want You're going to want points. <laughs> points back end. Look yes, you. Leroy. Yeah, I'll come down and I'll give some Scott some dirty black teeth kebab, baby. I'll do it for $20. Well, there's a black guy who wants to come down and give it to Scott. Kay Ramon, what's up? Oh, no. Just Kay. Hey, Howard, what's up, baby? You all do this. Oh, of course <laughs> we know you'll do this. Uh, you know what, Ramon? I don't even know that you're large enough. We have to find the right man. Yep. You can certainly audition. I think I think he wants to do it. Look at him. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder. I think he wants to do it. Like he wants to do it probably because he gets a smoke out to it, you big gay bastard. Look at you. Oh, look who's talking. You're gay. That's so gay. I would never do that. I wonder what Scott the Pace is thinking. He told me gay. <laughs> He's all freaked out about oh, gay yeah, stuff. No. Hey, Scott, come in here and tell yeah, me what you think. Right, I gotta go. Yeah, let's get Scott I might hire Scott as the director on this. Hey, it's up to you. <laughs> Scott, the pace, I mean. That right on the top of your resume. The pace, what do you think? I'm not directing this. Um, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> you want to be the giver? Oh, my God. Scott. Dude, you are crazy. That, what's wrong with you? I'm crazy. <laughs> I've lost my mind. Woo, 250 after taxes. Well, you know what? I don't want to talk him out of it, but... The You're pace not. you grab nuts for a video game. Oh, yeah, he's <laughs> playing gay yeah. chicks. He's an did. Xbox. He went gay. <laughs> wow. Scott, Scott, I, the pace, you do have a price, though, right? Scott, have you ever I had... I think I do have a price. What's your price? We talked about it in there. It's, it's lower than what you guys are saying, but oh, probably... Half a million. No cameras, maybe three to four mil. Oh. <laughs> See, he does have a price. God, wow. Everybody has you should price. not have a price. So uh. He thought about it. You can tell he thought, a lot of thought went into it. You gave off a lot of things for about three years. <laughs> See, this is a great game show. How gay would you go for what amount of money? I'd turn fag for four million. <laughs> <laughs> so, and one billion, you wouldn't? Yeah. One billion? I don't care if it's ten billion. Dude, a billion. I wouldn't be able to sleep. Yeah. Right. He's got a price. You, you, could have you, you could buy your own country and stock it with people who don't know who you are. You can never go right. back. You can never go back. Ever. Casey, you wouldn't do it for a billion. No. Oh, no. Oh, Casey. You see, I think Scott the Engineer has been waiting for a chance. <laughs> wow. What must that feel? I mean, it... <laughs> oh, you want to do it? <laughs> you want to know? <laughs> Scott will describe it to you if he has it. Oh. Yeah, double A. Hey, Howard, it sounds like you're putting together the best Vegas show ever. 
I cannot wait for this event to take place. Well, I don't know that this will take place in Vegas. We're going to have to go to Honduras. <laughs> <laughs> well, most states won't allow it. But uh, we're going to work it out, and I'm going to start working on this great pay-per-view event. It'll be the greatest pay-per-view event in the history of pay-per-view. Let me tell you something. The answer should always be, if you're 100% man, no, no money in the world should turn you into a homo. Scott, you are one big homo. Right. Thank you. I believe I've just been contacted by my people. And the Howard Stern Production Company. We're probably going to be shooting from the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Yes, double A. All right, look, we're going to take a break. Scott, the engineer, I hear what you're saying, and let me see if I can make your dream come true. Yes. And uh, you check with your wife. I still say she's going to say no. Nothing to check. Can we call her on the air? <laughs> you want it. Huh? Call your wife on the air, and I guarantee you she says again. no. <laughs> yeah, Ralph, what's up? Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Uh, Scott, a quarter of a million dollars, that's it? That's it. John got $100,000 for boxing. <laughs> true. This is all I'm offering. Yeah, but it's just two minutes. And believe me, where's he ever going to make that kind of money? Well, okay. yeah, hey, it's a lot of money for him, but <laughs> what you got to do, it's not. <laughs> well, Ron, you do it for free. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'll pitch it to him for another 250 <laughs> Oh. Are you going to watch the pay-per-view? Oh. Please, yes. He's going to be there. He's going to do Scott's hair. Yeah, I do can my picture hair a camera on. just right tight on his face and this, this expression oh, all the time. Sweat off his blood. <laughs> all right, there you go. Everybody excited about pay-per-view. All right, we got to take a break, Rob. When we come back, we are going to uh, do the news. Day per view. <laughs> Coming to you live from an opium den in Southeast Asia. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back right after these words. Now we're going to start the show. I told you not to use the goddamn tank. Life is a bull with a shock. I'm still, I'm still Scott from the block. I've got as much hair as a rock. I bought a new house. I got no place to smoke. I'm as exciting as a sock. I'm still Scott from the block. I smoke and smoke and smoke around the clock. Before Christmas comes, I'm probably going to croak. Every day is dull. Nothing is rolling. A weekend consists of smoking and bowling. I pound my head against the wall. I'm a loser's loser. I'm balder than ball. I scream at all the interns. I'm a miserable son of a bee. I have no answers. I probably have cancer. When I talk, I put people to sleep. My whole existence is a crock. I'm, I'm still Scott from the block. I should buy a cemetery plot. I hardly breathe because my lungs are shot. I'm never going to be a big shot. I'm still Scott from the block. Every year my birthday gets forgot by Howard and Robin and everybody else. But I haven't got piss, nothing to my name. When I leave a party, no one knows I came. I have the kind of face everyone forgets. The only friend I have is a pack of cigarettes. I've got a crappy house, I've got a crappy car, and the worst luck that you've seen. Uh, my poor wife, she wonders why. She married a skinhead schmuck like me. I've got all the charm of a box. Uh, I'm still Scott from the block. I've got as much hair as a rock. The tar in my lungs could fill up a crock. I'm as exciting as a sock. Uh, I'm still Scott from the block. I smoke and smoke and smoke around the clock. Before Christmas comes, I'll probably die of cancer. Your brother is a wife! If it wasn't a person, you would have blown him off! That's all I gotta say! 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 Oh, 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 all that rage will be after way. Oh, man. It might be good for him. Yeah. Tim, what's up? What's up? Hey. Hello there. Hey there. Hey, uh, I want to know what happens if the pitcher leaks out before the two minutes is up. That's a good point. Is that an extra two hundred and fifty grand? Yeah, that's we gotta we gotta have, we gotta have a backup, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we we might be multiple guys. Two. There you go. We need a full two minutes there. Well, I'm back. Go ahead. Hey, how old is up? How you doing? Yeah. Uh, hey, how about Anal by America? You line up twenty contestants and have the viewers decide who gives Scott Anal. America votes. <laughs> you know, we could do that because it'll be live pay per view, so. That's we could, true. We could get the tally right there. We can interview our 20 guys and then have America vote. That's yeah. good. I like it. Okay. We right, work hey, on that, Wombat. Hey, um, Artie, you rock. Great ACD impression. 
Thank you. Yeah. All right. See you guys later. I'm just going to call you Brian Johnson from now on and just answer everything as Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you need. <laughs> but that is about to rock. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Every time I just call him Brian Johnson, you should just say, Fire. Fire. <laughs> Fire! Fire! <laughs> You're having some dirty deeds done yet, cheap guy. Yeah, fire! <laughs> guy, you want to call your wife, and then I got to talk to Dougie, the limbless rapper. <laughs> I want to talk to that guy. Yeah. He's got no arms and no legs, and he raps. He's pretty good, actually. I heard some tape of him. He's not bad. He just yeah? I just can't figure out. He says he pleasures himself, but I don't see how, how he can do it. He draws, puts the pen between his cheek and his neck. Unbelievable. You're kidding. You had a dining house? All right. Yeah, I'll take care of that. <laughs> Your wife home? I hope so. I hope so. Believe me, it's easier if I ask her than if you do. I keep her in the style of a kept woman. I think you're going to have to... Um... What? We're sorry. We cannot complete your call at you did it wrong. time. I think you got to dial like... Our phones are so sucky. Scott's an engineer. We can't even do it. Hmm. What's it? You dial 9, maybe? No, you don't have to dial 9. Yes, you do. Oh, you do? Oh. Keeping the dialing down, so no one will find out that Scott the engineer phone number. <laughs> so your son's not home. Yeah, really. The number you are calling has call interrupt. Wait, wait, wait. A service that requires callers okay. whose telephone uh, numbers do not appear. Oh, you need star 82. I got it. Hold on. Mm. <laughs> 50 right. attempts Sorry. later. What do I do now? Just, just, it'll ring. No, there's no, there's no, uh, I took it, I, I hung up. Do it again. Oh. Sorry. Uh, uh, once again. back here. Tell me when to pot up. Wow. I'd never be able to make this call. It's ringing now, dude. Hope she's home. The number you are calling has call inter... I'll bring it up. All right. Okay, Thank, you. Thank you. Connecting now. Thank you. Connecting. I need to set up. It's be connecting. After all that, your wife's not going to be She's home. She's not home. <laughs> well, mate, she might be going. She's already driving. She's away. running. She already left the country. <laughs> She's driving cross country now. She's out scoring angel dust. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not home. Hi, we're not available right now, so please leave us a message. And we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for calling. Bye. Yeah, I have a message. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> Robin, are you there? It's Howard Stern. She can't hear it. Oh, it's a voicemail. Yeah. Um, here's my message. You should ask Scott what he's going to be doing. What he's going to be up to bring in some extra cash. Scott figured out a way to make $250,000 in two minutes. I got a part-time job. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I just wanted to know if you approve or not. Just giving you the heads up to ask, well, how was work today? All right. We're calling to let you know Scott's going to be up to some dirty deeds. <laughs> <laughs> do you, uh, do you have a cell phone on her? No. Really? I can't afford it. Well, you will be able to soon. Well, Scott's bursting his ass to make some extra money. <laughs> Not busting, bursting. <laughs> anything, anything for the family. Right. I got college coming up in next year, so. <laughs> Scott, the end, you queer. Let's call your son at school. Yeah. All right. Robin, I'll talk to you later. Bye. If you get a hold of her, look, we'll come running in here, okay? <laughs> I think it will be easier for you to tell your wife this on the air. Then. I'll come right in. All right. Because he's acting like, I don't have to ask my wife. <laughs> the no, beaten man. if he wants to do it, he doesn't. <laughs> like, Wouldn't that be fun on the special? Like you tune in and then America decides who gives Scott ale? I like that. Me too. <laughs> and I like the idea of him walking out to Scott from the block in like a bathrobe getting ready for it. <laughs> What's he going to wear? 
Um, and here's Dougie. I'm going to give him a plug. The guy's had a tough life. I saw his concert movie that he put out not too long ago. And I know that one of the things he was doing was like a, it was a hot pregnant woman contest. Yeah. That's not, that's not stand-up comedy. No. Mm. <laughs> and then I know he went, to, he went somewhere and he, he ate some buffalo uh, testicles for his movie. Uh. Yeah. Well, we're going to do pay-per-view with oh, Scott God. getting anal. That's a home run. That's yeah. a home. Everyone can't wait for it. Meanwhile, Ronnie, the limo driver, said there is no way on this planet Scott's wife is letting him do it. Of course not. Because Scott's walking around like he's going to do it. I'm the king of but he athlete. walks around like that a lot and winds up not being able to do stuff. How many times has he walked around here with his head held high, only to come in the next morning all hunched over? You know. But uh, why does he listen to his wife so much? What what happened to him? Why is he so pussy whipped? He's always been that way. I know, but I mean, my God. But now he's in a bad spot because he just bought a new house. He can't go. But anywhere. what do you mean? He can't go what? anywhere. Where's he going to go? I'm not saying go anywhere, but he's just saying, listen, this is something I wanted. This is something I need to do. And it's not. It's none of your business. It's kind of hard to argue a lot for anal. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, I'm a human being separate from you, and I want to go do anal from a man for $250,000. I'm, I'm my own gay person. <laughs> Although it is cheating. Lisa's it is. Bukkake. That's the other thing. Breaking we gotta... his vow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that for free? <laughs> hey, He's it's sex. Finish, honey. Gotta finish. <laughs> well, he did have to finish, darling. It would be rude. <laughs> The guy we select to give it to Scott on the pay-per-view special, yeah. we got to make sure he can, like, finish in two minutes. Right. So you they got to be ready to go. I said two minutes and not a second. Get <laughs> the clock. Like, at a minute 30, he should begin winding up. <laughs> no, a minute 45. <laughs> harder. 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 <laughs> You might have a heart attack right there in the bathroom special. <laughs> Any chance he could lose control during it, Scott? Oh, I think maybe he should prepare, don't you? Animus? Yeah. I think there's an excellent chance he could lose control. <laughs> well, wait a second. Hold it. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. I'm having... <laughs> I'm having an episode. <laughs> when we think he would get himself ready. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ronnie says no way. If I, have, if I have to do an enema, it's all out. No enemas. Well, it's okay. Oh, you don't have to. I, I hope you but don't you take an enema. you like to, so you'd avoid an accident. No enemas. Enemas. I don't want you to take an enema. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Scott, you'll be getting a skin enema. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie says no way your wife's letting you do this. Are you going to put your foot down and say, this is something i got to do? What? Hey, whatever i got to do to support my family, <laughs> you're going to do I'm putting I'm my doing. butt down. I forget. What was the last thing he said he was going to be able to do, and then it was, oh, it was going to driving school. Yeah. I went. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. But that, that's not supporting my family. All right. Well, it is technically cheating, but. Well, not really. No. Not really. It's a man. I mean, you don't plan to see this guy again. <laughs> and you never know. Is this something you've wanted to try? Never thought about it. Right. <laughs> but do you think you'll enjoy it in some way? I don't think so. <laughs> they don't know. Could be. <laughs> Is it intimacy? <laughs> Is sharing one's expression of love with another one? <laughs> Did you get a hold of your wife yet? No. Want to try again? I just did back there. No. She's not home yet. She's already out spending the money, so don't worry about it. <laughs> well, I'll have her call in tomorrow. Okay. To give permission. Oh, wait a second. I, I'm uncomfortable. Can you stop the clock for a second? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, let's continue. <laughs> <Are> you ready? <laughs> This is going to be the greatest. The pay-per-view special is going to be the greatest special ever. Can you overtax pay-per-view? There's no shutting it down. It's we might shut it down. It'll be like Woodstock. The New York State Thruway will be closed. 
We should have live audience too. Wait a oh, minute. Wait yeah. a minute. You're changing everything now. No, you, but 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 you're changing everything. Not changing from, anything. From you're the, not going to be able to see it. You'll be no, behind the no. sheet. From, from Your head's going to be sticking from, out of the <laughs> sheet. From what I agreed to with Casey when he asked me. Here you go. What difference does it make? Dude, how am of I going to get it? I got to get you the two hundred fifty thousand. Of course it makes a difference. The only way to get the two hundred fifty thousand if I raise money. Well, no. See if you can get it. Oh, the first way. Here he goes. What first what, way? Go to Tom and get a sponsor. Well, if you're doing a pay per view, then it should be a lot more money. Uh, goodbye. Over. Uh, Offer off the table. Uh, fine. That's it, son. You know what? Fine. Good. Okay. You know, no 250. I mean, this is. You're funny. This is not going to see. It, like, like all of a sudden. He has. He's right, got right, dreams. Of course. He's, he's counting change, what I'm going to make. You change what if, I tell you what, Scott. You what if nobody subscribes? You going to pay me? You give me two hundred fifty thousand. No, you, you, your work. And you're going to pay me all. Be the biggest pay per view. And you're going to pay me all the different uh, fees that I'm going to have to pay up front. No, you want to. You, you want to do, do the pay per view. You're, you're going to pay. You're the one that wanted to do the pay per view. You never, just, I offered you two hundred fifty thousand. What's the difference how I get it to you? Always comes. Back always, to Scott. Fight always a fight. Get out. I'm done. Okay. Goodbye. Bit over. Oh, Scott, you beat an ass. Yes. <laughs> yes, Scott. Don't be an ass. You're like you're like so don't many guys I know. All of a sudden, don't they're be like, an ass. "No, yo, there's no no one what in your mean? lifetime has ever going to offer you two hundred fifty thousand to do anything." And now suddenly you're like, yeah, "And the boy oh. was this is what he would do for two hundred fifty thousand. Now what you would do for a million is something else." Yeah. You have to make out with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm going to raise two hundred fifty thousand to see this. And it's exactly what I said it was going to be. That wasn't what I said. I said yes you're not going to. I'm just telling you that wasn't what I said. Do you want to do it or not? No yes or no? It's paper. Scott, yes or no? Scott, do it. Well, well crazy. you want to see it. I know oh, I that. Can't. Everyone wants to see it. <laughs> I'm laughing my head. But you want the two hundred fifty thousand. I mean, what am I going to do? I'm not going to pay you two hundred fifty thousand of my money. If you made an agreement with somebody, then they they changed it. You would say I'm not changing not anything. Of course you did. You said you would have. Anal, Anal for two hundred fifty thousand. That's all that's happening. With and I no video. Right, no video. No video. I'm not going to videotape no video. the actual anal. Just your face. God, you said you do it right here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's cameras everywhere. This isn't pay per view, is it? You. So now you know the deal. I would act like a girl. Yes or oh, no? Please. Look so now you know the deal. Like do you want the deal or not? That's it. I'm not going to sit there and bust How my else balls. How are we going to get the money? Tom won't have any part of this. Wait, Scott, the engineer is going to command 250 anywhere on this planet for the rest of his life? No way. You need me more than I need you. Right, Scott. If I don't do this, I don't care. I Scott, don't act like a girl. Let a guy bang you. Yeah. <laughs> I love Scott all of a sudden. Uh, yeah. Not what is it, Roddy? Sudden. You want 250. This is how we're going to get it. Money's got to be raised. What is it, Ronnie? Ralph, dude, you're wasting your time here. Why? Because you know what happened. His wife. He got the phone call. Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> Come on, man. You know she's not going to let you do oh, this. I'm so what stupid. Of course you're right. Of course you're right. You, he got the phone call already. Oh, I didn't. Come on. You know she's not going to let him do this. He couldn't even go to NASCAR school. She's going to let him do this. I didn't get a phone call. But this is money. I don't care. It's our money, too. Uh, Roddy, I think you're wrong. I think just because of the money amount, you know, they'll be all close to... Dude, his kid's got to go to school the next day after that. What, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah, that's what I want to say. Scott, have, have, you no, have you no shame for your children? And how old's your son? He's uh, 17. 17. You know, you realize how life, how hard <clears throat> life is at 17 when you're a kid, and you're going <laughs> to keep this on him? Hey, what, what are you guys bumming him out Can for? You stop. Yeah, really, We're uh, trying to get wait a minute, done. Wait. You... Look how his face no, changed no. from the time he was sitting in here before I till think now. He wants it. Look at him now. He wants the 250. Got, something no, happened between now too. and then. His wife got a hold of him. You're right. Uh, no, no. I, I, you're not allowed I, to tell I, when your wife gets I a hold of you. I said it before when I was in here that you change in the parameters. No, the parameters Dude, listen, only were what you fine. would do for $250,000. You said you'd do anal. I said I could get 250000 from Tom. I couldn't. I went to the next step. I said, I'll put it on pay-per-view. We'll put a sheet up. We'll look at your head while you get it. But the price was always what he'd do for $250,000. Right. Now, all of a sudden, yes. you're like, Scott, you're the one that's supposed to be getting screwed. That happened. Change the parameters. I'm not. Listen, dude, I'm just trying to get you the money. Oh, you're a good guy for that. I yeah, I mean, that. no one else is going to do anything for you. <laughs> one way or another. You Tom won't even give you a raise for what you actually do. I'm trying to build excitement here for the event. Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, build excitement. <laughs> so is he backing out? Is, is, Ralph, is it Ralph's getting turned on by it. Oh, yeah. Hey, listen, don't waste my time. Are you into this or not? I, I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah, the, the money could be better. Uh, if it's going on pay-per-view. 
That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Again, he's no, smelling money. You're saying okay. it would take more money uh, to get you to do 250. that. $250. i will get the money. You God, do the it. Point, the point is, Don't God, count what's Howard, in my wallet. Without Howard, you're not getting anything. It's, got, it's like when the fight with the... Hey, excuse me. I don't have to beg this guy. No, no. The point There's was, no one on the planet that would offer him this. Would, could he, would he do this for $250,000? What else are you doing? That's all you're doing. Hey, Scott, go find someone else to pay you the money. That's all. Okay. That's all. That's so, you, you, I can't believe how weird you are. Obviously, because something happened. The wife got a hold of him. Yeah, so or any, somebody. You, you were gung-ho about it. Yeah, there's a lot of other people in the somebody market. Somebody grabbed him and said, Howard's going to make $800 million yeah, right. off this. And yeah. You should make blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right. But, Scott, you still get the 250000 no matter what happens. And no it's one's going to give it to you. To you. No, he's, he's thinking what he isn't getting. Remember how Viacom's yeah, getting you know 12 isn't getting? You know how Viacom makes $560 million? Yeah. You still got no raise. Right. Yeah. And, Scott, and, and Scott, he's getting the same thing. He's getting nothing. Don't listen to other people. You see how wor well it worked out for Jack? Yeah, that's what he's selling, like Jack. If it wasn't for me, no one would have any interest in you getting rammed. You'd be, just be doing it on back alley. He'd be doing it for free. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or paying like he probably right. oh, already just, You want 250 I'll know. get you 250 that's what you said that it would take to get you to do it. I'm not willing to get you a million. I'm not willing to get you two hundred fifty one thousand. I'll give you the two hundred fifty. He's taking the game. Do you understand that? You're not the point. gambling. I, I, He's gambling. I'm not gambling. Win. No, you're no. You get you two, get two fifty no matter what. If well, seven he, people tune in, you still get two fifty. What is that off the back end? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't care if he does it or not. Just give me an answer. Wait, so I don't waste my time. Who's welching? The question was: the guy wants to give two hundred fifty thousand. Will you do it? Yes. Was quarter of a million dollars, Vinny Favalli. Uh, Howard, I need to explain the economics to Scott. There, Scott. It's a huge gamble. It's not like there's money just waiting to be had. I you know, we have to oh, that's get the money world. for the production to do the actual event. That's not going to be for free. We have to get 250000 to give you right. before we've raised any money. Right. And then all of a sudden we're partners like 50-50 with the pay-per-view people right. who want their money first. Hey, Vinny, please. I'm not going to convince the dude. If no, you can get you a better deal somewhere, you get it. Scott, you're insane. Just do, bend over and do it. <laughs> If you're gonna do it, it shouldn't matter about anything else, Scott. It's I don't, you know, end of discussion. It's I thought the guy wanted two hundred fifty thousand. That's some what the, anal. the game is. You don't want it? Turn it down. 000. What was the question? What was the original question? The original question is: Would you have anal with a man for two hundred fifty thousand dollars? You said yes. In private. That's right. No, the guy was putting it in a book. You were always going to yeah, be publicized. Was, Scott, how's it worth anything? Does if it's private? Hey, wait a second. All this is mood anyway. Because you got to ask your wife, Robin. Hello. Hi. Robin? Yeah? Howard Stern. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Got Here. your message. Okay, good. Robin, here's the deal. Go ahead. We did this thing with Scott. Yeah. We asked him, all right, Scott, if someone paid you $250,000. Right, a lot of money. Would you have anal sex with a man for two minutes? Right. And he's going to write a book about it. The guy's name is... Um, Michael J. Michael J. Cox. Right. <laughs> so anyway, Scott said he would do it for the two hundred fifty thousand dollars. He'd be willing to do it. Right. So I said, if you're willing to do it, let me see if Tom will sponsor it. Absolutely not. Tom wouldn't do that. Right. So Tom wouldn't sponsor it. So I said to Scott, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you want two hundred fifty thousand, I'll put you uh, behind a sheet. Stick your head out the sheet so we can see your face, <laughs> and we'll do a special where we'll pick a guy. Probably a very large man <laughs> to give you anal on TV for two minutes, and I'll pay you two hundred fifty thousand dollars. And he said, "I'm doing it. I'm in." Okay. Now I said, "There's no way you'd let him." He could do it. You don't care. I don't care. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars is great in my pocket. That's right. It goes right in your pocket. That's right. <laughs> do I get any of it? <laughs> no, you just get the pleasure. Right. Well, I tell you what, Robin. I'll tell you this. When he has to go for a hemorrhoid after me, I'm not going to be there. Well, you don't have to be. But it is something that he would do this for $250,000. He loves his family. To be my guest. I would love to refurnish my whole home. By the way, if you want to be one of the judges to pick the man, <laughs> we could probably work you in. That's well, fine with me. Okay, that's all I needed to hear. Thank you, Robin. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. She'll divorce him as soon as the Who cares? She's in. Wow. So, Scott, are you in? That's the question. Yeah. Well, and then i got to call paper to see if I can even get this on the air. Yeah, who knows? There's still something, but I don't waste my time. If you're up for it, I'll do it. All right.
Let's do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dominic Barber, go ahead. Yeah, Scott, do you remember when you almost blew the money, the push-up money, and we saved it and gave it to you? Yes. Don't do that again. You, you're going to do it. What's the difference where and how? Everyone's going to He's in, he Dominic. He said yes. We, we're done. The wife said yes. She signed off. I will now contact pay-per-view, see if this kind of event can be held, and let me get to it. Wow. Let's let the games begin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. God. This is really uh, astonishing. This is amazing. I will get back to you by, what's today? Wednesday? Wednesday? Yes. By Friday, I'll tell you whether or not we can do this. Okay. I'll make some calls. I'll have my agent make some calls. <laughs> oh, this poor agent. I don't even want to make the call. <laughs> I don't even know how to make the call to my agent. Right. I mean, can you imagine having to pay the phone and now you try to describe this to somebody? You know, Don, I go, Don, okay, I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on the air and Scott the Engineer says, you would take anal for 250000 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I got a guy on the phone that, yeah. that says... By tomorrow, he can come over here and put up $300,000 to do it. Why? It's line three. Because he's got a bunch of internet companies. He's got the money. Roland. Yes, sir. Hey, what are you talking about? Hey, Howard, how you doing, man? T talk, talk business now. Let's do it. I mean, uh, you, you put it together. You and I will, will talk business, but I'll put up, as a matter of fact, I'll put up 300000 so he shuts up. So, but then you want what? Cut of the pay-per-view? We'll, we'll talk very small numbers for, mm -hmm. for me. Re recoup some of the three. Why are you putting up the 300000 What do you want out of it? I, you know what? I want to sit in front of my TV. I, I sit like a front row seat. <laughs> I don't. I don't think he'll do it. I think he'll back out. But uh, I'll put up to three hundred thousand. Well, there you go. To do it. I mean, uh, we'll work out. We'll work out the numbers. Well, let me. But... Let me put you on hold, and uh, I'll have my agent get in touch with you. <laughs> a absolutely. Right, hold uh, on. We'll be there, and we'll get this thing done. Because right. uh, thank you, Roland. I think it'll be the biggest thing ever. Oh, thank my. you, Roland. I you think we finally topped the Japanese. <laughs> Wouldn't want With to see their this. wacky shows. What is it, Ralph? Wait, is this guy gonna? Yes. Well, well, look, yes, he will. He's gonna wear a rubber, but uh, he can take his he can take his rubber off. Like a At minute, a no, minute no. forty-five. No. See, he's changing things. Again. No, not. He's gonna have. He's having. He's having sex with you. What are you yeah. about that part? But, but it's not gonna. It's not gonna be anything unsafe. If the guy's clean, why does he have to wear a rubber? If he's if he's if he's. Oh, well, please, <laughs> Scott. How much for no rubber? You know, how much for bear, Scott? Scott asks if he'll get pregnant. Scott, the guy's got no, you know, AIDS, herpes, nothing. Yeah. How much for bear? Bear back. Don't matter. Oh, no, no, no you're back. kidding. Why? No, it probably, probably hurt less. Oh, come on. How much more, Scott? I don't understand. Oh, you don't understand? Let's do it to you, bareback. Come on. <laughs> come on. I'll do it to you, bareback. Let's Scott, go. how much more bear? <laughs> oh, get out of here, Ralph. You have no money. Another 50 G's gets you bad. Because, <laughs> you know, rubber's bummed me out. Scott will have a little one of those Howard. boards like at McDonald's telling if folks. Well, there shouldn't be any fruit in his ear. There shouldn't be any lube involved either. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh, i got to have a little. Come on. Oh, wait a minute, oh, Howard. Howard. John. But wait a minute, Howard. Howard. Let's what try that. <laughs> John, let's try it on you first and see if it works. But, but Howard, what were you if saying if before? You kiss, if you kiss Scott's neck, I'll probably just kind of go natural. <laughs> <laughs> what, you mean a little foreplay? A little contact feels foreplay? good. It feels good to me. But why does Scott have a choice? <laughs> to just come out and deliver them? Yeah. <laughs> Can somebody send him back to that stupid island he was on? <laughs> Howard, what were you saying before? A minute 45 in, the guy, the guy can do what? Well, I'm saying he can take off his rubber and, and, and uh, you know, and pleasure him. You know, uh, uh, pleasure. Uh, go away. Uh, go away. Uh, go away. Uh, you're uh, there. You're uh, not uh, on all he's fours. He's got another 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> he can do, can do a Houdini. <laughs> he can do whatever he wants after the two minutes somewhere else. Hey, can we put a Ned Beatty wig on him like in Deliverance? No, we want to see his face. Wait, what John was saying, is that a David Copperfield or a Houdini? It's a Houdini. Do you know who that is, Howard? <laughs> no. The guy, that, the guy spits on Scott. No, no, it's okay. He, he spits. He hocks a loogie on Scott's back, so then Scott turns around. <laughs> uh... <laughs> he does it in his face. Yeah, because Scott thinks it's over. I've heard it described as, I've heard it described as a David Copperfield because it's an illusion. <laughs> Look at Scott's face. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 
<laughs> you rush this on tomorrow. That's going to take a little doing. It can, sure is. Can it happen in Vegas, Howard? You don't think it would be? It, 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 I don't know. I got it. I'm going to make phone calls. It's going to be embarrassing for me to call my agent and even tell him this is what I want to do with my career. It's going to be embarrassing for you to make a call. No, it's not. No, it's not. The only person I'm going to do it. Embarrasses you. <laughs> <laughs> and I left all the way to the bank. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You're going to waddle all the way. Oh well. Yeah, you might I might, I might all the way. Wait till you see the guy we get for you. Yeah, I like, I like the way the wife would let him go to NASCAR school because he would enjoy that. But this, he's gonna get some bruises. <laughs> well, why not? Oh wait, Scott's wife is back on the phone. Hey, Robin. Hi. Hi. Just to wear a condom. Oh yeah. There's a condom. Has to be checked out. Yes. Oh, definitely. Before. We've already, Certainly we've no. already, we wouldn't want anything because happening to Scott. Because he doesn't have no. enough life insurance. Let me tell you something. But think about it. If we get him some guy who's unsafe, he drops dead, and you get the full 250. Hey, just take out a little extra policy. All right. That's what I'm going to have to do. Yeah, the, yeah. Robin, we assure you, Scott will be wearing a condom. No, not Scott. Yes, Scott. All right, Robin. Thank you. I'm so glad Scott's getting pimped out by his wife. You don't this cheating, do you? Uh, be proud. That's your man. This is not cheating. Right. It's a guy. Yeah. Okay. Very good. But if he turns in gay... Yes. What happens if he turns gay? He, he's off your hand. You're not going to be Dominic as a lawyer. Right. It's a double pay day. That's right. Right. Yeah. Honey, you think he's almost there? I mean, he's getting down on all fours to take it. You think he might be a little gay? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You're going to find out. I know my brother-in-law said he would do it in an instant. Well, we'd love to have you there to see it. No, I don't want to watch it. <laughs> all right. But she just wants to order the furniture. Yeah. Right. Good for her. Thank you, Robin. You're welcome. This guy, you, you just got pimped out by your wife. Yeah. Very nice. That's great. Yeah. Can, we, hey, can the guy donkey punch him? Like, when, you know, he's no. doing, he's doing this guy to hit him in the back of the head. Uh, I, think, I think this is enough of a donkey punch. Really? How about for an extra 50, Scott? Can Scott, let me ask you something. <laughs> if, I'll tell you what, though. You don't get your 250 if the, if the guy can't, uh, <laughs> let's say you lock up. <laughs> If you lock up, yeah, you got to let... You got to do your <laughs> You got to relax. Minutes. Yeah, you got to relax. And it's, the two minutes doesn't start until yeah. Yeah. we're sure it's sure. a go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, Mike, Mike, what? go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah, he up the top of the cake. He should wear one of those scraps over his uh, head with the ball in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. No, we want to hear the noise. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. Well, then you put it on air for you. <laughs> Put a ball in his mouth. <laughs> this guy, that the guy give you a nice reach around, too. <laughs> hey, really, where does the two minutes start? Oh, I don't know. How funny is it? Scott's going to be yelling up from the stop and stuff like that. He's going to be sweating and screaming. Is Scott allowed to stop? Oh, oh, the guy, guy stop. can stop. Stop motion. Yeah. So I can rip. If I do a minute, yeah, but then you stop the clock. Well, if I do a minute, do I get half of the money? No, no. no. You got to go two minutes. No, no, no. You I don't have, think you should you be able to stop to the clock. The full... No, no, no. Full, no. full, full, full out. out. No, you can stop the clock stop. if uh, Scott needs a break for a second or two. Just to... Yeah, you know those girls that do that stuff? They no, they don't break some stuff. Full, two full minutes yeah. straight. Yeah. But wait a minute. Even in Casey's uh, pitch, he could ice down. <laughs> no. He's got to take oh, a full two on. Wait a second, though. It, it, the clock doesn't start till the guy at least... We right. see that, yeah. you know, I mean, what if what Scott saying. could lock up? Right. And, and he could have, you know, take two minutes to get started. Yes, yeah, Scott, understand. We want to see anal. Yeah. You, you're gay, too. Okay, whatever. i got to give my audience what they pay for. <laughs> it's got to be two full minutes. Call your local pay-per-view provider. <laughs> I can't wait to see what name you come up with for this one. I already got one. What? Um, jungle in the Bungle. Oh. That's <laughs> in the Bungle. What? Rumble in the Bungle. Rumble in the Bungle. <laughs> I got a good one. I got a good one. Scott gets banged. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, we got to do some news. Scott, we got to go ahead. I will begin to research. All right, there we go. All right. All, uh, good luck. Full steam ahead. Scott's latest humiliation. Wow. <laughs> Should we get his on the front row tickets? Oh, stop. <laughs> that poor boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, this.
This is actually unbelievable to me. I, it's almost like a dream. I can't believe uh, the first time he said yes, I could not believe he was saying that. Me neither. Go get taped. This conversation Scott has with his kid. <laughs> Son. Uh, the kid will come home. With... Son, look. You've got college you, coming up. You haven't worked yet for a living. <laughs> it's very hard to make money out there. This is putting bread I'm on the table. I'm not getting a raise. Yeah, you're putting bread on the table. Putting There's bread no... on the table and putting clothes on your back. <laughs> I'll leave my ass out of this. <laughs> to your friends. Then dad getting anal doesn't mean he's gay. <laughs> Didn't I always tell you I was out there busting my butt? Some people do taxes. I do guys. One day you'll have a family and have to take anal. <laughs> yeah, there's no way that he could work here after he did it, right? <laughs> sure. There's no way that he could. Why not? Why not? Because everybody, somebody would bring it up every day. Oh, that's the whole beauty of this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it does... You can't control yourself? It does hurt you in every argument you have. You know what I mean? Right to it. Al Rosenberg on the phone. Oh. Al? Hey. Hey. This is one of the best moments I've ever heard. (laughs) (laughs) But I I think you're going about this the wrong way, and and you're not approaching Scott the right way. I think he's a romantic. How about dinner and dancing before they do it? (laughs) Well, we could make that. We could incorporate some of that, but I think the uh, the approach where America gets to vote which guy will give it to him. I like Jill Mullen. Right. No. <laughs> yeah. I'll take Evan Marriott. Right. <laughs> this one big moment. <laughs> Good to hear from you, Al. Good to hear from you. Right. You're gonna want. You know, you're going to want a big guy, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, we have Oh, yeah, be. anyone under nine inches need not apply. What's no, Patrick Jr. doing? Be. <laughs> and Robert will get it's judges. It's going to be like a donkey. Donkey, a mule. You know what we want to do? We pick a guy, and then at the last minute, we, we switch oh, the donkey. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> donkey climbs on Scott and gives it to him. Oh, oh. oh, here, my little burrito. Oh, you know, he his head up and see that sheet. He will be able to see one. <laughs> Uh, could be kidding me, a donkey. You're like a mule. You didn't say that. Wait, you are a mule. That guy sounds a little funny. <laughs> wow. Poor Scott. I don't even know how I'm going to call Don with this and figure out. <laughs> you know, you might co- want to call him now. <laughs> now, I'm going to call him off the air and show, so he knows it's serious. It's really Do you think serious. it could actually happen? Yes. Because, first of all, it's like softcore porn. No one's going to actually see the anal. They're going to see Scott's face. Right, he'll see... be draped, as they say. Yeah. But we'll be able to see Scott, you know, his face. We'll know what's going on. You know, and they've done things like shown births, live births yeah. on, on television and stuff like that. Yeah. It's the same kind of thing. <laughs> we should tape my call to Don as part of the special. <laughs> ah, the whole... Yeah, the making of, the whole build-up. And the guy's going to be sweating on him and stuff. Well, it's only like two minutes. How much sweating will there be? It's longer than a Tyson fight. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And people pay good money for that. I would hurry up before ABC gobbles us up. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Scott Einziger's listening to yeah. Am I hot? Am I hot? <laughs> 250 I am. <laughs> He's so funny to look at. It's going to be such a great special. I'm going to have one big camera like, close up on that face. <laughs> I wonder if Don will want a consulting credit on this. Uh, you know how on the E show, he's hey, Don Buckwolf, yeah, consultant. It was like some title. <laughs> you could be consultant. <laughs> Next on ABC, Lorenzo Lamas gets back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let him pick this up. <laughs> nice. This is unbelievable. Right, it's going to be a great special. It, uh, Will you ever be able to look at Scott the same way? No. I can't look at him you now. Know, I really don't know what's going to happen. You know, it's one thing to talk about it. But after he's actually done it. <laughs> he's going to have that same dopey expression on his face. Yeah, every time you see the look. He's going to drive by his house. You know what? He's already had this expression on his face like he got <laughs> anal sex. <laughs> like he got screwed. Yeah, we think that. But what does he really look like? <laughs> 
<laughs> when he's getting it. And then you think it's like one of those things in his mind. He's like, you know, it's not any different than going to the doctor or something like that. But right. then, and then it's going to happen, and he's going to go, oh my god. It's going to be so much worse. Than it's gay sex. Yeah. <laughs> the worst. It's a prison rape. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's what happens to you in prison. Yeah. And, you know, what if the guy just sort of gets really excited and goes to town? Yeah. What if Scott says, screw the two minutes, let's keep going? <laughs> yeah, what if the guy starts talking <laughs> dirty to well, him? Well, yeah, we can't stop him once the clock stops. <laughs> you know what I want to get? Like, I want to get, like, an ex-con to do it, dog. Oh, <laughs> Why not a current con? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we get a guy, if the guy starts talking dirty, like, yeah, you little bitch. And he's <laughs> You know what would be a kick in the ass? We find that he's been doing this all along. Yeah, and it's nothing to him. <laughs> nice to well, you. told you it wasn't any big deal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's never done this before. Pull the wool over your eyes. <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> I mean, everywhere he goes, people are going to go, to the guy that took it from two minutes. Oh, can you imagine him on bo at his bowling league? Oh. <laughs> he's going to be thrown out of the league. <laughs> Hey, laugh all you want, I'm rich. <laughs> Scott, it's Ned down at the alley. Turn in your shirt. <laughs> You're all laughing, but you wish you had that kind of cash. I hit the lotto. <laughs> Private planes for me. I hope he invested in something that big crash. Oh, no, he'll, yeah, he'll invest in something. Oh. He'll be... You know what was amazing about the way Scott answered the original question? He started out by going, are you guys kidding me? And we were, of course, going, I was going to say no. He goes, of course I would. <laughs> I remember mean, just like, God, well, Jesus. Jeff the Drunk, what's up? Hey, Howard. Hey. This is one of the funniest shows ever. I can't believe you said no. <laughs> I can. Shock me. Yeah. Negatory. Hey, Scott, for an extra 50000 will you let him boot yet? Well, that's going to happen anyway. <laughs> it's going to be great. I can't wait. All right, Jeff, thanks. Later. Jeff the drunk. Jeff everybody. doesn't even have cable <laughs> or, or satellite. He's going to see it somehow. <laughs> this is the whole country's going to be glued to the yeah. TV, literally. <laughs> this is one of the funniest shows ever. <laughs> hey, Scott, why don't you get Bukaki? Nice. <laughs> He's Jeff the Drunk's laughing. Jeff <laughs> <laughs> the Drunk. Jeff the Drunk, you're like, stop, you are a loser. Well, let's call uh, Gary the Retard and tell him he can be contestant number two. You want to do any news? He would do it. Yes, 20 are. to 11. I don't, that's crazy. That is crazy. And then what news story could follow this? Well, the fact that they've been doing pelvic exams on women without their knowledge. Uh, no. How do we get into that? But, you know, it's still not as good as Skype doing angle on paper. I know, but I have to say this. Women should know. I didn't know this was happening. <laughs>
But uh, I'm going to tell you everything about that. All right. We'll, all right. I'll let that unfold and so much to talk about. I realized yesterday we were so busy with Scott taking anal and the whole pay-per-view concept. Yeah, we didn't uh, put, practically didn't do anything else. Yeah. <laughs> we, we really just spent the whole show on that. Well, once something like that falls into your lap. <laughs> People loved it. You have yeah. to go, you know, wall to wall. Never laughed so hard in my life. Never laughed so hard in my life. I guess uh, some people don't even know what we're talking about. Yeah, they weren't there when it happened, I suppose. Do you believe some people don't listen to the whole five hours of this show? You, some people are sleeping right now and uh, they plan to tune in later. Shame. Shame. No. Shame. Well, it has captured the imagination of America. Yesterday, Scott saying that he would take anal from a man. I don't even know what other kind of anal you could take. But he would take anal from a man for $250,000, a quarter of a million dollars. And I, all I know is I'm in the middle of putting together a pay-per-view special. <laughs> we got a great show for you today, actually, in addition for me telling you the whole aftermath of that conversation. We have a new game, and I can't even say what it is until we play. Okay. Okay, we have a new game that I think you're going to like. That you can't even say the name of. Yeah, because it'll hey now, hey now. it'll ruin it. Will you tell us after we play hey the now. game? <laughs> I'll tell you right as we're about to begin playing the game. Right. Uh, Sandra Bernhard is going to stop by. Okay. Well. Yeah. And uh, who else? I guess that's it. But, you know, we have a lot to go through today. We have so many things. I, if you saw my desk, Robin, you would see millions of tapes voicemails, uh, unbelievable amounts of material All right. that have to be gotten to. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be back right after these Yo, words. Howard. Howard. If you get caught red-handed, banging on K-Rock floor, <laughs> Shame on, you. on ETV, mm -mm. you make sure that Robin ain't in that booth looking at you. You dig? Dig that? Uh, what's the mean? All right. You know what came in and I saw Howard Stern just banging on the K Rock floor. Wah, wah. Picture this, he was butt naked with a pretty girl on all fours. How could he forget that Robin was in that extra seat? Then her jaws hit the floor when he told her it wasn't me. Make sure you said that you're really not alright for this. I never you should see a make it big all over flex. As how do you say never you in the complex? Seeing is believing, so you better check your specs. You know she ought to bring a word about things from the past. I don't think you'll ever then say that's an open mask. My answer, no hope it's out. But if she back out, you know you better run for us. Stop, Stop it. it. You're listening to the Howard Stern Show. This is Radio Shock Jock, Howard Stern. Hey, oh. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, now. Fire. Hey, now. Fire. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> 21 comes <laughs> All right. A friend of mine went to that ACDC concert at Roseland. He said that yeah. he still can't hear. Man. His ears are like blown out. It was really loud, but they sounded great. <laughs> Jumping around like an idiot for an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Look at Roseland! New York City! Yeah, we in New York City, yeah! <laughs> Anybody out there drinking a beer? Who needs a beer? <laughs> Did he say that? Yeah. <laughs> About a million times. <laughs> Anybody out there drinking a beer? Yeah! You know what? At some point, you know, he just says that because he knows the crowd likes it. Well, yeah. There's nothing sincere. He every concert. Nothing sincere about it. At one point, he mentioned two people that were there from Australia. Yeah. And everybody in the crowd was dead quiet, so he had to go back to, Yeah, but it's not like New York City! <laughs> uh, Whatever will get a reaction. <laughs> I read Billy Joel stopped by the ACDC concert to say hi to ACDC, but he split after like a song or two with some hot brunette. Oh, really? That's what he said in the paper. I a girlfriend. Maybe that was it. I don't know. I don't know. 
who knows who the hopper did. But, you know, one time when I first got single, I went with my daughter to some concert. Right. We went to just hang out at the Hammerstein Ballroom uh-huh. or Hammerstein, whatever it is. Hammerstein is too Jewish. Hammerstein, Hammerstein Ballroom. Yeah, the Hammerstein Ballroom. Change it to Stein. We went to see, like, uh, the uh, All-Stars, whatever those guys were, with that great song they do. Hey, man, you're an all-star. No, no, not those guys. Oh, you're talking about that. Low-fidelity all-stars? Low-fidelity all-stars. Thank you, ba 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 booby Oh, I know the song you're talking It's like a techno. ba 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 Turns out the guy just gets on stage and plays a disc, like a record. Oh, really? Yeah, there's no band. There's not. He doesn't sing. It totally sucked. I mean, I love that song by low-fidelity all-stars, but the show blows. But these kids all do X. And they were just standing there, like staring at him, and like he would just play records. Yeah, because yeah. he's like a DJ. A DJ, because a DJ who had a. Uh, Does he uh, play good records? <clears throat> I, I don't know. You know, it was it was it was stuff I didn't know. And then like the kids just stare at him, and then like if his buddy came up to light a cigarette, and they go, the crowd goes crazy. So you know they're high as a kite. Right. And I didn't even realize they were high. I was like so out of it. But anyway, uh, I was there with my daughter. And the guy in page six wrote the next day that I was there with a hot brunette. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, Holy cow. That's creepy. Yeah. I like, uh-oh. Yeah. You know, I saw, I saw... And I made a point of telling the publicist there, because I know they all call the... I go, I'm waiting for my daughter. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, didn't matter. I uh, I saw Richard Johnson at the ACDC. Yeah. Yeah, he came up to me. Did you go, fire? Give me a free drink card. I said, Richard, fire! Page six, ah, yeah! <laughs> Page six, little daddy deeds. Yeah. He had free drink cards? There was free drink cards that people were passing out, I guess. I never got one. But How's he, that work? He I mean, had one and he gave me one. Free drink ticket. Nice. I guess he worked it out because he's press or something. Yeah, probably somebody gave them to him. When yeah. you get the free drink, though, you leave a tip for the bartender, don't you? Uh. Or you just get the free drink and you split. <laughs> I think you just throw the ticket out. I didn't use it. Right. I was uh, up where there was paid drinks, and uh, I was tipping all night. I'm not drinking during the week anymore. Well, I mean, you you have in the past? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. No, I was like, getting into it. Well, like wine or something? Or? Wine, little vodka. Vodka? Yeah. I'm not doing it anymore. Well, yeah, not since he's gotten sick. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it even after I get healthy. We'll see. No. You know what happens? I've heard your promises before. No, 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 no. I, well, you know me. I'm very disciplined when it comes to that crap. We well, you know what happens is yesterday I slept all afternoon. I had no choice, and then I got up and had dinner, and I couldn't get back to bed till like about eleven. So it screws you up. No, uh, you, you, you're napping too much. No, but he had gone out to the ACDC right. concert oh. and I don't, out all night practically. Yeah, I don't usually nap that much in the afternoon. I had to. I had no choice. I fell right. asleep till like 5.30. Yeah, no. He's a completely different color today. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I feel good. I went to the doctor yesterday because I've been having this lingering cold thing. Oh, they, yeah? did, they took blood. Uh-huh. They chest x-rayed me. Because I had just had a full exam about two months ago, three months ago. I had to go for a physical. Yeah, I remember. I did everything but the colonoscopy. And he even said to me, when are you coming in for the colonoscopy? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just call it what it is? When are you coming in to have a camera up shoved up your ass? <laughs> We're going to we do it on pay-per-view. A, we need to take a picture of your colon. Yeah. Wee. <laughs> Tell your colon to say cheese. Mm. So anyway, I... I went and got a full physical from my man, Bob Baker, Dr. Bob Baker, who's such a nice guy. And he did the chest x-ray. He does everything. And uh, lo and behold, you know, nothing there. He said he wouldn't even take an antibiotic. He just said... Just live through it. And I said, is there any chance... Because Pat said to me, I could be allergic to my dog. He said, is there any chance I'm allergic to the dog? He goes, you know what? If the thing lingers for another two months... I Didn't would say, say that. we might test that, but I don't think you are. I said, and besides, I lived with a dog on Long Island for years. I, I never had Yeah, but allergy. certain, you know, it could be certain types of dogs. Yeah, he says it's in the dander. Yeah. So, um, but I don't think that's it. And I just don't. I don't know why. I just don't. You don't want to. I don't want to think that. <laughs> I don't want to have that. 
was even better. Would you take pills for it? You know, I go, no. So what <laughs> happens to poor uh, Bianca? Bianca? No, nah, she'll be fine. We're, we're... I mean, if you are allergic, what would happen to Bianca? I'm not allergic. But answer my question. What would happen? Yeah. I'd keep her in a different part of the apartment or something. I don't know what I would do. I would. I mean, I don't know. I would do something. Really? Yeah, I love the dog. You'll throw that dog out the window. All right. I'll put her to sleep, that's all. <laughs> We dropped the dog off in the subway. I drop her off with a drifter who lives in a teepee. There you go. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, th I don't think that's it at all, actually. I'm not the allergic type, and um, I don't have any allergies. Whatever and, type that is. Uh, you know the type. You can spot them. They're always with busy, busy bodies. With stuff. Yeah. If that is the case, I know a guy who can get rid of the dog for you. $200. Oh, didn't he get rid of Robert Blake's wife? Or was that Robert Blake? <laughs> well, they're talking about letting Robert Blake out for bail. They're actually going to consider it. Well, that's what the judge has to consider after this hearing. Yeah. So anyway, um, anyway, he said it could be that if it lingers for like two months or something. But he doesn't suspect that that's what it is. And he just said to me, take some Robitussin so I can expect her and get all that crap up. And I'm not even going to do it. He said, you don't even need to do that. Just, he says... Go back to the gym, start working out, and forget about it. Right, move around. Move around a little bit. Move, you know, you're getting into a funk. So you definitely don't have bronchitis or anything like that? No, nothing. Right. It's just the weirdest thing. I'm sleeping a lot, and, you know, and I don't even have a cough, really. It's just a, 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 when I breathe in, it tickles, and I just said, you know what? I think I'm cuckoo. Well, that we know. That we That's know. for sure. <clears throat> so that was my medical update. Then um, I, I put off calling my agent about the Scott the Engineer thing. <laughs> yeah, how long did it take you to get up the guts to make a I can't wait call? to hear that. I was just hoping that like somebody would tell him about it. and <laughs> He'd call you? Yeah. Does he not listen to the show as a not, rule? No, he hears it. You know, he says he doesn't listen, but then I talk to him and he goes, Hey, I heard when Fred said and Robin said. And right, he, right. he sometimes hears <laughs> things. Yeah, somehow he gets word or <laughs> hears or but uh, you know. He's another guy who doesn't listen, but me while he listens. There's a lot of people like that, I've found, they don't since know I've been on the show. Yeah. yeah, they don't know they listen. Yeah. I think it's disturbing to them that they listen. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, like Scott, you know, dropped the bombshell yesterday on the air during the big game, would you do anal or not? And uh, he said that he would do anal with a man for $250,000. <laughs> right, I mean, yeah, no hesitation. Yeah, he says it's five years' salary. <laughs> What and we were all like, we couldn't believe it yesterday. We, you know, you know, we spent two hours on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it stopped the whole show. He, he he stopped all the big things from happening because we couldn't believe it. We couldn't believe it. People, I mean, they were screaming. They couldn't believe it so much. That's right. So anyway, <laughs> like I drove around like half the day and stuff. Talent people were talking to me about it. I was talking about. It. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone agreed they would pay for it on pay per view. Oh yeah. Oh, you'd have to see it. Yeah. So, um, you know, and they like the whole idea that guys would line up and we would judge their penis size. And, and, and America would choose. America would choose who would give Scott anal. <laughs> and it's going to be some big-ass guy. Yeah. We're not going to let him off easy. No. Yeah, nobody attractive. <laughs> it's 250 Gs. It's a lot of a lot of cake. So I wanted to do it here in the studio and get a sponsor to do it. Tom backed out of that. Yeah, he wasn't hearing anything. And so I, I said, well, I would do it on pay-per-view. It would be a great special. My audience would pay. We'd get the $250,000. We'd have a party. <laughs> Only problem is, like, and I was thinking about it in my mind. I was like, well, okay, we're not going to see any insertion. Scott's going to be, we're going to see his face. And maybe we'll see the guy's butt who's delivering the goods, who's delivering the B-52. Well, actually, you could drape it so that you could see the guy. Mm -hmm. Practically all of the guy. Right. And, you know, the top of Scott. Right. <laughs> Just seeing his face. <laughs> you know. So, uh, <laughs> and I was thinking on Queer as Folk, which you watch, mm -hmm. they show probably more. Last night, I watched my episode of Queer as Folk this week, and this guy was uh, in a club, and you could actually, you know, this guy was wearing tidy whities yeah. It was an underwear party, yeah. and this guy was wearing tidy whities and you could see hands on going the crotch. toward bulges, you know, like right on bulges. 
Yeah, you'd actually see less in this special right. than that. You see less. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. You see a lot on cable. I mean, you'd see men's penises, but they would, you know, they'd be being judged. They wouldn't be in the act of sex. Right. Right. So, in terms of pornography, uh, it's soft core at the best. Right. And they, and then somebody said, well, isn't it illegal? And I go, there's gay porno. Nobody seems to have a problem with that. There's all kinds of gay porno. Has it ever been on pay-per-view? This could be a... Uh, yeah, but, but it's not even that. It's not even insertion. So... It's got to be legal. Well, it is. Yeah. Because people go, but well, you're going to have to go to Vegas to do I go, Vegas? I could do it right here in, a, in an apartment in Jersey. Wait a minute. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Because on, I always have this question about the Cinemax after dark things and all that stuff. And that softcore right. porn. Yeah. They're not really having sex. They're simulating having sex. Is that true? They're simulating, yeah. All right. So you can't say this is not insertion. You're just not seeing. Right. You're not seeing the insertion. Right. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right. No, actually, those things are shot as regular pornos, and then they, um, they and then they shoot them again. There's probably insertion. Oh, it could okay. Be. See, that's what yeah. my uh, question was. Yeah, there could be. It depends on the porno. All right. I would have to see the porno. Right. But yeah, you know. right. So then that means there's sex happening. You just can't see it, which right. is what we're doing. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a legal. It's a legal bind here. <laughs> so I put off calling my agent for a long time. By the time I called him, he was like, "Yeah, what's this going?" On? He goes, "Someone called me. Someone told me." <laughs> And I was like, oh, you may. Uh, you go. <laughs> he didn't call you, so it can't be good. So I laid out the whole special. I go, picture this. <laughs> Black screen. Suddenly we come up on, and I don't even know what we call this thing. Like, if this American Idol is American Anal. <laughs> you know, American Anal. <laughs> Tonight, America decides who will give a straight man anal. A man who has agreed to receive anal. For two hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Here is your host, Howard Cern. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Maybe I'll even spike my hair blonde and try yeah, to look Ryan young. Seacrest. Yeah, I'll be like Ryan Seacrest. And then I'll go tonight. We have uh, a man who has agreed to have anal for two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and then I throw it to a package. Be a seven-minute piece on the life of Scott the Engineer. Everyone would be good and depressed. <laughs> Interviews, everything. Bam, back to me. Now let me introduce you to our judges. Sitting to my left, Robin Quivers. Hello, America. <laughs> Brian Johnson of ACDC. Hello, America, yeah! Fire! And stuttering John. Hi. Hi. We have a lot of famous people in the audience. In the front row is Scott's wife and son. Oh. There's the family. The supportive two. family right there. And then we cut backstage to Scott, who's like like a boxer. He's in a room. He's preparing whatever he's doing. You know, we just. Robe. You know, Scott, how you feel? I do a one minute interview. <laughs> Then uh, then we just cut to a picture of the United Nations. Just for the hell of it. <laughs> Kofi Annan or somebody like that. Yeah, a riot going out. <laughs> <laughs> no! By the, way, by the way, America, while we're deciding who gives Scott's anal, just realize there's potential war in Iraq. You know, what we should do. Because we'll still, we'll still be debating then whether to invade or not. Yeah, but some terrorist dude talking about how the uh, American culture is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then we go to uh, Saddam Hussein or, or, or Osama bin Laden giving a lecture on how American society is ruining the world. Right. Then uh, we come out, Mark Harris says the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh. Something like that or the, yes. or the national anthem. I don't know if we could live through it. Before we get to Scott's uh, anal, we have to pick a man to deliver the goods. Bring out ten guys. Porno stars, listeners of ours, everyone. <laughs> Judges decide. We talk to each contestant. And then a man is selected by America. We do another interview with the judges, and while that's going on, we tally the votes. Very rapid vote. Ugh. Very quick vote. And then we go to the main event. And 
now. It's time for oh, me to be... Michael Buffer. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get ready to get ready. Let's get ready for some hot anal. Uh, Let's get ready to get ready. Scott gets behind the curtain. We see his face. Camera close up. We go behind the curtain so we can see that there's actual penetration, and when the penetration begins, we time out two minutes. And then I, I imagine it's just a lot of Scott sweating and... Uh, and grimacing. <laughs> 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 It'll be amazing. <laughs> Unreal, huh? Oh, my goodness. So, what did Don say when you finished this pitch? He said, uh, I don't believe it. You know, it's unbelievable. Uh, you sure Scott wants to do this kind of thing? I said, yeah. He goes, I would. He goes, the pay-per-view people called me yesterday, wanted to know what we had up our sleeve. Oh, so, I said, well, why don't you get back to him? Up our sleeve. Hmm. Yeah. Vinny Favali told me he called some of his pay-per-view people, so I don't even know what he found out. What'd you find out? I guess what I found out pretty interesting. First of all, they could do it pretty quickly. They could get you in 11 million homes pretty much on a dime. If you decide you want to do it, they can have it within days. Did you tell them what the subject I, I, I went into great detail. Here's what I found out. First of all, some of their uh, porno channels, the, the hardcore pay-per-view ones, like uh -huh. 10 bucks for an hour, they, you could, they show everything except anal. But the genius of the idea is you wouldn't show anal, so they're fine with it, the way you set it up. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, also, I don't, you won't have a problem showing the penis in the context of judging the different penises. Right. right. Okay. Yeah, the guys who... Right. It's a little out of context. The, the, the two things they bring to the table is they get you in 11 million homes, and normally you get a ton of marketing from them. That's what they do for their you know, part of the split. The problem with this is they said they would have to leave all the marketing to you because... They have no idea how to market this. Oh, I see. But but can I run a commercial, let's say, on their network? No, see, well, that's the problem. I mean, you probably would have to have it commercial. approved. I mean, because we were trying to figure out how do you sell this thing to really convey what it is. And, and you know, well, I'll go. I'll go on Letterman and Leno and yeah, uh, that, that, that way. But yeah. normally they do promos for pay-per-view events right. within the different cable channels. And they said in this case, but if they didn't market it and left it to you, then that means you can get more money. They wouldn't go fifty-fifty with you like they normally do. Yeah. So that's good for you because then. What do you mean? They give me a better cut? Yeah. Exactly. Oh. I know that's always been the deal breaker, and they they would certainly be willing to discuss that because they know that they would do zero marketing. They just. She said they're just giving you the pipeline. Wow. Yeah. So, so we so we would get the pipeline, and then yeah, Scott would get, get the, the pipeline. Pipe 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 pipe. All I can give you is the pipe. I said, uh, what? You're going to give me the pipe? So the is that pay-per-view, or is that... It's not, it would be pay-per-view. They're in 11 million homes. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Is that direct TV? It, it would be direct TV, correct. Oh, all right. That's just direct TV. So that but but Howard, cool. that's a pretty good cross-section of the entire Yeah, show. but like if my fans in Cleveland want to see Scott get anal... What, uh, like, are they, is DirecTV on in all the markets? Yeah. They, they are, they are pretty much could penetrate for the part throughout the whole country, every market. I don't know about that. I've checked into that before. It's like, well. It's just that 11, how many people have okay. satellite as opposed to cable? That's right. Like in New York. There's a lot of people. With, well, you know what you could do? Remember the old Ali Frazier fights where they did it in movie theaters as Close well? Circuit. Yeah. 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 Remember that? Yeah, we could do that, but, I, you know. Direct TV could sponsor that, maybe. Maybe. I don't know if people want to go to a movie theater to watch anal. Right. And what time of the day are we doing <laughs> that? The kind of thing you might want to watch in your house. I don't know if you want to be in a movie theater. You, really look but, at but you know what, Howard? You can't wait. you got to do it because if you wait, it'll never happen. One percent of 11 million is still a lot of money, you know? It's well, I don't even know that that matches up with our markets. i got to get the other pay-per-view, the ones that people use on cable and... A lot of people don't have satellite, dude. Yeah, but a lot of people know someone who does. It's like six degrees separation. I'm sure you can cover almost your entire audience. Yeah, yeah. And, and, but the point is, then you have 50 people watching for for one admission fee. You charge a higher fee because it is a big event. It is a big event. But people have parties for stuff like this. Yeah. All have... right. But all right, so DirecTV has no problem doing it. It's, yeah. it she, she said she would definitely take it to her bosses. It's something that they find very interesting. 
Actually, if you were... It's definitely interesting. If I were... <laughs> conversation on the phone. Embarrassing. If you were a guy in the audience, I don't know if I'd be comfortable watching this alone. <laughs> it might be too creepy. Uh, it's going to be funny. She, she wanted, you know, to know exactly how the show would play out because, like, well, it's two minutes of anal, but it's a nice lead-up to it. Yeah, I mean, there's packages. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think the whole special would be 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, it's almost as if you know you're going to have a two-minute fight at the end. Right. You know? Yeah, I mean, and Tyson, you, you know you're going to have a 39-second fight exactly. with those bums he fights. Yeah, so. that's right. There's no bad fight at the end of this. They seem to be able to drag that out. Well, unless we Tyson had some... doesn't really wind up on pay-per-view very often. He that's true. <laughs> well, there was, a, there was a time when Tyson was hot that he did end up on pay-per-view. Yeah, and they'd have five other fights before no. him. Because you know what you did, Howard? Could you sell it to Showtime after the pay-per-view like they do the normal fights? You know, it has one platform on pay-per-view and then... Well, I tell you what, I would sell the whole thing to Showtime. That way, everyone could get it, and then. But and Showtime could handle the pay-per-view. Yeah, because uh, Showtime just gives us like ten million dollars, it'd be no problem. Right. And then we'll cover all our costs, including Scott's two hundred fifty thousand dollar bonanza, <laughs> including the stitches. <laughs> yeah. This is a very big event. I mean, this is going to be one of the highest tune-ins in history. Mm. Everyone was talking about yesterday. Yeah, it's it's big. It is big. I mean, as, as depraved as it is, it's big. There's a lot of interest. Let's and you know what's weird? A lot of people do this every day because they're gay. It's not a big deal for certain people, but if you're not gay, wow. No. Yeah. And in our show's universe, this is a big deal. In fact, I'm wondering, like, what happened when Scott went home? Did his son say anything? Or well, his that's wife? What everybody was saying. Is he out of his mind? His son was <laughs> out of <his> school. <laughs> oh, and the bowling team. What about them? I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. even it's Ronnie neighbors. Ronnie said to me, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, Ronnie was out of his mind over this. L a lot of people couldn't believe Scott's wife gave him permission to do it. She sounded like she did. Oh, here's Scott. He can tell us what happened. Oh, huh, well. <laughs> I better not find out, Scott, that you've been getting anal all along. That, like, you're yeah, kind of a swinger. Big deal to you. Yeah, I mean, are you a swinger? Oh, yeah, yeah. This, this guy's, a, this guy's a got a time. bit of a weird history. <laughs> Have you ever received anal? No. no. Never been near a man. Did you ever give it? No anal here. So what happened when you went home? Um, did your wife, like, say, are you crazy? But but she said on the air, you, there's no problem. Did you you heard what it? she said. But did you discuss it with her? Yeah. Did she bring it up? Let me tell you. The money is already spent. Really? Yeah, no problem. On what, junk? Yeah. <laughs> what? No, no, no. She had no problem with it. You know you're humorless? Do you know that? Do you know you have no ability to have a conversation? She had no problem with it. I've always said I think anyone could do radio. You can't. She had no problem with it. She had no problem with it. And, and, and like, what do you say? You go, you really want to talk seriously about this? Or what do you think? Or, I mean, how's it go? At what point does she bring it up? As soon as you walk in the door? Yeah. She's just like, you know, so what's going on? I go, you heard, you know, on the air what happened. Nothing else happened. And, you know, you're okay with it. So we'll go ahead with it. Is she bored out of her mind yes, living with you? absolutely. Because, I mean, because I'm bored talking to you. Absolutely. I mean, it's going to be unbelievable. I'm glad you're going to. And maybe for once in your life, you'll have some energy. No. Yeah, you know what? I think this gave her something to talk to him about. Yeah. yeah. This is probably the first discussion they've had in months. <laughs> so, what happened when your son came home? Did you have to explain to him what's she going explained, on? She explained to him. She oh, talked to your son. This is, she picked him up from school and explained to him. Did he know anything about it? No. Had he heard? No. So she got him in the car. Right. And what does she say to him? She says, I have to talk to you about something your father, your father's going to do. What do you think about it? So my, whoa, 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 back up. What your father's going to do. And, and she explained that you're going to receive anal on pay-per-view. That's right. I explained that to you. At, at, first, he thought it, at first he thought it was a strap-on. Oh, like from a woman. Yeah. Right. But, you said, you, but she said, no, it's from a man. Right. And then your son said... And did she explain that it's $250,000 and you guys need the money? Yes. <laughs> but I want to know what the son's reaction was. Did he hear about the money and everything right together or... Yeah, yeah, he heard right. about everything. And what was his reaction? His reaction was, this is what you do. You do the first two minutes and then every minute beyond that, you ask for another $150,000. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you go up to five minutes, you get a quarter, three quarters of a million dollars. Can't you be an agent? Well, well we need is two minutes, dude. Because I think you're going to be quiet. Then you can bet. Then you can bet to see how long I go. Scott will be there for three minutes. I can't. Everybody is willing for Scott to do this. And number two, 
His band wants to challenge the losers. That's another condition. <laughs> Howard, yeah. There's no condition. We're sitting in there, we're listening to this, and John just goes, Scott's family is the monsters. <laughs> How could they all just be willing to give up Scott's butt? I, I've been with you for 18 years, and I, I thought I knew you, and I clearly don't. No. Nobody knows me. <laughs> Nobody Scott, wants to know. Nobody? Out, no. What? You wouldn't back out at the last minute, would you? Is that a pun? No, it's not. I'm well, hey, that's another thing. Don't waste time. I mean, yeah, this hey. is, uh, if we get this all set up, you can't back out. No? If you back out, man, there's got to be a penalty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be big enough. <laughs> Doing it is just penalty enough. Scott's family is the Munsters, but with no Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> this is crazy. This is so, it boggles So the then mind. your <laughs> wife explained everything to your son. Right. And when he came home, did he like rush over to you? Dad, I heard you're going to make a lot of money. Or did no, he, he was just like, you know. You. What does he say to you? He was just like, nothing. Does he say, like, are you gay? No. No. Wow. All right, so this is a go. He said, yeah, of course. All right, all I got to do is hope that I can get the uh, pay-per-view people to right. go along with Exa it. Absolutely. All right. Wow. Still can't believe it. <laughs> Can we take out insurance in case Scott regains his sanity? And backs out. Yeah, there's got to be something. Do you realize you're going to be on television? The camera your will face. be on your face, right? While you receive anal on my face from a gay man, right? And we're going to find the largest man in America. Oh, well, I do. That. I do want to auction off my forehead as a billboard. Any sponsor that's willing to pay, you know. For some air, for some time. All right. You know, one eight hundred trim spar on my head. How much is that worth? Yeah, I'm sure they want to be associated. With this. <laughs> right. Well, you're uh, in that position. So, you realize, I mean, we're going to see the look of pain on you. You realize that this is going to be unbelievably painful. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. It could be. Wait, wait, wait. Hold you don't on. know what it's going to be. What if he it's just two like, minutes? What if he enjoys it? <laughs> yeah, I may enjoy it. You never what know. If you're like, hey, give me another two minutes for free. There you go. Hey, you yeah, never know. Or, or leave us alone. It, it might be fun. <laughs> I might not want to stop. You're gay, dude. <laughs> Whatever you want to think. Okay. That's all. Any guy who would do this is gay. I mean, uh, you know. Obviously, I don't do it, you know, in my private life for nothing, but right. for a chance to... Um, Make 250000 you'll do it. Man, like you, you said yesterday, what? it doesn't come along every day. Who the hell is going <laughs> to give me that? So, He's lucky he never went to prison. That's right. By like, the way, a lot of people don't even know how this all came about. What happened was Casey did a bit. Where we would bet, would a guy do anal for money? Mm -hmm. And we called Gary the retard, we, Scott. And Jeff the drunk. And Jeff the drunk. And, and we all said, no way Jeff the drunk would do it. And he, of course, didn't. And the, the other shocker was Gary the retard. We thought he wouldn't. Where's the Gary the retard call? I'm looking for it. Hey, guys, you got that? You got that case? Yeah, yeah let me have that. Yeah, Thank you. Baby. I was shocked by this. Casey. Hey, Casey, what's up? How you doing, my friend? I'm just waiting for you to try to call me. I hadn't heard from you in a long time. I wonder what happened. Yeah, no, we're, we're still working on the Vegas thing, but... Uh, Gary, yeah, Gary, I'm calling for a different reason today. What? Okay, this, this might be a, a strange reason to call, but um, I figured I'd throw it at you, okay? Well, go ahead. All right. There's a guy, um, we were talking about it in the meeting, and he's offering $250,000 to any member of the WAC pack that we choose. Right. And we figured that you always are looking for money and need some money. So we figured... Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm you need money. I'm looking for money. Yeah, so this, I mean, this is a quarter of a million dollars. Right. Okay, but the only thing is, what's happened, his name is Michael J. Cox. Right. And he's going around, he's writing a book about what it's like to have anal with straight men. Now, right. we know you're a straight guy. I'm a straight guy. <laughs> I know, I know. So what it's, what it's called is two minutes of anal. Right. What, what would happen is he would give you anal for two minutes. Anal for two minutes? Yeah, and he'd, gi he'd give you a quarter of a million dollars for it. Now, you don't have to be on videotape. I, for two minutes? Yeah. <laughs> with the guy? Right. <laughs> I've never done it with the guy before. I know, that's what he's writing the book about. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, he, you know, what happens is, you know, he'll wear a condom. Right. <laughs> so it's it's up to you. I mean, um, what what do you think you would do? I never had sex with a guy before. 
I bet he has sex with a woman, you know what I mean? I know, so that's, that's why he's paying, because he knows you're a straight guy. Right. And um, he offered $250,000. That much? Yeah, that's a quarter of a million dollars. <laughs> I got said I never had sex with a guy before. Right, we know that, that's why. Right. Oh, <laughs> that, that, that would, that would be kind of strange. I never had fun with the guy before, you know. Right, but would you have sex with a man for two minutes for a quarter of a million dollars? I'd try it and see what happens. <laughs> so you would do it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I was shocked. I was too. It's a sad day. I'm wondering, has he ever actually had full sex with a woman? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know, but I just wonder. He keeps saying, I never heard from God. He's never heard from anybody. There's some weird, retarded debate going on in his head, and I only wish we could get in there. And yeah, I wish he could verbalize. Does he, even know, does he think quarter of a million dollars is $10 million, or what does he think it is? Right. Does he think he'll be like a lottery winner mm. with $100 million? <laughs> Wayne Siegel, you're on the air. Hey, how? Hi, Robin. Hi. Why don't you see if you could sell this, like, in Atlantic City? We you do like the boxing thing, except you put them behind the scenes in the concert. You know how they have those big screens? You make it live? You make it live. Maybe that would be easier. I wouldn't oh, have to go through pay-per-view. but a little concert action. You know, like a right, live concert. You do it in Atlantic City. You could sell the tickets. I'm sure everybody would pay $75 a ticket for this. But I need a stadium like the size of Nassau Coliseum. You'd probably need a stadium the size of the state of New York. I mean, I need a... <laughs> I need a... I need a... I need a big stadium if I'm going to do it, like Giant Stadium. Well, what about the rest of the world that wants to see this? Right. Hmm. But then it, it, it would sound like you don't have to go through all that a hassle because they would arrange for it. That's true. You know, then we wouldn't even need pay-per-view. That's true. Although, I could make a separate deal with uh, DirecTV and say, well, if you guys want to offer this to your people, DirecTV customers... Right, you could do that. I'm just, I'm simply saying, yeah, we shouldn't cut the rest of the country out. I can videotape it and just sell it as a video afterwards. That's true, too. Yeah. But, you know, there's something to be said for being there the moment it happens. Well, we are going to Vegas. I could probably put it together. i got to just find a stadium that holds 80,000 people. <laughs> it's got to look like Gladiator. 80,000. 80, 80, I need 80,000. Like how, many, how many people uh, does uh, Detroit uh, Stadium hold? In Detroit, when I used to go to the football games, it looked like there were 80,000. Silverdome? Silver, the Silverdome. Silverdome. Pontiac Silverdome. Pontiac Silverdome probably holds about 70,000 people. That's what wow. I'm talking about. 70,000 people. I think they people. just built a new one, right? Uh, uh, yeah. 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 I used to go see games of Pontiac Silverdome with 70,000. Does 70, Vegas have anything like that? The Vegas doesn't even have any teams. <laughs> you know, the guys just came in out the Taj Mahal holds 7,000. We're not talking about 7,000 people here. Right. You're talking yeah. 70,000 people. We need 70,000 seater. There are going to be people flying in from all over the country to see this guy get anal. <laughs> It's going to be the biggest event in Las Vegas history. This is like the Olympics. People will come from everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Giant Stadium will give you a capacity about 77,000. Or if you wanted to have some real fun, we go up to Syracuse. Uh, the Carrier Dome holds over 100,000 people. Is that right? Really? Yeah. But I think Giant Stadium is easier to get to. I do, too. You're, you're darn right about that. So why don't I just rent Giant Stadium for the day? <laughs> the home that Bruce built. Your attention, please, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Have that bad organ music. Now receiving <laughs> anal. That's <laughs> <laughs> not the engineer. Next up. <laughs> we have beer. <laughs> All concession stand. Commemorative T-shirt. Everything. <laughs> right. The house that they, that they built. <sighs> Batter up. <laughs> Can I just tell you something? Why not do it at the giant stadium with big giant screens? I think that's a, exactly the way to go. Hmm. If you charge, say you charged. Uh, Is that outdoors? Yes. Yeah. But oh boy. That's all right. Well, we're doing it in the spring. <laughs> all right. I did. I mean, I'm thinking about right now. No, no rain no. date. And let me just go, you're right. If it's <laughs> raining, for my butt. If, if that's raining, will it stop you at all? No. Put on a poncho and no. watch the sun. No. no Maybe that's that'll be. Funny and we could have rain. we could have tailgate parties and everything yeah, going on. Parking. Tailgate parties. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy D. Daddy D to be a dead dead cheap now, John Stadium. Yeah. Can I say something? You know, who's, you know who's sort of bummed out about this whole thing? Who? Uh, Tom. Why? He just he feels we're talking about it too much, and it's funny because it's I said Tom. No, wait, wait, wait. I said didn't you, didn't you think we were going to be talking about it first thing this morning? And he goes, 
was actually hoping Scott would come to his senses. And, <laughs> you know, he never imagined Scott's whole family would say, let's get it on. Tom's insane. Tom, sat, Tom still doesn't know what radio show he hired over here. <laughs> Tom sat in here while we were discussing this the whole time yesterday. If you could add a camera on the look on his face. Yeah, the whole time. He, he just refused to laugh. Oh, my God. I think he just wishes it would go away. Well, I don't care it what will, he wishes. after it's done. What he wishes. Scott looking so proud over there. I wish he'd go away. Scott, you're finally getting the attention of the world. Scott's a star. We will do it at Giant Stadium. Let me think. <laughs> yeah, All right. <laughs> Welcome to Yankee Stadium. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know if it can be um, mic'd properly. And, oh, it can. Oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't it echo. It'll be like... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like Luke Eric's last speech. <laughs> Today, I consider myself... If you want, it's very, very inexpensive. You can broadcast on a low radio frequency. It's probably going to bring the headphones. Today, today, I consider myself... myself. Can we broadcast it on a low radio frequency? Yeah, that can be done. And you still want to bring headphones. You're tuned to like 88 and... Today, I become a fag. 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 <laughs> I consider myself the luckiest man in the world. Today... <laughs> I consider myself the sorest engineer. <laughs> I think we can do Giant Stadium. Yeah, what about the post game wrap up? <laughs> you know who we'll get? You know, I just spoke to you yesterday. We'll get uh, Greg Gumble to come on back. That'd be beautiful. He's terrific. Professional. Dingleberries. He can call anything. How about Marv? He loves kind of kinky stuff. <laughs> Marv would be the perfect man for the job. I think Marv's looking to clean up his image. Yeah, I think that he'll stay away from us. Wayne Siegel from uh, Legend Porsche Audi Saab. Thank you. Buying a sponsorship, uh, aren't you? Wayne, I'll I hope you get a sponsorship. Excellent. I mean, forget the fear factor. This is take it in the brown factor. Well, actually, Wayne, uh, like like uh, any sporting event, we will have banners and things that yeah. you can buy. Absolutely. As an advertiser. <laughs> rear factor. No, <laughs> like like rear a, factor. You'll see, like, legend. It's a queer factor. <laughs> Maybe we should let like guys like Wayne have a luxury suite you know, for a better client. I'll be selling uh, luxury suites. Oh, you want to see this from the sky? <laughs> I have to get some of the back end. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're getting, you're you're getting all, get all of, all of the back end. Yeah. All right, thank you. Get, need all merchandising. Right, I'll see you later, guys. All right, merchandising. <laughs> get, buy a Scott getting banged T-shirt. Yeah. Wow. Actually, what we could do with Wayne a little promotion. We put we hide the keys to a brand new Porsche. In Scott. Ah. And then a listener lum rummages around <laughs> to find it. Try to find it. It's a treasure hunt. <laughs> it starts. <laughs> Gary Garber, our reporter, you're on the air. Yeah, uh, Howard, in Vegas, they have a, a stadium called Boys Stadium that holds about 35,000 people. Boys Stadium? Boy, boy Boys Stadium. <laughs> See, if we took this on tour, Scott would just take anal in 10 different cities. <laughs> $250,000 a pop. That's right. Coming to St. Louis. Hey, Howard, aren't you shocked by how nonchalant Scott is about this? Let's see him that night. Yeah, I really don't believe he understands the gravity. I bet you he vomits. <laughs> Scott, you're nuts, man. You're crazy, man. I'm definitely out of my mind. There's no doubt about it. You must be on Prozac or something. Yeah, right? are you on drugs? Yeah, is he gonna drugs? Have you thought about the reality? Reality? No, no. No, seriously, have you thought about it? Are you going to be like there? There's going to be a stadium full of people screaming and yelling. Well, and, you, then you're gonna, and then you're going to receive First anal. of all, there was never a stadium until just two minutes ago. Well, you got to get you the money somehow. Yeah, somehow we got to come up with a bus. You keep, stadium. You, you keep making it bigger and bigger. Well, i got to come up with money for you. What? Well, I would think pay-per-view would be enough to come up with the money. Oh, no. Yeah. Would be great looking would rather be pay-per-view. Who's your brain? <laughs> would, what would you rather have, 77,000 people see you or, or pay-per-view? Millions. <laughs> millions. He's going to put it on pay-per-view anyway, video, if he does it. I mean, you know, what, <laughs> what do you think it's going to be? 77,000 people? Mike Tyson doesn't worry about where he's fighting. He worries about just the fight. He, he worries about, about the purse. You, the purse. The, purse. You the just, bigger it gets, the bigger the payoff gets. You just don't need a purse. I'm telling you the purse. You're going to be carrying a purse. Is he allowed to drink before or he has to go cook? Straight. Straight. No, 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 no. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. No, I'll tell no, you no. why. Why? Because I legally yeah. did not have you so loaded where you come back and say you were raped. And and didn't have consent. So you have to be tested to make sure that you're straight. Oh. Absolutely. Straight in every way. This is, this is a very yeah, important thing. Drug tested. You, you have to do this of sound mind. 
Because oh, you're well. insane, I think. <laughs> well, that, that cancels that out right away. Yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine going home to your wife and then, or, and then her saying okay, and then your kids are okay with it? Okay. Your kids are talking about how to up the ante yeah. and mm. making you do it longer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. <laughs> you know, maybe kids are more politically correct nowadays, but if I was your son's friend, I might tease him about this a little. <laughs> he said he can handle it. I even told my 16-year-old he, he about can, this. He and kick she kick anybody's like, ass. She's like, oh, my God, how's he going to go to school? He can kick anybody's ass. Not worried about it. All right. Okay. Okay. You're nuts, bro. Does <laughs> he think it's going to happen? You think we can... Yeah, up? no, he's ready to go. I'm going to... I mean, I can definitely... I think I can get Giant Stadium for this. <laughs> Don't tell him what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to be up front about what I'm doing. Don, like, no way? No, no, no. He's talking to pay-per-view right now. Oh, he is going to definitely. All oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wouldn't you like to be him explaining this to people? Oh. <laughs> was Don on board right away? Or did he think you were, like, doing I, I think it was, uh, you know, he was just a little freaked out. And then when he came to his senses, he said, is this something you really want to do? I said, I really do. I really do. I think it's a terrific special. I pay to see Scott receive anal. <laughs> Those phone calls are great. Bill, it's Don. Could you take me off speaker? <laughs> yeah. Is there anybody else in the room? You're not recording this, are you? I just I figure it's got to be less pain than Casey getting the crap beat out of him for, for $15,000. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. No, I don't think so. What could be more pain? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you ever have like a, a colonoscopy or anything like that? Okay. A what, John? I, I don't know how to say it. Say right. a colonoscopy. Say it. Colonoscopy. Like philosophy. Philosophy. Colonoscopy. Do so you ever have like a? a no, but I've had a doctor in there. <laughs> yeah, but Mark with what? He's had a colonos colonoscopy. <laughs> colonoscopy. With what? With what? His finger? With his finger? Yeah, yeah. And that wasn't painful to you? Dude, this is a guy. You know what? I was brought up right? like you with with rectal thermometers. No, all the dude, time. this ain't no rectal thermometer. No, I know that. My I know that. My indoor, outdoor thermometer. Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah, she used a meat thermometer. <laughs> yeah. But I'm yeah. saying, so when a, guy, when a guy checks you, doesn't, isn't that painful? Have you ever felt this? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm talking about when the doctor even examines you, and he's being gentle. This is a dude. This is a dude. For two minutes, repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> Think of Although you. women do take it. Robin took it. She took it. You yeah, take it. Why not? Rob was drunk. Yeah, but you know what? I was uh, excited. Right. Yeah, right. It's, I don't know that he's going to be. It's a little more natural. <laughs> you picture his. Oh. Big... And it was still not the most comfortable thing in the world. People do it all the time. I could be uncomfortable for two minutes. <laughs> What's your big deal? <laughs> Try the rest of your life. What's the big deal? <laughs> I'm uncomfortable just being here. Oh. And women don't have prostates. Right. right. Man. Oh. What if you what if you uh, what if you uh, orgasm? Oh. <laughs> Things could go. I don't think there's well. a chance of that happening. Oh, we'll, we'll see. You never know. <laughs> you realize things can happen though, huh? Yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just get on all fours now and see how it feels. Oh. I'm just saying, just to, just to get just in that to position. See the position, how it feels. <laughs> all right, we got to take a break. And uh, let me tell you, it's fabulous news that uh, Scott's ready to go ahead with it. I'm, I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Howard, me and John shared a cab yesterday. We were laughing for ten straight minutes in the back of the cab. I was laughing. I went to my gym yesterday. I was laughing so hard by myself. Just yeah. walking around in the hall. People were looking at me. I, told you, I passed Eli in the hall. I just started laughing because, I mean, he's going to be back there working with the guys. You guys act like it's a big deal. It is. <laughs> the reality of what's going on. You don't think this is a big deal? No. You really don't? No. Okay. Every time you meet somebody for the rest of oh, your life. Which won't be long, so it doesn't really matter. This is who you are. You know what, Howard? You know, yeah. Yesterday, I called... I have no pride left. I don't really give a crap. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> yesterday, uh, our friend Ross, you know, he's down in Florida, so he called me and he goes, hey, how you doing? Uh, anything happen on the show today? I said, listen, I have a lot of time. Basically, Scott's going to take quarter million dollars to have anal sex with a man. He's like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm not making that up. He goes, yes, you are. And I'm like, no, he's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine, like, to somebody who had heard the show, it was shocking. Oh, yeah. She had heard my wife. She was like, mine too. What the heck? Everyone, was <laughs> everyone <laughs> freaked out. <laughs> All right, uh, so there it is. There's the latest Scott news. Coming soon to pay per view from our stern. Reality television has hit an all time high. Scott the Engineer, together with his fat, hairy, pimply ass, welcomes a penis for $250,000. Stay tuned for more details. Hey, the 
you got to hand it to Artie. I mean, you you were keeping up with them, and uh, and sometimes you can't even tell who's singing. There you go. Good for you, brother. That's it. You're happening. He's happening. Multi-talented. You're a, you're a happening guy. Hey, everyone. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> What do you say? Yay. And welcome to the show. We have a big, big, big show for you today. Robin, you can see over there a new setup for Stump the Buoy. Stump the Buoy! Stacy's coming in. She's going to get naked if she loses, so we've set up a special booth. So she's got to play naked. That's right. Crispin Glover stopped you by. The movie Willer getting good reviews in the paper today. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Well, buddy Greg Fitzsimmons uh, coming by, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Willard. Yes, Willard. Love your that boyfriend. franchise. Willard, your boyfriend, right? I loved Willard it's the first time. I'm sure I'll fall in love again. I know that you always dreamed of being penetrated by a rat. No. <laughs> Willard is not a rat. Willard's the guy. Ben is the rat. Ben and who was the best friend rat, though? Who was the first rat? Cubby. No. Cubby. Cubby. <laughs> Brian Johnson. <laughs> no. Audie Lang. Audie. Audie was the first one. Audie Lang. Audie. <laughs> Benjamin Bonk. No, wasn't it Socrates? <laughs> Socrates, that's oh, right. Yeah. You win. <laughs> well, you don't have to take your clothes off. <laughs> now, I told you I love that movie. Ben loved Socrates, and I want to tell you the rest. How would you charge me to see you naked? Uh, one billion dollars. No, you would not. Oh, absolutely. You wouldn't show it to me? One billion dollars. You could see it all. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm not going to pay one billion dollars. Get realistic and let's talk price. Uh, there is no realistic. That's the price. I mean, just in private. You don't have to do it here. That's the price. All right. Because I never want to have to look at your account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I'd be too embarrassed. What about just the top? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the price is the same. I'm going to show one boob poking out of your shirt. <laughs> hey, Captain Jakes, what's happening, baby? Hey, good morning, Howard. Good morning, Al. Uh, you know, actually, I want, I want to make a suggestion in light of what we learned about uh, Jay Leno with his um, his over-endowment yesterday. Why don't we see if we can get him to accommodate Scott the Engineer? Oh. See, he won't do it, but we're in the middle of looking for very large men. Taking applications? Uh, we got some guy we think uh, is going to fit the bill, one of the guys. All right. I'll, I'll tell you what, Howard, that, that whole Scott Anal thing, that's like that everybody's talking about. It. I know. Well, it's I'm putting it together. It's and, still uh, not real to me. I look at Scott <laughs> and I can't believe <clears throat> that he's really going to do this. Well, I'm being thwarted all over the place. Really? Uh, I got a message from my agent saying that pay-per-view, there's some problem, but I haven't spoken to him yet. All right. Uh, Tom Chiasano is working behind my back against it. To pull it, off, yeah. to pull it away from him. Yeah, well, I'm wise to him. I'm wise to what he does behind my back now. I didn't realize he's approaching people in my staff. He, t he yelled at KC the other day. I mean, he just undermines what I do for a living and doesn't consult me on it. And now he, he, he can't understand why I think he's such a skunk. But um, he yelled at Casey for coming up with the question. Yeah, he yells at my staff, and it's just embarrassing to me, and and ridiculous, and and he sends secret messages to people like the Godfather, and it's just I'm fed up with him. But there's nothing wrong with asking any question, Tom. <clears throat> I have a secret plan of my own that I'm working on about Tom, which I think is going to finally make me the winner. I'm plotting against him. And a massive coup. I've managed to take away a lot of his power with some of the new guys in the company. Uh, but uh, I'm not, I haven't completely stripped him of his powers. I haven't completely emasculated him. Because I, I used to feel bad for him, but now I don't. Well, if he's going to do that. He plots behind my back. These are adults. People can do what they want to do. Tom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't stop it. Yeah. How does he think the bills get paid anyway? I don't know. I don't know what he thinks. But it's clearly a religious paranoid I have on my hand. And I've had it with him. But, on the good news, I'm not giving up. All right. I'm looking at the giant stadium. 
Oh, there you go. Uh, up on the big screen. Up on the big screen right there. Uh, the Giants have been giving me anal there for years. Right. How much have you lost on the Giants? Exactly. Thousands. But anyway, Jay Leno. Yeah, that was quite a revelation. Sandra Bernhardt. I thought it was going to be more uh, press on that. Yeah, you know. There, there was press in the Philadelphia papers this morning. It was. Yeah. There, at page six in the New York Post, they have a little thing about uh, how that Sandra Bernhardt talked about before Jay got married. He uh, had a little affair with her that he uh, handcuffed her, spanked her, and also he's very, very well endowed. Yeah. She'll be on the Tonight Show next week, you know? What? She'll be on the Tonight Show next week. She should be. That's the, that's the biggest compliment that you can give anybody. You know what I did? I got, I got 150 pair of handcuffs. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding you. I really did this. And Gary Garver's going to hand them out at the Tonight Show tonight. I mean, oh, my goodness. Everyone in the audience is going to hold up the handcuffs. Oh, that would be great. Isn't that great? Oh, that's too Man. funny. Yeah. So... I did that, at least. The whole audience. <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to plug the guy who gave us the handcuffs, but I, I don't have any of that info with me because Gary's late. No, I'm here. I'll have it in a second. Oh, okay. That is a, a great I'm idea. A I missed Gary this morning because we usually, when I, as soon as I sit down to eat, I hear, Move, 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 in case he'll try and say something, Gary will go, I only have time, a little bit of time with Wolf. Hey, Wolf, did you see Survivor? <laughs> www.somethingsexy. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. The guy, you guy, giving the guy a plug. I thought you sent me a note. That's what it is. Oh, 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 oh you couldn't think. I thought you couldn't think of it. Oh, yeah, we thought you were just mumbling, you know, something uh, sexy. Something sexy. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> something sexy. I got to go look at your notes. No, you don't know it. I, I had it, and then you... Write it down. Give the guy a plug. I was good. I was good. All right. Did you see Survivor last night? No, I didn't. Wolf, 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 wolf. Survivor was great last night. Robin, don't say anything. I only have limited time. Wolf, 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 wolf. You know what? Come on, man. Oh, come on. We're just kidding. No, you're not. We had so much fun this morning because Casey was there and he told me whatever he had to tell me. And I go, where's where's Gary? Wolf, 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 wolf. Everyone was laughing. At my expense? Yeah. Is there any other way? Wolf, wolf, wolf. Is there any other way? You probably want to have no life. Shut up. Look at Jack. Jack's getting in the fray. I like it. Sucker punch. Wolf. All right, Wolf. Wolf, 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 wolf. All right. Hey, thanks, Jenks. Capitan Jenks. Gary, good to see you. Get the plug for the guy. Give him a plug. All right. Listen, we got a huge show. And, uh, okay. Something Sexy Planet. Dot com. Right. There's the guy. SomethingSexyPlanet.com. Helped us out with the handcuffs for Jay Leno. Gary Garvey's going to go over to the Tonight Show and hand out their handcuffs, and they can hold them up in the uh, audience. Wave them, yeah. What are you doing, Gary? You, you're going to get Garver on the phone? You don't have to get him on the phone. Why do you get him on the phone? It might be interesting to see, just go over what he's going to do and stuff. He's going to hand out the, the handcuffs. And he's going to interview people, too, I guess. All right, so what i got to talk to him for? I'm to pretty up clear. Yeah, get out. You're annoying me for some reason. I can't even tell you why. You just annoy me sometimes. All right. Go. Leave. Quickly. Because then we won't have a problem. If you get out of here, I'll forget about you. <laughs> sometimes it's hard to look at him. I don't know why. I'm sure it's hard to look at me sometimes. You do like a... You do it like a married couple. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just know it's enough Gary. Leave. You know what I mean? Holy cow, I saw something funny yesterday. What? Robin Radzinski and the E-Crew. And I, I want to find out who put this together because it's so funny. We got a special coming up on E called Howard Stern's Jerk Off instead of, you know, Jackass. Oh, okay. And uh, it looks just like Jackass. It's a parody of Jackass. But it's every moment we've ever had on the show that... Is it whacked out? Uh-huh, like, give me a... Uh, give you an example. Ralph and John throwing sneakers at each other, trying to beat each other up, then quickly into Beetlejuice vomiting, into <laughs> guy walking in and farting on Don King. And, oh. And uh, I can't even describe it. special little moment. And it's so funny. So friggin' funny. Yeah, how great was that? Great. I only saw one. It's going to be two half hours? Two half hours. We were thinking about maybe doing a one-hour special to air next Friday. He will do lots of promotion. And, they should. Uh, you can talk it out. It's brilliant. Do it next Friday. 
Great. Got to get that on the air. You're right. going to die. It is so funny. Yeah. I was sitting, Ralph was over my house. I said, you got to watch this. We, we ended up sitting there watching it twice. Wow. It was so funny. That's it, good. it goes by in a minute. In a minute. Yeah. Just quick <clears throat> clips, huh? If you're going to do that next Friday, let me know. I'll promote the hell out of it. I definitely will. And let me um, tell you also that uh, it was compiled by Mr. Mike Ganji, who shot a lot of the footage. Wow, he did a good job. He did oh, a really good you're going to have to compliment Ganji. I will. I'll, I'll compliment the guy. He did it. Whose yeah. idea was it? Mike Ganji's? Uh, I, think, I think Mike and I came up with it. Very good. Uh, Ganji. I knew he couldn't come up with it on his own. Uh, I knew he needed you. <laughs> oh, uh, Ganji right. compiled it. And uh, we had a producer, Marty Bike, who came and put together a lot of... Uh, who did the editing? Uh, the edit it's our regular editor, uh, Joe Mikliszewski. Joe Mikliszewski did Yay. that? He did, he did. He's terrific. Joe Mikliszewski. Yay! Ganji and Robin Radzinski. Wow. Those are three talented people. Take a bow. <laughs> Wait till you see this. He can't make a movie. Maybe he could. Maybe he's got some talent. I don't know. I don't see any evidence, but now I see this show. Maybe, maybe this he's... This is the first sign. Hmm. After how many years? <laughs> right. He can make a movie if it consists of all quick video cuts. <laughs> yeah. Cecil B. DeFatty actually came through. <laughs> well, it's good. I'm telling you. You love it. I can't wait to see it now. I'm not even hype. Hold it. Oh, boy. I'm having trouble. Um, I'm not even hyping this. I'm not even hyping. I'm telling you it's good. It is terrific. And uh, you're going to see it next Friday. Anytime How... you can sit down and watch something you just watched. That's... I never watch our own show. Yeah, that's a sure sign that mm. it's good. Hey, Barry, what's up? Hey, Howard. Yeah. Hey, uh, one, I, I would never tune in to watch gay sex or pay for it. But what I would do is Scott's wife is so into this and is encouraging them to take anal in Giant Stadium for 250 k mm -hmm. I would tune in if, in fact, she would line up next Well, that ain't going to happen. Why not? Because she, she's encouraging him to do it, yeah. not her. Yeah. Who's got money for Why won't they? Dude, what, I'm it's a miracle he wants to do this. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Now, believe me, I'm fighting an, an upward battle here, uphill battle, because... Uh, everyone's against the special. <laughs> and I don't understand why, because you know what? I've seen softcore porn on all these channels, pay-per-view channels, and we're not even talking about that. We're not even talking... Sorry. I'll be right back. You are listening. Well, all hell broke loose to the Howard Stern Show. Radio's shock jock Howard Stern. Howard Stern. I love Howard Stern. Stern. Uh, I come in here so full of enthusiasm, and then during the commercials, everybody tells me stuff, and I get crazed. Gary was telling me he heard uh, KC got hauled into a meeting yesterday with Tom, where Tom basically says, uh, I don't like that you made those anal phone calls. I mean, I'm praising KC for doing some of his best work ever in the last couple of months. That was a great bit. I'm proud of him. And Tom pulls my people in without my knowledge and starts screaming at them that they should know better than to think and use their own head. Because Howard is out of control, and if you feed him stuff, he'll use it. You're I mean, a baby, and he's uh, got to have people around you to control you. And Tom is busy pulling my people and basically telling them not to do what I'm telling them to do. You're not a professional. You don't know what you're up to. It's like having two parents who undermine each other. I got, I got Tom pulling my people into a room and telling them they're, they're doing a horrible job. And then I pull them aside and go, keep going. You're doing great. And I mean, it's just ridiculous. We're, yeah, we're completely... you're saying be free with your thoughts. Tell me everything that comes into your head. And Tom's saying, no, you got to censor yourself. Yeah, and I, by the way, I listen to everything before it goes on the air. I'm the one who's responsible. Right. He should come to you if he has a problem. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, He's it's... beating up on these guys who, you know, he has control of for no good reason. Evidently, he yelled and screamed at Casey for a half hour, which does no good because I just told Casey, ignore everything he just said. <laughs> And um, he's a fool. Well, Don't listen to him. Imagine you're Casey, and the general manager of the station keeps you in his office for yeah. a half hour. Yeah. And then I have to say bad stuff about Tom to Casey, and I have to tell Casey, listen, the bottom line is this. You don't come up with those ideas. I don't need you. So if Tom's telling you not to think, Tom's a robot, has never thought in his life, 
don't pay attention to. I mean, this is ridiculous. And, ta- ta- I, and even Gary said to me, I should have been in the meeting at least. Yeah, he should have run it by him. He should never have gone to KC. No, it's just, he's just he's just a, a boob. Because he's, he's trying to use his intimidation taxes to scare Casey out of doing his job. Oh, then he was busy with secret messages to people yesterday. Don't ask what's going on around here. Tom's a dick. I mean, I, I got to do You know what? I can't just let... I've been laying back the last couple of months saying whatever is being done, I don't care. But I got to care. I got to stop this nonsense. I mean, it's just out of control. When Tom gets a bug up his ass, it's like, oh, my God, he's on the yeah, warpath and he's, he's going to win. He's got a cause. He's got a cause. He's completely irritated. This is so ridiculous. Then he tells people he's his own man, and then and then when we ask him about changing something, he goes, Mel said we can't change things. Right. So I go, well, I thought you're your own man. Why don't you change something? I can't, he invokes Mel's name. He's all over the place. He's just he's just out of his league. I got to get in with this Bob Moore. He's he's the general manager I want to work with. I've worked with the guy on occasion, and I'm, and I've told this to my agent. And the company's trying to work something out so I don't have to deal with Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because even the company knows Tom's. Why, why do you think Tom just got passed over for that promotion? They see what's going on. Or get on the air unless you wanted it. You knew what was. Yeah. What the question was. I knew everything. All, all that was going to be. Yeah, done. yell at me. Come yell at me. Let's have it out. Let's, let's, let's work out the way I can leave here so I can go do some real radio. Let's get it over with. He's completely intimidated by me, so he goes around intimidating my people, and it, it's just aggravating me more. And then I'm, I'm making phone calls to Mel and the other executives who work here. And I'm bad mouthing them, mm-hmm. and it's making them look bad, and they, they pass them over for a big promotion. Because I don't want to bad mouth the guy, but he's just he's out of control. What do you do when the guy who you're working with is out of control? What do you do? What do you do? I'm like he's technically like my boss, but not really. I got nothing to do with the guy. He's just another general manager. One of the stations we're on. He just happens to be in the same building with us. He's pretty funny because he acts as if he can keep something off the air. Well, yeah, he can. He can keep it in the stupid button, which he did yesterday, evidently. He went crazy on the button. Stuff that all of a sudden, he's just because he's, he's crazed. He doesn't know what to do. But I'm just saying an idea, like Casey's idea. We have a million ways of getting that on the air without you ever knowing it came from Casey. Yeah. But what, what, what I got to play games for? Come to me and tell me what bothers you, and I'll tell you what I think. And if you disagree, get rid of me. That's all. If I'm, so, if, screaming if, I'm <clears throat> if I'm so out of control that you can't talk to me, and that you can't come to me about stuff, then get rid of me. And Why would you want a maniac on the air? Yeah, that he is a maniac. You shouldn't be working with him. That's where your moral dilemma is. Just when Tom argues with me, he never wins because I'm smarter than him. I have too much love, but what he does is he has a guy hit a button on me, you know, and it's just, it's ridiculous. What are we doing? I want, I want out. This is dumb. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Tom? Hello? Hi, how are you? Great, how are you? This is our general manager, Tom Chisson. Right. Good morning, everybody. Oh, why, I wonder why he called it. Why don't you call my staff in behind my back? I didn't call anybody in behind anybody's back. Gary was standing there when I said, I got to talk to Casey about that phone call. He said, Casey, you know. Talked to Tom. I talked to Gary, Casey, and I went into my office. And while Casey was in the office, I decided to make an additional phone call so he could understand a little bit about the problems that I have to deal with. And that was that. But Casey did nothing wrong. His phone call it wasn't what you're complaining about. You're complaining about what I did with the phone call, and and then they set up the whole Scott pay per view. I was complaining about an edit that I thought should have been in the phone call, and um, and then we. That I took advantage of that opportunity so he could learn more about. Oh, come on. Exactly he yelled happened. at Casey for a half hour. You know, I did not yell. I never raised my voice to Casey. What are you doing with Casey? Casey made a phone call. Casey made the phone call. I what, 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 do you, what do you want him to do? You no, want him? No, 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 no. Let me you want him to stop I'm thinking? I'm intimidated by you. What? I'm not intimidated by you. You are intimidated by me. I'm not intimidated come by talk you to me all. before you have a meeting I with try, a staff member where you're going to chew him out. Real hard to work with you. You find it hard to work with me? I, no, no. I said I try real hard to work with you and give you everything you need, but you no, you don't. Help. No, you don't. No, you don't. If you wanted to give me what I need, you would leave. I, 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 well, you know what? I'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye. 
<laughs> what I need is for you to go. <laughs> well, I was just going to say to Tom, it's just very traumatizing for a guy like Casey. Who yeah, of course. He's, it's, he's, he feels like he's being pulled in two different directions. Tom got a hold of Casey twice over this yesterday and, and started badgering him during the show. Well, Casey, oh. doesn't know, Casey doesn't know what to Casey do. Casey works for me. I tell Casey what to do. That's I, right, and if there's an edit that needed to be made in that, you should be the one to do it. We had a staff meeting yesterday. I praised Casey in front of the entire staff. And uh, he was just waiting to be called into another office to be yelled at. Yeah. But I said I want to praise Casey for the bit he did where he asked people, would they have anal sex for $250,000? Because that inspired me to set up the whole Scott pay-per-view, and I want to applaud his thinking. So then two seconds later, Tom's dragging him into an office, yelling at him. And I'm like, well, how am I supposed to do this? And, and uh, the thing is, well, I, I'm, I'm telling a guy, you did a good job. I'm proud of you. And then, of course, KC next week is up for review. He's got to go right. ask Tom for a raise. And, and, and I'm going to probably take Tom out of that process. I'm probably going to just have to go. It's certainly not fair to KC. It it's not. And the guy's doing a good job. And he comes to me and he's like, Gary, I don't know what to do. Howard tells me to do one thing. Tom tells me not to do it. What, what do I do? Because Tom's a boss and Howard's a boss. We have a problem. You know, Tom's wrong. If Tom has a problem with something Casey's doing, he should come to me. And I'll correct Casey. Or I'll correct Casey with Tom. But don't leave me out of the loop. I'm telling the guy to keep going. And, in fact, he should never talk to Casey just for the reason that Casey has to deal with him about his salary. It should always yeah. be through you, and he should never even have any personal contact with Casey. Well, it just puts Casey in a position where he can never win. He, if he does what you want... Yeah, and it's Tom manipulating a young kid, and, and that's, Tom takes advantage of the weak. He doesn't, really, he doesn't really go up against the strong. He won't... He, he would be so far up in this company ladder if he could walk into Mel's office once in a while and say, here's what I'm doing. Mel would respect that. But he can't. He, he bows to whoever's in power and, you know, and he picks on an intern, practically. I mean, Casey's, well, what is he? He's a, he's a, he's a guy who... Glorified he, intern. He got it right out of college. He's working yeah. for me. What is he doing? It's ridiculous. I don't mean to trouble you with business, but it's just crazy around here sometimes really hard to put the show together, you know. And Bob Moore and I click. You know, we're on the same wavelength. Yeah. And, and it's not like Bob doesn't come to me and go, I don't think this will work. But he just comes to me. And he makes sense. Yeah. He, he's consistent. Like I said to Tom, well, you have trouble when men speak about anal sex, but not when it's a man and a woman. What are you, what are you doing? But it's What's also it? that you're telling Casey, you know, I love you for, you know, your juvenile, Sense crazy of humor. ideas. And Tom's saying, grow up. Yeah. <laughs> He's telling him to grow up. And this and job, your job. Anybody around here grows up, they're out. <laughs> but now it's even worse because Casey right now is shell-shocked. Hmm. Still, now he's even he feels even worse because he didn't want this to get on the air. I know. He now, came to you in confidence. And now, and it's, now it's on the air. And now you told me. and, and uh, We just know what to do now, you know? Yeah. Well, he feels like he's... And now Tom will take it out on him, not me. I'll get a little of it. Yeah. yeah, you guys are in for a good reaming, and you don't deserve it. But uh, this is all about me. Yeah. Well, I always like you said. You always said to me, as soon as you stop being creative, you're useless to me. Yeah. So what am I? Supposed as soon to as you become Tom, you're useless to me because Tom is useless to me. <laughs> Tom's useless to me. He doesn't do. He doesn't do anything to further my career. <clears throat> yeah, he plans a trip to Vegas, but he makes sure there's plenty of money in it for him. That's you know, that's, that's all yeah, he Tom's does. Yeah, Tom's thinking about him when he does. Yeah, that. he ain't thinking about me about how to make the show better. That's the way it is. <clears throat> you don't haul in a guy who just did a good job and tell him he, he sucks. Can't do that yeah, to I'm me. Yeah, I'm sure there was no Casey that was great, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was great, but you got. That was a great, but bit. <laughs> you know, if anything, I Ooh. took it and did something with it. Yeah. Ooh. I'm the out of control one. You know, not Casey. I hired Casey because he's. Dopey, and right. he's a kid, and he's <laughs> got wacky ideas, and I like that. I like that he's out of control. I don't want a show that's in control. I could do that. I could go host a Letterman show if I want to do that. So, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so, Paul. You made it outrageous already. <laughs> so, Paul, uh, what are we doing over there? I don't know, Howard. How about another top ten list? How you doing today? Let's do a top ten list. All right. Uh, top ten reasons that we, uh, you know, don't like the Iraqis. Ooh, number ten, they're bad people. Number nine, they suck. Number eight. Uh, 
Number seven. <laughs> Number six, those crazy burkas. Number five. <laughs> and number one reason we don't like the Iraqis, I have shingles. <laughs> yeah, I have shingles. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. Shingle. Play some uh, music, Paul, so I can walk to my desk and no one will see my ass. Because I'm a chick. <laughs> oh, man. Now we're going to drop some fruit from the building and see what it looks like when it hits the ground. Then I'm going to interview some lamos. Are you happy, Tom? <laughs> Here's the show. We just dropped a watermelon off the building, off the Ed Sullivan Theater. Look at that. Let's drop another well, watermelon. Well, aren't we outrageous? <laughs> yeah. Wait. We're gonna now. I'm gonna glue myself to the wall. Velcro. Velcro I'll myself throw to the my wall. Throw my velcroed self to the wall. Hmm. I'm gonna do a Tom friendly show, a show that Tom can be proud of. Mm -hmm. One day, we'll see how it sounds. Good morning, everybody. I suspect it'll sound something like Rick D's. I'm going to let Tom write the show one day. He can think of everything we're going to do. See what it is to put together a four-hour show. He can, he can come up with some ideas, some bits. I'll just do whatever he wants. I want to see what it sounds like. Yeah, instead of standing in the way. Yeah. Until he write the content. You know what? I've been wrong. I think Tom might have some sort of... Ability. Yeah, he seems to know. So, why don't I just wait for him to tell me what to do? I'll sit here. Yeah, look to him. <laughs> no phone call. So far, so good. So far, it's pretty easy <laughs> getting a big audience. Just think of other stuff to talk about. <laughs> Yeah, according to Tom, it'll just be exciting if you say you go, you're going to Las Vegas. <laughs> right. When you tell people you're going to Las Vegas, they're really going to be excited. They love when you go to a different city. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you really think that. And what do I do when I get there? Tom? Oh, just go. Do what you did last time. Yeah, but we did that already. People want to hear it again. Why don't you just repeat the show? Why don't you give me the yeah, day just off? just run the tapes. <laughs> Well, just think of something new. People say that to me all the time. You're a creative guy. Come up with something new. Oh, okay. Come up with something different. I don't like that idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the idea I had. Yeah, and then when I put an idea on, don't sit there and tell me what's wrong with it. Hmm. Scott, the engineer, wants to take anal. He doesn't care if we do it on pay-per-view or if we do it... <coughs> if in we do it... Stadium. In a big stadium. But even he's getting jerked around now. Yeah. You know, everybody's all confused. <laughs> Scott's got to be like, what do I have to do to get money? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he doesn't want to do it, but he's he needs the money. I've agreed to take <laughs> anal. This is an opportunity for him. Mm. And yeah. he is an adult. He signs contracts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people make him stick to him. He's totally yeah. responsible. Yeah, that's the problem. And you know, in 10 years, I'm Fear Factor will be doing that. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> it's just a matter of time. Absolutely. Yeah. <coughs> we'll have whole shows devoted to this. Let's see. Here's the stunt. <laughs> Here's your stunt. You know, screw Fear Factor. Here's the real stunt. We'll give you 250000 if you have anal from the biggest guy we can find. <coughs> now, that, that's Fear Factor. Yay! You deserve the money. Fear is not a factor for you. Yeah. Evidently, I'm going to say at the end of the special, <laughs> evidently fear is not a factor for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> evidently nothing's a factor for you. <laughs> People tell me they can't even look at Scott in the halls. They don't know what to do. I can't believe it when I look at him. I never don't even know how to talk to him anymore. I want to go on the record as saying I will still... Gladly have a beer with Scott after he takes anal. Oh, me too. I wouldn't. I would not do that. I just okay. right now it's surreal to me when I look at him and think of what he's going to be doing. Uh, sexy. I know. I've actually visualized it, and I want to tell you, it's not pretty. Yeah. It's just when I'm drinking the beer, I'm going to be laughing at hysterically. <laughs> I think. Hey. I stopped looking him in the eye. I know you I said that. It's and, and, and why. Because I feel ashamed for him. <laughs> you know, I won't treat him any differently. Like, I'm not anti- you know, the home phone was like, hey, it's your own thing, and I understand. I, I almost feel bad that he's put in this position to provide for his family. 
But I am, I, I'm ashamed for him. I gotta put food on the table somehow. Mm. I looked at him today. He's wearing a Nike sweatshirt. I'm like, I wonder if Nike was. <laughs> just do it. The other thing, <laughs> just go, go for it. The other thing that really, really creeped me out yeah. uh, was yesterday's conversation when, you know, his son said that he should get extra money for every minute he goes longer. <laughs> yeah. Some might have some anger there. Let's see, if I go for two hours, <laughs> I'll be a billionaire. I could be Bill Gates. That's right. He could stay right there and become a billionaire. Yeah, I, had to make, I had to make such an uncomfortable <laughs> phone call yesterday. Yeah, who did you call? I called Paul Fishbein. Yeah. I said, listen, we're, we've been friends for a long time, so I'm just going to get straight to the point. I said, I need a gay porn star with a really large apparatus who's willing to pull his pants down here. And he's like, what? Hmm. And then I explained it to him, and he was shocked also that Scott was doing who it. Who is the guy Cabby said would be perfect for the job? So, uh, something steel. Lexington, Lexington Steel. Steel. He's this black porn star uh-huh. who Cabby says is like... Oh, only Cabby would know. It makes Jay Leno look small. <laughs> yeah, Cabby was in the back throwing names around like, I get somebody for you. I said, hey, Cabby, what about you? Yeah, Cabby would do it, wouldn't he? he said, Cabby goes, I'm eight inches. I go, that's hardly enough. No, it's got to be over a foot. Yeah. Well, Paul's explaining to me that most of your <laughs> most of your well hung yes. porn stars live on the West Coast, so we right. have to bring someone we'll in. Fly him in. Or we could have Ron Jeremy on Monday. Ron Jeremy would do it? Would he do it? I don't know. Yeah. He's, he's, Let's he's, ask him. Okay. Hey, I mean, I could see a whole show just talking to guys. Yeah. He, he fits the bill because you said you wanted somebody really large who looks like Hyper Derek. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hi. Someone called with, with a theory. You think Scott <laughs> is dying and this is like his last way to oh, make it? If he was dying, he wouldn't do it. He, he wouldn't care. He, well, he's not dying any more than he was the day before. The problem is he isn't dying. Yeah. Then here's the other question. Do you think, isn't it hard? Here's the theory I had. That Scott was a swinger and that he's been doing this all along because it's the only way a guy would do it. But I, I mean, he, I had, I, I talked to him. He says, I swear to you, I've never in my life done anything like this. He's I, just a little too anxious for yeah. someone who's never done it. Or nonchalant. He just seems to be like okay yeah. with it. But he's a guy who doesn't show emotion. No, <laughs> but here's the other question. Boiling cauldron. If, he, if he's going to do this now, so he's going to get two hundred fifty thousand dollars. His wife already spent it. Would you do it if your wife is going to spend your money? <laughs> I don't think she's going to spend it all. Oh, he says she's already got it all spent. Well, don't well, listen to him. They're putting some in savings, and, right. and he's not going to actually. No, no. It, 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 yeah, you know, we have to plan for my retirement. We yeah. talked about it yesterday. Well, I, know most, I know where the money's going. Yeah, so do I. And it's it's gonna, they're going to fix up the house a little bit, maybe an extension, but not not much. Uh, maybe get a car, but most importantly, Scott's son is two years away from college. Yeah. So he's doing it for his son's college. Yeah. Son. I need to talk to you. Oh, if his son, you know, can you imagine the arguments when he says, do you know what I did for right. you? Oh. Yeah, you can't argue with that. The first D that yeah, kid yeah. gets, that kid gets like a D average. In the... <laughs> do you know what I did for this college money? How could you discuss me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how dare you? <laughs> I just realized by talking about Tom, he's going to want to call me into a meeting today, and I don't have the time, oh. and I don't want to meet with him. He's going to have to meet with my agent. This is getting out of control. I have to tell you that the cat and mouse game that's going on between, that's developed between you two, is so much fun to watch. He, well, he just trails me. I, I, you know, after the show, I can't talk, and he gets me at a disadvantage. He asks me questions. And I just want to go back to my office and rest after the show. I'm not feeling all that well. And it gets a hold of me. And it's like, you know what, dude? Talk for five hours straight and then sit and talk to you. I, I don't want to do it. But the part that's interesting is you trying to leave after you meditate and him trying to get you. you, know, yeah, you you're in the hall. Out, you run out the door. You yeah. think that he goes down another way. Yeah, I mean, it's, I have to hide from this guy. It's like a shell game. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like he's hounding me. He's stalking me. It's, leave me alone. Why me? And I always feel bad from. He goes, uh, "Did Howard leave?" And I go, "Yeah." And he just goes, "Let me alone." Shoulders just hunch. Is Tom mad at Scott? He's mad. At, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he thinks Scott's doing this to him. He thinks it's about him and Scott. He's completely insane. I'm telling you what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Scott. Scott's got no life. He's easy to pick on. <laughs> <laughs> well, Scott knows he's irritating Tom, and Scott's going to enjoy this. Yeah. No, he's not. He doesn't. He's not you comfortable. Have a, a see, wrong see, that's the wrong opinion. Scott likes Tom. I, believe it or not, I talked to Scott many a time about this. He goes, I, he goes. I don't know. I, I don't think the guy likes me. I, I said this a million times. Tom is the greatest guy in the world. If you didn't have to get a raise from him, right. well, or if you didn't have to work with him, he's a great guy. I got nothing personally against Tom. You know, I think he's odd. <laughs> I mean, any guy who makes a pact with God that he can't masturbate, 
I mean, that's insanity. Yeah. You're dealing with somebody insane. Really, any other pact you could make except that. Yeah, I mean, why, why do you make do a pact? pact? Why make a pact? What if you feel like doing it? Just say, look, I won't have any more apples or something. So what is God going to do for you now that you're not doing that? So any guy who would make that kind of deal with God, he's making decisions over my people and my show. And, I mean, right away he should be fired for that. He's unqualified. He's got too much of a personal agenda wrapped up in all of this. This is a business. I gotta have a guy who's you know gets it. Cause I'm bored. It's not personal. It's business. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get it. I understand Scott's taking anal. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I don't, I don't God, know what you're doing. This is Tom. I know you cured my cancer, and I agree to stop pleasuring myself. But now I come to you, God, with a whole other set of issues. Yes, Tom. I, one of my employees wants to receive anal for $250,000. Oh, my God, Tom. This is terrible. I know, God. I know that your son, Jesus, would never do something like this. Yes, Tom. Meanwhile, God, after Tom stops praying, he's like... Do you believe this schmuck? <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to tell him to give up water. I don't know. Is that another prayer from Tom? Because the one good thing you can do is touch yourself, and this stupid idiot isn't doing it. He's going to waste that. I helped him once, now he won't leave me alone. <laughs> I'm going to go tell him he has to give up water. Tom? Yes, Your Holiness. I need you to give up water. Of course, God. Stop masturbating. I've done that already. And I want you to... Get facial surgery like Bruce Jenner's. Okay. It gives him weird things to do. I want you to go harass KC for a half hour tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, God. God, think of some other errands for Tom. And I want you to hop on one foot. Okay. <laughs> for how long? Forever. <laughs> God's like, listen, Tom, I'm still laughing over this. Even the Pope, Master Ben. I don't care yeah. what you hear. <laughs> I guarantee he does. Yeah, but would Tom, would Tom uh, does Tom think God sent him here to take care of KC? That's what God is worried about in this stupid world? Right? Yeah, I want you to take care of KC. <laughs> Wouldn't take care of Iraq. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> take care of KC. Right. Get him straightened out. <laughs> But Scott's ready to do it. I've He's... talked to him several times. I said, is this something you want to do? He goes, yeah, I want to do it. He seems, proud. He seems unfazed by the whole thing. Yeah. Well, he says, I don't want to do it, but I'll do it for the money. But, you know, I thought he'd be walking around, you know, sort of like, he's holding his head high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm an old man. He's going to take it like a man. He wants the 250 thou. <laughs> it's not life-changing money. You know? It is for, for Scott. What are you talking about? For you, maybe, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Rock. Two Houses. No, but Artie and I were talking about it. It's not like it's like a, like a million or two dollars that you're going to, like, you know, really change your life. He's just going to blow this and... Why know, are you like, saying he's going to blow it? Because he's just going to build an extension on his house and, and add some furniture. Would you do that? I mean, was that worth that, what he's going to do for it? Yeah, if you think about it... The pleasure he gets, and... though, from that house? Yeah. You should probably build a smoking do. extension. That's what it'll be, some place to smoke. Somewhere where I can smoke outside of the house but still be encased. In front of the addition, in front of the addition yeah. you should have a plaque of his ass. Hey, Scott, come on in here. I want to know what you're going to do with the money. Because you know he's, he's going to have no say over the money. Huh? That's the thing. I Like I would tell my wife, this money is in my... Darling, if you let me do this, the money is yours. <laughs> <laughs> if you let me do this. We're talking about $250,000. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> smoke, smoke. When you smell smoke, you know he must be near. <laughs> now I know why you smoke. So what are you doing with the money? I'm hearing house extension, car, and son's college money. Well, mostly the college money and... Furniture. Maybe furniture. A chair would be nice. Right. You're gonna need a chair. Hey. A soft chair. <laughs> soft chair. <laughs> You're gonna need a hammock. <laughs> and a jacuzzi so I can uh. soak. No, really. What are you gonna do with the money? Are you gonna build an extension? Oh, I don't know about that. Maybe. Right. Maybe I. You know. A smoking extension. Yeah. No, Seriously. It won't be any smoking. Right. So <laughs> it's gonna buy a lot. It's long. going away. 
But, oh, um, no, you're going to increase your smoking habit. I have the last couple of days. Uh, yeah, we're looking for guys. We, uh, we were talking about this guy, Lexington Steel. I don't know if he goes gay, but if he does, he's the man. And what Cabby says, the guy's ridiculous monster. I cannot wait to see this. Of I course. Wish, I, I wish John, next is, John is one person that enjoys other people's pain. 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 You no, know, he just loves pain. <laughs> we're all going to enjoy this. See no, your face I'm going to enjoy it, too. Oh. Do you think you can do this without, like... Make it like crying or making a noise. No, no, no. Or are we gonna know. have to put a bucket under you? Are you gonna throw up? What are you gonna do? He's gonna be screaming. You know? How do I know? I don't know if you care, but Lexington Steel is a black guy. Does that make a difference to you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That'd be funny if it did. <laughs> Some people are racist. You know, Scott. You know, it could ruin your porn career. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I didn't think about it in that way. That's true, because once you go black, evidently your price goes down. Oh, yeah. I, I better think about that. You're going to immediately go to the top of the Klan's hit list. <laughs> it's a black guy, you're gay. you got to hear Cabby talking about, like, Lexington Steel. He's like, oh, you got to get a hold of this guy. Dude. Dude. <laughs> it's like a big, yeah, a big yeah. conversation going on. And Scott's standing there with us. <laughs> he was all excited, Cabby. He was like, I can get you the best guy. Over in the over in the green room, Stuttering John's friend sent up all this food. Who is that guy? Uh, his name is Frank from Aiello. is in Manhattan. It's oh. Italian place. Oh, the place you took me to. Uh, no, no, this yeah. is this is like a pizza uh, oh. place. But it's so they had some good food over in the green room. We're all sitting there. We're you know in the kitchen area. Uh -huh. Everyone's you know chowing down. Me, Casey, Artie, of course. <laughs> of um, course, if there's food. There's Artie. Scott was yeah. in there. Everyone. Steve, the engineer, was in. There. Everyone was in there. Well, all of a sudden, it was like a little party. Yeah. This was after the show yesterday. After I avoided Tom in the hall, <laughs> and then um, Kevin's like, "Hey, you know who you got to get? Lexington Steel." <laughs> This guy's just standing there. He's really trying to help Scott out. Yeah, one guy. <laughs> well, Cammy, what about you? He goes, well, I'm eight inches. <laughs> so he didn't say no. No, he swore off gay sex. He says he's swearing off right. gay sex because he's engaged or something. He said, he said, look, I experimented in high school. <laughs> but he was saying it as if all of us were going to go, yeah, we all did yeah, that. Yeah, everybody did that. Yeah, oh, no big deal. <laughs> so we were all, he goes, look, we all experimented, right? And there's like dead silence. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's looking eating. away, looking at their feet. It was an unusual conversation. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I got the perfect guy to bank Scott. So, it, back to the money. I, I just like to put most of it in the bank. I mean, you just have it. What's funny about you is you have this blank expression on your face when we talk about this. Yeah, thing. I mean, it's what, like, you know. What are you going to do, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> that was my answer. That's what's most funny about it. <laughs> How do you imagine this going down? I mean, like, we're going to pick the guy that night. <laughs> and then, like, do you think you're going to try and prep yourself like before the event like like to try it like not with a guy but maybe with like something some object yes you are going to try you it are. oh no he's got to <laughs> yeah wait we got to get video of that too no <laughs> it's training it's extra money it's in training. that it's it's training. another hundred thousand for that <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to use like a like a apparatus Scud i guess a, an adult Scud toy Scud might help right Oh, you're gonna probably he's going to take it more than once. Graduate. I mean, he's got to work his way right. yeah, you know, right. in a weird way, that's logical because yeah. the, you don't want it to be... I mean, the, the first, first time, time is... It's sort, of, it's sort of like spring training. We should know? cancel the event the day of... <laughs> <laughs> After Scott's done all his training. <laughs> What do you mean they're not going to with it? What are you talking about? I gotta, I gotta build up the muscles, don't I? Yeah. Or knock them down. Or whatever. I'll start with a birthday candle. Scott, <laughs> <laughs> Scott, we, we can't do it. Scott, <laughs> got, uh, are got you called off. Me? What are you, crazy? Have you ever played back there at all? No. Nothing. No. Only, you know, That's when I was a kid. Back. With a rectal thermometer. Right. Uh, no. uh, well, oh, rectal right. thermometer is nothing. Yeah. Right. I know. How's the guy going to get aroused? It's getting him? hot in here. I can't even, I couldn't even handle a rectal thermometer. I used to freak at that. I mean, do you realize what we're talking about here? Oh, I realize it, yeah. You know, whatever you want to to, make sure it's big and black. <laughs> <laughs> And let your son apply it. Make him work for college. See, I have a telephone that's big and black. <laughs> oh, Lexington Steel. <laughs> What's going to be your, your reason? Honey, where's the cucumber? 
I'm up to the cucumber. Do you think his wife will help him train? <laughs> but are you going to train by yourself, or are you going to ask your wife to help you? She's my you? coach. I'll have to think about that one. Yeah. She's my Bobby Knight. Because she can be there. That night she go, come on, honey, you know how to do it. We practice. <laughs> you can take it. But it's it. very different. I'll There's cameras. And and people uh, um, <laughs> and, and there's a human being attached. I have feelings. <laughs> First thing I do is go. And when you get nervous, don't you sort of <laughs> clinch up? Oh, I know, I do. Look how calm he is. To work out with Richard Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go buy stock in uh, KY first. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. So you're gonna need it. Need a little of that. Yeah, I think you're gonna need some help. Hey, Howard. So what are you gonna like choose for uh, you know the guy? Like you know you, you know what's gonna be your criteria? The biggest guy. A guy who, you know, is obviously into some gay sex. I don't want him to, you know, we need, we need a guy to perform. Him. We're going to need a backup guy in case the guy's done in 10 seconds because yeah. we Scott's need two so minutes. Because yeah. Scott's so hot. Yeah. Yeah. Scott might turn the guy on so much. Yeah, you think oh, the guy's going to have to think wait. of chicks? Not to... <laughs> See, I knew he's going to have he's gonna have a he's lot gotta of He's got to go rules. two minutes. Yeah, it's got to be two minutes, Scott. Two minutes is what we're paying for. we got to have a special here. <laughs> Suppose he says, did you just see the look on his face? I told you I'd go up to five. No, two minutes. Oh. All we need is two. Oh, God. Scott, you're crazy. Oh. <laughs> yes. Go up to I five. am crazy. What do you think would be worth? I don't know if I can't say this, but um, I'm just going to get, we're going to line up a whole bunch of guys. I guess porno guys. <laughs> Maybe yeah, some gay we listeners. Have performers. We can't have people who are going to choke. Like gay Ramon and stuff. But is it cruel for us to pick the, the you know, the biggest guy? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> but, of course it is. But that's how you earn the money. But, yeah. I mean, we want to we want to make it difficult. Well, so I'm, I'm I'm afraid if we use, if 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 you, if you say the audience, the audience might just feel bad for Scott and choose you know someone that isn't. There's not going to be anyone audience. there. This audience. You talk about my audience is going to feel bad for Scott. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. We get some celebrities like maybe like Andy Dick or someone. Yeah. <laughs> what? Gary Ramon leaves me a voicemail every night begging me oh, 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 to do oh, Scott. Just really? Me. Well, he could be one of the one of the ten. Do you want to practice with him, Scott? Oh, jeez. I don't think he actually could be wants my to sparring practice. No, there's no practice here. Live, there's no live practice. Well, how are you going to practice? Are you going to include your wife in the practice? I don't know. I, I, I really didn't think I mean, about it. I think you're going to need some help. <laughs> I think you should have a guy help you. Because you've no, got to get used to that no, whole no, concept. No, no, no. Man, you got to build up to that. No, no, what do you mean, no, no, no? No. You're not going to have a guy help enough? you? No. You're not going to try it once to see if it works? No, I said not with a guy, though. Well, have a guy. No, I mean, have a guy at least use his, his toy on you. A toy. Why Why does it have to be a guy? So you get used to the sound of, like, a man behind you. <laughs> Grunting. I think you should leave that for the special. <laughs> I'd like to see your reaction. Yeah. You know, I think I'd have to, you know, build up in some way. Do you know how freaked out John and I over this whole thing? I sat down, John had his hand up here, we touched hands and we just played. <laughs> I'm shocked. I mean, are you as shocked as I am? Beyond belief. I've known Scott for 15 years. I'm shocked. I'm shocked, too. It's not like I have to kiss the guy. Yeah, yeah. Let's, not, let's not make it personal. I'll, I'll, listen, sh- I'll throw, in, in, I'll throw in a personal grand if you at least tongue kiss him for like oh, get the hell 20 seconds. Yeah. How much, a G? Yeah. I think it's going to take more than that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it ain't happening? It happened for the right price. Would you, no. tongue Would you throw in a little bit, Howard, of your own just to see him tongue kiss I'll give you guy? five Gs to tongue kiss All right, six grand. No, no, no. Come on. <laughs> I'm not doing that. go all the way. Would hey, you tongue kiss a guy? Might as well. For 250 grand, that was what the deal was. tongue kiss a guy for 250 grand? That he's got to think about. Yeah, I do have See, to think about would. that. See, of course you would. No, he said he's got to think about it. Don't think no, about it. Tell us your price. Oh, I don't... Come on, Scott. <laughs> he would tongue kiss the guy for an extra 50000 and I know oh, I know that. But do you think that's... If I throw an extra 50000 No, 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 I don't... No, all right, no, off the that's, table. That's a Lexus. Well, wait a second. How <laughs> it's just so different. 50000 is a Lexus. How much to yeah. give... How much to give the guy oral? Oh! Whoa! No, no, no. How does this make sense? He wouldn't tongue kiss the guy. Do you think it's because Scott doesn't have to look at the guy that he's in his mind? Well, we gotta have a monitor right in front of. Him. Oh yeah, you. Oh, yeah, you're gonna it see may, the guy. That. You're gonna get to know the guy. Yeah, we're maybe, gonna make sure uh, you see your your friend. How many dates do I get to go out before? Uh, uh no, come on. This is gonna be something else. The Pace and I were having a discussion, Howard. If you're in prison and you had no choice, hmm. and it was either get taken from behind right. or you had to uh, give the guy oral pleasure. That was your choice. You had no choice. What would you do? I'd be killed. But I, I said the same I'd rather be killed. I said, Same with me. But, but you had no choice. But you're going to live, so what are you going to do? I don't want to live. Not you with that choice. You are going to live. You might kill yourself afterwards. I can't. All right. What are you going to do? You know, I, I, I'm not doing anything. No, I'm fall. laying there. Yeah, there's no, I, gonna, gonna there's no right it. answer. I'd say kill me. No, I'd fall on the ground. I'd hit the guy with a rake. Yeah. 
I, I'd fight till the death. But <laughs> well, I, just, I don't even know. I don't get this. They're holding you down. You well, then I got no choice. Something, so you're gonna take right. it, right? One of no. Them, like Scott. You're no, I'm not. No. One of those. No, one not. of those things is coming. One of those things is coming to you. You have no choice. So they're either gonna pick it or you're gonna choose it. I don't. I think I. I just can't answer this question. Yes, no, I can't either. I don't know how Scott answered it, but I can't. <laughs> A penis is coming at you. You have to turn one way. <laughs> Which way are you turning? Uh, Harry, I'm not a rich guy. I would never do this for two million dollars. Th this is crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't He's know. Do it. He made his choice. <laughs> I want not it. you, John. He's yeah. not you. I think John does have a price. <laughs> See, but oh, you've gotten no. paydays of a hundred thousand yeah, dollars, right? Right. And a hundred payday for his push-ups. Ten, ten grand. Oh, We're talking about this is two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Andy, hi. You're on the air. Hey, what's up, Howard? You know, so I got to ask you a question. Are you going to have, like, doctors on staff or something? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. we will have a so doctor could, on staff. He's probably going to need stitches right after that, mm. something like that. What happens if Scott passes out in the middle? <laughs> no no money. No, the guy can As long as the guy, yeah, the guy has to keep going. <laughs> well, wait. Howard, one, one, one other question. What the hell? Are you, are you, so you going to have a good time in there? Because he's going to pull that clap where it was a minute and a half. He's going to stand up and say it's over. No, no deal, you know what I mean? No, there's going to be judges and everything. There'll this is be very an professional. Clock and official hey, I got a question. Okay, okay, Harvey Firestein to sit right there and tell yeah, Harvey Firestein's our judge. <laughs> hey, I suppose after the first 10 seconds, he goes, No, I, that's it. He doesn't I lose the money. money. He, he loses knows. the money. He knows what he yeah. has to do. I believe that Scott's. You know, ah, what are you, you freaking idiot? What do you got? Have your goddamn car over, you stupid jerk! Who is that? Andy. Whoa, whoa, yeah, Howard. What happened? I'm driving a truck here. What'd the guy do? He cut me off. <laughs> what are you what then what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> I'm gonna, if I get up the way, I'm gonna punch him in the face. Oh, nice. no. <laughs> me while he's driving his truck with, on, on, on the cell phone. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, Howard. I shouldn't have freaked out like that. Hang on, Howard. i got to finish my beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. God forbid you cut off a truck driver. You're dead. You're dead meat. <laughs> Don't follow you. Yeah, they kill you. It's, it's a tough job, Howard. Tough I know job. it is. I know. All right, brother. Listen, you better go take some more speed. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. Those guys are all jacked up, those truck drivers. Oh, Stay oh, away. Yeah. That was, that was yeah, hilarious. Out. <laughs> Crystal meth. <laughs> that was hilarious. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what are you doing, you stupid dark? I'll kill you! I told you not to use the goddamn tape. Scott, Did I, I say you, you don't use yourself. the tape? I told Get you. out of my way! I told you. Get out of my way! I would have never let you come if I knew you were going to use the tape. <laughs> no f***ing way, Ganji! Now stay out of my face! Scott, I told Get you... Get out of my face! You have such anger. Can't you cut me off? Get the camera out of here! Scott, you... Out of here! Now! Scott. Come on! Turn it off. Get out! Have you ever right. been that angry? I think no. I've never been that angry. That's a creatine-induced... Um... Yeah, I don't know. Rage. I, can I, I took out a piece of my wall when Scott Einziger took my show, but <laughs> other than that... Hey, can I, I saw that show. What? Oh, so bad. It was on last night? Yeah, it's horrible. Oof. Okay, don't get me started, dude. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll give you any. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hurt you. Get you. Yeah, you'll get it for free. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what? I was going to tell you the story that cured me from my road rage, because I used to get involved in this crap all the time, because yeah. I drive a lot. Mm -hmm. So I was driving home one day, and this guy started tailgating me, you know, hmm. really close, so, and he's putting on his brights and everything. So I let him get in front of me, and then I start tailgating him, putting on my brights and everything. We were on the highway. We must be doing about 80 miles an hour. The guy slams on his brakes. Ooh. So I had to slam on my brakes. The back of my car is fishtail oh. all over the highway. I go, this guy's going to let me smash into him yeah. just to be right. Yeah, you're crazy. So I just after that, I just stopped. Yeah. yeah I mean, you just got to... I've almost, go. I've almost gotten out a couple of times, and then I realized I got kids That's and stuff. That's crazy. I know, I know. Dominic. You know, all the wild things that have happened over the 20 years, this is the only thing that travels with you all day. Yes. You think about it. People talk to you about it, and they say to you, "Is he going to do it?" Is he... Now, what I want to know is when Scott walks around and people talk to him, what does he say? Yeah, I'm wondering if his friends have talked to him about this. The bowling league has said anything. Let me tell you something. I had to have a heart to heart with Scott about it yesterday, and without going into the details of the conversation, it was uncomfortable even just talk because I yeah. said, "Scott, let's have, let's let's talk off the air here. Are you ready Seriously, to go do this yeah. thing? Because I don't want to waste time trying to get this together." And he goes. 
I'm prepared. <laughs> that was a long conversation. That's though, like yeah. asking somebody to go on a suicide mission. I mean, it, it, was, it was well. It's like being the Al Qaeda network, yeah. and you're planning the World Trade Center. You moved off like 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, we were in there for some yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Was it like a heart to heart? <laughs> it was uncomfortable. Oh my goodness! And you had to explain that you know what you're uh, letting yourself in for. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. This is what we need to do. And yeah, it was uncomfortable. And he, and, but he had to keep like he 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 was like, uh, you know, it's not something I want to do, but I have to do. And I, I I know. I go. Do you want? To do this? Well, look, I don't want to do it. I go. No, no. I mean. <laughs> I know you know. <laughs> I wish there was yeah. another. He was, try, he was trying to come up with some other, other way he can make 250. I go, Scott, I don't have another way. You know, Scott, I could. Are you uh, feeling all right physically? Yes, I feel fine. Because you made a comment yesterday like, well, I have to do this because this is how I can leave something. And I wonder what you meant. Well, he smokes. He's, how yeah, much longer has he got to live? That's, that's right. what I meant. It's a miracle. Hey, unfortunately, now Scott's going to live. <laughs> I'm afraid for the guy who gives him uh, gives him his treat because you can't catch the lung cancer that way, can you? <laughs> well, one last thought. You know, you're going to actually pick the guy, Howard, that does it. Where America chooses. Up. America will pick. We'll just have the finalists. We'll just have the finalists. How about all of them be transsexuals, you know, with the, dressed as women? And then they show their, you know what, and then you pick. What is your thing? You always want men in wow. women's clothes. That's Dominic's thing. What? He loves when men are dressed up as women. Stop it. He does. <laughs> He's always talking about getting with men. No, because women. What, if, like what if one of the men wears pretty shoes <laughs> and, and stockings, fishnets? And <laughs> Uh, 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 Donald Trump and the Mary Widow. Uh, yeah. All right, thank you, Dominic. Hey, Howard, is your bet that Scott's going to go the distance? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, he might Scott pass out. I think, no, I think he's out in like 45 seconds. You do? You think he'll tap out? I think yeah. he'll just, he just won't be able to hit the action on that. He's out at 45 seconds. you got to go. I think he might tap out. Yeah, I, I don't he's think just, he's realizing what's going to go on I don't on think there. he does. Because think of the guys we're going to pay. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> stop it, John. We're talking about Lexington Steel we're going to try and get. Yeah. I mean, Have you ever seen a picture of him? Hey, look him up on the internet, yeah, guys. Lexington yeah. Steel. See who Scott's going to get? We should be able to get a picture. John, I'll go 500 with you that Scott does it. The whole two minutes? The whole two minutes. I'll go, I'll go 100 with you. All right, 100. I'm betting on Scott. All right, I say I say he at least I lose. Wait, wait, but suppose he stops <laughs> the first minute, then goes oh, back. He took Scott. Uh, oh, he's, he's tapping out. I'm saying that he's at least no, going to have to stop. If Scott gets the money, I get the money. That's my, whatever right, the right, judge so is you saying. Don't want to See, I'm saying that he's at least going to have to stop and turn away. No, if I'm saying he gets the money. I just do it. All right. I didn't do the pain just to make sure, right. make sure he loses. Artie's saying right, Scott's going to go the full two minutes. All right, 100 bucks. Okay. I'm trying to support the guy. He's got a tough day. Going. I'll bet on Scott. <laughs> you think he's going to go? Wait, take a look at Lexington Steel. Did anybody got a picture of him yet? What did they, they say? 13 inches? Let me find something that's 13 inches. I didn't talk inches. to Candy. I don't know. Do we have a ruler out there? I'll tell you what's 13 oh. inches. Hold on a second. <laughs> Oh, please, put that back. That's not 13 inches. No, no, no. Howard, Howard, from, from my fingertips to my elbow, it's about 13 inches. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what I'm saying. Oh, where's They're Lexi? about to bring up Lexington. Oh, oh there's Lexi. Oh, 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 oh. What? Oh, here's a ruler. All right. Oh, my. All right. God. There's Lexington Steel. Look at this guy. All I have to say is, ow. All right, you ow. see this ruler? Oh, yeah. my. It's just 12 Where? inches. He's one more. So than hold on. One more than Wait a second. Let me measure this out for you to give you an idea. <laughs> oh. Another inch. I, I don't think another inch is going to matter. Right. You see my megaphone? Well, that's not going. Well, wait, wait, wait. You see my megaphone? Yeah. That's only. That's nine and a half. <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah, but oh. whatever. That's nine and a half. Okay. All right. Hold on. Wait. Let me show you something. Yeah, I'll give you another comparison. All right. See this tissue box? Yes. <laughs> Hold on. That's that's ten. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Steals thirteen. Oh. All right. You know what? It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> All right, a long something. two minutes. Robin, let me see if I can find something. Here, wait. Okay. All right. You see this loose leaf binder? See it? Yeah. That's only eleven and a half. <laughs> yeah. And it's blue. Yeah, it's not black, it's blue. <laughs> Anybody got any paper towels? Because I'd like to know how oh. long a roll of paper towels is. Paper towels? 
All right, you see this? What is this? Oh, oh <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Give me something else. Oh, my God. Oh. Right, you see this bottle? Wait a minute. See this bottle? Okay. This. This here is 11 inches. The top included. Okay? Let me see that. All right, you see this microphone? It looks this about is a, 10. All right. Here. This microphone... This is 11 and a half. Oh yeah, practice with that. Okay. okay. And there's a Let picture of Lexington Steel. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <Yeah>. Holy. <laughs> All right, you see this jar, Robin? This vase? I can't even find anything. <laughs> this is only nine inches. Wow. This, doesn't even, this doesn't even come into the picture. <laughs> All, right, all, right. all right, you see this bottle of... <laughs> all right, you see this award I received? Oh, yeah, there you go. Outstanding... Radio personality. Oh my! This is eleven and a half inches. Oh. Is everything eleven and a half? There's nothing in the room. So is just, big. Just understand that. Uh... Oh no! All right, you see this Poland Spring bottle? This is a, a this Poland and a Spring. This is a liter and a half. Yeah. This is thirteen. This is almost thirteen inches. Oh. Wow! Here's your practice. So there, there's there's what we're talking about. Let's got hold up. Something Scott can practice with. What is that? <laughs> the guy, the guys from Queer as Folk left me this. Oh, that, Wait a minute. That, that's a doorstop. That's, that's a doorstop compared to what Scott needs. But that, look at that. That could get him started. Yeah. Opening uh, the area. You know what? I'll bring some guys in next week so you can take a look. Thank you. All right. I mean, you can measure the circumference of that and right. uh, see how Scott can do. <laughs> All right. You know what, Robin? We got to take a break. Scott, good luck in your Thanks. mission. I, I'm still trying to put it together. You know that. I know. I've talked to you about it. Yes. And uh, we'll take a break. We'll be back right after these words. What's happening, everybody? Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. Uh, hey now. What's happening, everybody? Good morning. Hey now. What's happening? No answer? Yay! Not much. No. I was just talking to Scott, the engineer, who came running into me. He goes, uh, it, it can't happen. It can't happen. Uh, I have to, can't do it. Did he finally come to his senses? <clears throat> oh, there's, too, there's too much going on with it. It's getting out of control. <laughs> my life's getting turned upside down. Yeah, <laughs> my life's getting turned upside down. Well, who didn't know that was going to happen? Scott. Yeah, I mean, didn't you expect this to happen like a week ago? I, I can't have anal sex on camera because... Oh, it's crazy. Uh, People will see you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> what happened specifically? You're not telling me. I, I mean, just, you know. When my, I imagine your son I is guess, getting hammered at school. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, you know. So I was surprised I, I your wanna, son was into it. I just want to. You must be a chip off the old block. It grew to uh, enormous proportions. Did you get calls from relatives by any yeah, chance? I got calls from everybody. Like who? I mean, just friends or people, you know, like. When you decide to become a homo, I guess yeah. it's a big announcement. It's unbelievable. Yeah, that's a big announcement. Yeah, people do call with you. <laughs> In my family, that would be a big announcement. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Artie's taking ano. <laughs> In Artie's family, the announcement would be, don't ever come here again. <laughs> We're punching you in the face. Like what, what, when, did, when did you make the decision? What was the last straw? When I heard my mother turn over in a grave. No, really, what happened? Uh, no, I mean, you know. Without joking, I mean, what is, what, tell me the reality of what happened. It was. It wasn't one specific thing. Yeah. It was just a combination of like, you know, a week of just getting it from everybody. But your parents aren't alive anymore. No, correct? no, no. So no. did you get calls from say like your sister and your brother? You, you don't have well, a my sister. Yet. My sister. You know. She I didn't me. even know you had a sister. Yeah, she yeah. had a sister. Really? Yeah. yeah. She has a beard too. <laughs> <laughs> what did your sister say to you? She was like, "Are you out of your mind?" You know. <laughs> I, Did you say yes? Yes, absolutely. I, I, I must. What do you do when your mind. sister calls you and says, "Are you out of your mind?" Did you say first, like, "Hey, you know, this is my decision." I said, it, "Listen, it's a lot of money. Um, we can use it." And um, it, it, but she was supportive. 
anyway. <laughs> Support him. Like, like, you know. She'll still love me. Whatever, yeah, she'll still love me, even though I'm... <laughs> if you're going to get her on all fours, I'll still love her. What was weird is he was going to waste the money on furniture. <laughs> right. I know. That was really stupid. That, that money's too important to waste no, on I furniture. No, I wasn't going to waste it on furniture. Yeah, every time you go and do something like this for the money, <clears throat> it should be used for only <clears throat> very important things. Well, well, Scott was like, I'm going to use it for my son's college. And, you know, my yeah. feeling is, let yeah. your son get a job yeah, before you that. do that. He has a job. Yeah, well, let him get two or jobs. let him get on all fours. If, I, if you can do it. Yeah. If he wants to go to college so bad, let him take it. I had a big discussion. At, uh, I had dinner Saturday night. The big discussion was that son, Scott was going to use the money for his son's college fund. Mm. And just how weird that was. That's going to get a real force. You see what I mean? Everybody, I mean, it was the topic of conversation everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for me, never, everywhere. For me, so, I mean, I didn't it think, you know what? Deal. I didn't think. Don't you like being the center a... of attention every once in a while? <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, I knew it was a big deal. But um, it just, I mean, giant mm -hmm. stadium, the whole the whole thing. I mean, yeah, it, was well. just, it was just. It was a topic of conversation for me everywhere this weekend, and yeah. I wasn't doing it. Right. Like right. the cameraman on Hollywood Square said, please tell Scott not to do it. <laughs> you know what's weird? I think when we decided to get <clears throat> Lexington Steel, yeah. Yeah, maybe, uh, that freaked you out. That shook him into reality. <laughs> yeah. I told you, it wasn't one thing. It was just uh, it was just everything piling on. Your wife was still behind it, right? I mean, she was still into it. No, no, it was getting... It's, she it, wavered? It was getting to be too much. She didn't want it either? Your wife wavered on this one? Yeah, I mean, you know... She didn't want her husband having anal sex? On television? No, publicly. <laughs> I really wish publicly, I could get to publicly. the bottom of what happened. She'll never you. tell a good story. I, I, no, I never. I'm telling no, you the whole you, thing. You're not telling me. You're not telling thing. us anything. My son came home. He said, he said his whole school knows. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Yes. And I said, you know what? Uh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to put. Because it's going to continue going on. But didn't on I tell you on. that the first day that your son was going to be ridiculed at school, that he'd have to be homeschooled? Yeah, I think several people mentioned it. Mm. But, it but it just. But it, but it, it exploded. And, and we said, do, do you know your son has to go to back to school? What's he going to do when he has to get up and explain what Dad does for a living? <laughs> well, and the truth is that, really, it's so showing I, I don't do it for a living. <laughs> You're not, not doing it because you don't want to. You know what I mean? In other words, it's it, still yeah. out there that you'd like to do it. Yeah, you're still willing to accept it. No matter what money is being paid, you're still... <laughs> you would do it. You're doing it. See, Rob Rodzinski and I had this conversation. We're like, you know... You're still going to get all, all the ridicule now and no, now no money. That's exactly the conversation we had. The two, it's out. So whether he does it or not, the damage is sort of done. Yeah, I but, mean, like, why? <laughs> now you might as well do it. You're gone right. this far. I don't know if I do it. Everybody knows you're a big fag. No, no, I don't think so. Yeah. You know who I feel bad for is Lexington Steel. Yeah. This, this was a great opportunity for him. <laughs> I never heard of the guy before this. Yeah, to get some exposure. I couldn't. I was going to bring in all these guys, these porno stars. It was going to be great. Right. Exactly. That's why I wanted to stop it before you... Uh, now you're gay with no money. Crazy. I'm not gay. <laughs> you're broken <and> gay? <laughs> No, I'm Joe. You're on the air. Hey, Howard. What's up? What's up? I just want to say that I'm thankful that this story is finally getting put behind us. Yeah. I mean, it is so. Oh man. Yeah. I'm so tired of hearing about it. it just disgusts me. Jay, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Uh, like you were saying, he's got to go along with it at this point because right now we know he's a homo. At least make the money. Right. <laughs> and Cal, can I ask him one question? Yeah. Hey, Scott. Homo yeah. says what? What? <laughs> There you go, exactly. it worked. Well, I don't know. I still think there's more to this story. I Yeah, I think there was some piling on, and I want to know who sat him down and actually talked some sense into him. Yeah, who got a hold of you? No, Nobody. I mean, it was, I told you, it wasn't any specific, except, no. I mean, my son's school was like the topper. But, uh, what was going on there? I mean, did you... Did you son, didn't, were they putting it on the PA system? Did your son have to come home and say to you, listen, Dad, like this thing's very big at school? Or yeah, did he just yeah. I mean, he just said depressed. the whole the whole school knows. I mean, you know, so... Like, how did how did, how did did it affect him? I mean, like, would people just come up to him and say, your dad's a homo? Or did they just burst out laughing when he... <laughs> well, yeah, I, I don't know exactly. <laughs> I couldn't believe how casual you were about that part, because I was yeah. saying to myself, are kids way more sensitive nowadays than no. when I was young? Because... <laughs> That would have been the first thing I'd be worried yeah. about. Scott, you'll never get a good story out of yeah, Scott. Yeah, he won't tell you I, exactly I'm what telling you what's going on. You're the worst storyteller. Now I realize why I'm successful on radio. Yeah. Because no, guys, they have right. told I'm us not... one thing, Scott. We've tried to drag out of you who said I, what. You I know, seriously, you. in defense of Scott, he has no idea what's interesting about his life. Yeah, but I, all you have to say is my sister said this. 
This is what he's not capable. Uh, this one called me. That one called me. No, he's everybody. He, he can't tell a story. He's not. It blew up. He's the really? world's okay. most boring guy. So, so I get, you know, I get. You could be. This could be a great segment if you would just tell us what. So happened. I got. I got a call from somebody in my bowling league. What are you doing? Okay. Right. You're crazy. You're out of your mind. Right. Um. Who's this guy? Just some suburban dude. Yeah. Yeah. Just a guy that. Or the know. head of the bowling league. No, he's not the head of the bowling league. Yeah. Everyone, I love that everyone chimed well, in. Actually, they 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 tell, no. Forget it. They what? don't call him when the bowling has been canceled. I was going to say a joke, but I forget it. All right, go ahead. Yeah, so he calls you. He calls me. And how does he approach you? Does he go like, what are you doing, man? What are you, out of your mind? Really? Yeah. Does he start off that way, or he says, hey, Scott? He goes, hey, Scott, what are you doing? I mean, that was exactly the conversation. You screw him. He doesn't call him when bowling's been canceled. Yeah. <laughs> he calls him for yeah. this. So then, who, like, who else calls you? All right, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you off the hook, because... Yeah, I mean, it's... Pulling teeth. It's pulling teeth with you. You tell the worst stories. I know. You got information, you won't give it up. No, mm. What information? I mean, Believe me, it must have been a great story. I wish it I'm happened to me so I could last tell it. This weekend was the most exciting weekend of Scott's life. Right. His phone never stopped ringing. Hello? Hello? You'll never know. <laughs> yes, I'm going to put my ass on display. <laughs> yes. And you want a vegetable? Which kind of objection? Okay, duly noted. All right, so the bottom line is Scott's not doing it. That's what I wanted you to All know. Right. But All I right. wonder if he fought with these people, you know, tried to defend himself for a while. When did he cave? No, I just said, you know, it's a lot of money. That's it. I would just say it's a lot of money. And I think your son is the one who put the nail in the coffin. Though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was your wife still behind it, or was she getting grief? No, she was. I mean, obviously, when my son came home with that, she was like, um, okay, I think, you know, we've had enough. That mm -hmm. was it. That's that it. That was it. So let's... She called it. I knew. Yeah, she called it off. Yeah. Look, honey. I, I, well, no, no, no. I know, I know. No, no. Never no, 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 no. It, yes, it was yes, a, yes, yes. It's not a bad thing. Your family, wife had enough. Family decision. We all did. It was a family decision. But so she said I am not doing this. Yes. First of all, I'm it not. It was a family decision whether Scott should take it a lot of from behind, uh, from a man. Right. The money was very appealing, right. but it, in the end, so to speak, it's not worth it. All right. Look there it is. Sure, I could use the money, but I'll do other stuff. To because you're willing to do it. It's just. No. I'll do all the stuff. I mean, you were willing to do it. It's, it's, Scott, it's, it takes, a, you know, there's a leap there to say, I'm willing to do this, no matter what the money is. Right. Yeah. You're seriously demented. Yes. Fred and I looked at each other and said, something broken, Scott. <laughs> yeah, she's a broken man because he's like blank. Even when I was talking to him about it, there's this blank expression. Hey, you do what you have to do for the money. You gotta do what you gotta do to put food on the table. <laughs> This is blank, like like nobody home in there. Right. It's like he was broken years ago. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> definitely. I mean, just a broken guy. I mean, the kid who used to play drums in a band and had his had future ahead of him. Dreams, what yeah. happened? Yeah, I mean, it, it, there he is, yeah, Uncle Fester. Look, honey, it would have been a nice addition, but <laughs> well, I guess we have to go back to living on what I earn at the radio station. We have to pull our dreams aside. Does your wife work? No. Maybe she ought to get a job. Like a little extra cash, seeing as how you have to take anal for money. She doesn't want to work? No. I mean, you know. What does she do all day? Stay home and watch TV? I take care of Scott. And she's got, you know, <laughs> the, uh, the stuff that goes on in the house, I guess. Normal stuff. Like what? I mean, what could keep her that busy? Maybe she ought to get a job. No, Don't you talk to her about it. Okay, I'll talk to her. Maybe, maybe give her something to do. Yeah. Take some of the load off of you so you're not... Yeah, so you're not taking anal. Over. <laughs> so you're not doing guys. <laughs> you're not taking anal. Listen, Macy's is looking for somebody. Please. Look, honey, we might need a second income. I'm considering taking anal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe it's time your wife chipped in a little. Quick check is looking for a night manager. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, what's wrong with that? You know? I mean, look at the kind of pressure you're under. Look at what you're willing to do. Yeah, I mean, you, you're taking the responsibility of provider way too seriously. Well, yeah, I guess. Hey, Keith, you're on the air. Hey, Tom's the one. Tom gave him money not to do it. That's the only way he can get to you. Did Tom get to you? Tom, Tom paid him off and told him to keep. Did, the did you have a conversation with Tom? No, I what? Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, all right. No, I he think says he's lying. Make no, I haven't. The Bible. No, because Scott, Scott would tell me that. No, I really haven't. All right. 
You guys have a good morning. Right. Hey, Mike, you're on the air. All right. Yeah. How about letting um, Gary the retard go for it? Since he said he would do it. I don't think it's the same. It's not legal. I He's think. a retard. Oh, man, that'll be cool, man. You know, you don't know how many people are talking about that. Yeah, man. i never done it with a, a guy. I'll try it. <laughs> I guess. I've never done it with a guy. I've never done it with a guy. I like a girl. <laughs> I do it with a girl. Nobody's going to pay for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's going to cost you $250,000. I'm not even sure he understands the concept. Right. What is it, uh, Ronnie? I think you should pay a price for this. Why? Because oh, he, he, he scammed everybody. <laughs> How did he scam everyone? Because he, he, he wound everybody up. Yeah. For this big deal thing. Yeah. You know. Okay, now we have yeah. nothing to look forward yeah. to. Yeah. I need mean, everybody in the world was yeah. talking about this. All right, man. Scott, give Ronnie oral. Okay. You should, you should have some kind of penalty for this crap. Did man. you laugh? Did I laugh? Yeah, was it funny? No, I thought you were stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie's like his son's friends in school. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly who his son ran into. This is horrible. Mark. What the hell's wrong with you? Don't drive your car, will you? What's wrong with you? What's your point, John? I was so looking forward to this. And you, you know see? what? The thing I don't get about Scott is that we told him the day of that this was all going to happen. People right. going to tell him. He said, don't worry, I'm going to stand my ground. Immediately. It's like always... you're working out for the Dragons or whatever. You think you're going to be a football player. I was still trying. They, they told, told you that day. Yeah, I'm still trying out, though. No, I'm not like that. you, Scott. But they told you that day. Scott, then you, like, it's, it's, like, you know, it's like me telling her that I'm going to fight Cabby, and then suddenly, like, like two weeks into it, say no. Yeah, but at least he's not gay, man. <laughs> he might get his. <laughs> I mean, he might get his ass kicked by the football players, but at least he's not gay. I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm not gay. Excuse me? I'm not gay. Sure you are. What the hell's up with that? Scott, you knew this was going to happen. How do you, I mean, you knew that, that, you, that people would call and tell you. Yeah, I thought you, you were heading wrong with you, man. Yeah, you're supposed to be strong. Uh, Give me some headgear. I'm getting pounded. No, no, seriously. You knew it was going to happen. People were going to say to you, don't do it. And, and you said that you'd still do it. You don't care what people say. What happened tonight? You know, you got a point. You make you convinced me the two of you guys. Yeah, really. It's yeah. like you know what? Like I scammed you. Back here. I scammed you. And I, I even had a private conversation with Scott where we sat down and we looked each other in the eye, even though it was painful. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I've never actually looked him in the eye before, and I said, "Are you serious?" Because I'm. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm having a hope. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Walk around the street. Yeah, that's for being stupid and gay. I said to him. I said to him from the beginning. You, you know. Are you really into this? I mean, a private conversation off the air. And he was like, yep. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm ready Even to go. Even as Friday, he was a go. And I'm busy scrambling around with these pay-per-view guys. Right, having conversations, well, having these embarrassing conversations. Got my agent all you over embarrassed the boss, man. What'd you do? <laughs> Ah! <laughs> and now it's not going to happen. Hey, how, did you know that? Look at me, he's laughing. Did you know that Ronnie will not hang out with Scott now? They were friends, but now he won't hang out with him anymore. Why? Because he's it... afraid. Because he was going to do this. Really? Uh, Ronnie was insist. The first day that Scott said he would do it, Ronnie was down in the in the garage just screaming at whoever he could find. Yeah, he told me he thought <laughs> Scott was crazy. Yeah. I don't want any party at gay perfume <laughs> special. I, I never I never realized he was that money hungry, man. Yeah, he, Ronnie was screaming Drunk about that the, 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 that Scott's money hungry, the wife's money hungry. Dude, this is crazy. How this is crazy. Yeah, Do something he was like just that. Man. Screaming about everybody yeah. in the whole. Ronnie situation. was upset. I had to calm Ronnie down. He lost a friend. Oh, the guy's driving. It's where he's been driving a wall. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? Yeah, see, for me, I, I, I'm screwed up. I like you, Scott, but for me, <laughs> the thing that will always stick with me is that without outside intervention, you would have done it. And that just seems yeah, odd to me. No. What, why and would you even say you were going to do something like that, man? No, I think that's like what means that he, for a whole week he said he would do it. A whole week he had us all like, proud looking forward to it. I couldn't wait for this. Yeah, but I mean, why would you say something like that? What's wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> he's not kidding. He's I, don't, so I, don't, I don't get it. Man. I know he's not kidding. I don't get it. So are you mad that he canceled, or you mad? I that think he a lot it? of people are confused about Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm confused too. Ronnie, will you ever have dinner with uh, Scott? No, his again? wife won't even talk. But I mean, was, wait a minute. Wait, wait, she talked to you. Yeah, already. she talked to Come me. On. She bought me a Christmas gift now. Yeah, so I don't get what's going on. I mean, <laughs> but would you go out with him socially? He won't go. She won't go out with us. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we we scammed her. Look at what he just did, man. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Mike, you're on the air. Hey, hey, Ronnie. 
Yo. Ronnie, will you sleep in the same room with Scott at that racing school? You no, got no, I'm not going anymore. Or you got to sleep with one eye open. No, nah, we, we, we can't sleep in the same room. Man. <laughs> I can't even go anywhere with him now. <laughs> I know. You can't hang out with him? I mean, how could... How could you go to a racetrack with this guy? They'd kill us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ronnie, what are you doing? Hey, that they're not fair. Ronnie, you on a date? They're definitely not into this kind of stuff. <laughs> so are, you, are you more mad, Ronnie, that he canceled or more mad that he's going to do it? It's both, man. I mean, first of all, don't, it's crazy. don't say you're going to do it and then... You know, I mean, what's up? It's already ruined for Ronnie when he was going to do it. What are you looking now at me like that it. for? What's wrong with you, right? You know what, Scott? You didn't even have to do it. Now we just think you're yeah. you're all All right, it. fine. <laughs> he got no money and everyone thinks he's a homo. He's <laughs> a yeah, that's, homo he's such a loser. <laughs> that's the worst part of the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. I tell you what, I walked in this morning and, and before Scott even told me anything, he said, he started looking at me and uh, I was getting you all knew. creeped out. Nah, you knew. You probably knew the minute you looked at his face this morning. No, no, no. I think he wanted you. He want, you know, he started, yeah, I mean, I got weirded out. Like, it's weird to look at Scott now because, uh, you know, he's gay. So how far along was the planning for it, Aaron? Well, I'll tell you what. My agent had already put in all the calls to direct TV and pay-per-view. Uh, he was also checking into venue. You know, venues. So are you a little angry at Scott for canceling? Of course. Okay. Well, Everybody's I mean, I care because i got to now cancel everything I've got. You know, in, yeah, in terms stop of, those wheels from turning. It was weird. Well, that's what I mean. <clears throat> I kind of I kind of put myself on the line because pay-per-view calls me regularly asking me what I want to do. And then I kind of called them, and, you know, now I can't deliver the good. Now, you're going to seem in business as crazy as God. Well, I wish I had never called them. But that's what I'm saying. Like, what is wrong with this guy? We ask him for a project, then he starts calling us and telling us he has something, and now he's saying no. Come here, Ronnie. What's the matter? Ronnie. <laughs> Disgusted. He just walked out. He's pissed. He, he, really, was, he, he was dying to come in. No, no, we got, we got somebody here. I got to go outside. All right. Uh, all right. All right, Scott. But it is it is weird when you have to pull something off the table that quickly. In business, it makes you look a little shifty and crazy. Yeah. Well, people thought this whole thing was crazy anyway. Well, that's so you think yeah, the initial call kind of makes you look yeah, crazy. You I'll tell you the like truth. It's just crazy, period. I'll tell you the truth. It wasn't going well with the pay-per-view people. Really? No. They weren't... Uh... They weren't too choked up about it. <laughs> well, they weren't choked. They also said... Well, one of the things they said was, we can't promote it. And I right. was like, that's okay. But there, there was like a big deal to them. We can't announce... That this is coming up on That's our like schedule. You shouldn't announce some, a lot of the things you put on. Yeah, a lot of the crap you guys put on you shouldn't announce. Like, right, the fights. It's back to watching Artie race Bianca. Yeah, guess so. Yeah, I guess we'll have to book Giant Stadium for that. It is Bianca's birthday today. Wow. St. Patty's Day. One year old. My dog. My dog is a year old. Hey, that's a lot more wholesome hey. than listening to his anal. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, I don't know. What's more gay? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm feeling gay after that conversation. Do you think there's a straw? My dog isn't gay. Yeah. Do you think there's a straw that broke the back, like his back finally? You think there was, I think there was one phone call that really said that's it? No, I told you. There wasn't one. So that maybe it was just when you slowly decided, like, along the, you know. No, the... no, I told you. My, the thing with my son was probably what pushed it over the edge. Yeah. He's worried about his boy. Yeah. I mean, you know. But it was still his wife who said, you know what, we can't do this to our son. Had you started practicing? Oh, my God. Had you started taking some things? No. 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 Come on, Scott. That would have really sucked. No. No. Scott, he... what were you up to? <laughs> Come on. A bowling pin. <laughs> Half a finger. Pencil. Half a finger. Hey, Howard, it would have been great, man. You could have played the theme from Deliverance while it was going on. Yeah, God only knows what we would have played. <laughs> Multiple songs. All right, bro. Take it easy, man. All right. All right. That sucks. Marty, how looking forward to it with you? <laughs> well, look, I mean, obviously it yeah. would have been very entertaining. Would have been awesome. <laughs> I, I never yeah, got I such... Mean, we had it all laid out. It was it was ready to unfold. I never got such positive email about any one bit. Like maybe one or two letters of protest saying it was too gay. Everyone else was like, this is going to be the greatest yeah, ever. Couldn't wait to see it. Yeah. $250,000. Yeah. Because it's still the one yeah. thing that remains to be seen is if he could actually do it. 250000 Ka-ching. Yeah. You know, I tell your son to no. put up with some crap at school. No, no, no. no. Two fifty. dollars No, no, no. 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 I think this is Scott backing out. Yeah. Mm. 
because he saw the picture of Lexington's field and he freaked. And maybe I'm not gay. You know, figure that one out. Well, maybe you are. No. Well, we yeah. certainly have a price. <laughs> Obviously yeah. not. If you didn't have a son, you're saying you would do it. So you're gay. Yeah, if I was single and gay, I would do it. No, if you were single, you would do it. Get away from me. Get away from me. What is that? Oh, nice. Cross-dressing. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie's really pissed because in the, in the hallway, he's like, I want to go in and say, Scott's got to pay. Scott's got to pay for this. He's got to pay us for, like, you no, know, screw Oh, come on. That's what he was saying. He's right. I should have said to you right from the beginning so I didn't waste my time with my pay-per-view connections. I should have said to you right from the beginning, Scott, if you're not into this, you owe me money. Well, that's why I'm telling you now not to go any further. So you don't yeah, set everything up phone later. Calls. So you don't set everything up and then... And <clears throat> All then right. Okay. All right. We're done with you. We there already it is. asked totally you if done. you were going to back out if we set everything up and you lied. Scott's usual integrity came through. Yeah. No way am I backing out. You can go ahead. It's a go. It's a go. <laughs> to quote you. I'm the master of my own ass. All right. We're going to yes. take a break. We'll be back right after these words.